This film is purely fictional. Please do not imitate it. Your like and subscribe are the motivation for me to update. Chapter 1 Signing in to the Invisibility Ring at the Start I actually travel through time? Jean Hung lay on the hard bed, looking at the ceiling above his head in a trance. Seven days ago, he was playing Legends at home. As a top hardcore player who has been playing Legend for almost 20 years, he owns many top-notch equipment. Invisibility Ring Teleportation Ring Memory Set Resurrection Protection Paralysis Detection Necklace Dragon Slang and more. At that time, he was taking his brothers in the guild to run through the Red Moon Canyon using teleportation rings. As soon as he arrived at the entrance of the Devil's Lair, he controlled his Taoist character to cover his head and crawled in. When he suddenly realized that he had traveled through time, without any precaution, he appeared directly among the dead in a village. To make matters worse, he was seriously injured and unable to move. He could only turn his head and look around. But there was no living person around him. It was getting dark, and it was very cold, making him doubt his life. The wound hurt so much that he couldn't speak. Hungry and cold. Dying. Unable to move. Just when he was in despair, he was saved. The person who rescued him was the Feng Yu Lu convoy under Feng Yu sect. They originally wanted to enter the village to rest, but happened to save him. So he was taken back to Feng Yu Tower. Qin Heng's injury was too serious, and he was in a coma for seven days. Now he is finally feeling much better. It also gave him the energy to brush up on the memory of this body. Judging from the memory of this body, he was just a small villager dozens of miles away from Feng Yu City. His parents were farmers in the village. But they taught him a lot. Astronomy, geography, history, and all kinds of knowledge were instilled in him. This made Qin Hung, who had traveled through time, a little confused. Because according to the memory of this body, there were not many farmers in Qi who were so knowledgeable and talented. But the owner of this body has been in the village since he remembered it. And there is nothing special about his home. Until seven days ago, a group of bandits broke into the village and massacred the entire village, including his parents. The specific process was probably so bloody that Qin Hung would get a splitting headache just by recalling it. It's probably because the owner of this body doesn't want to touch this bloody memory. Anyway, he only knew that in the end the whole village died. And many robbers also died due to the villagers' counterattack. Call. After letting out a long breath, Qin Hung stopped thinking about this troublesome problem. Instead, he recalled his past life. He was an orphan, but fortunately his parents left him a large sum of money, which he could use as he wished. But apart from playing games, he has no other hobbies. I tried to think about it again, but I didn't find anything to regret. Perhaps the biggest regret is the top-notch equipment and brothers in my game. Many of them are out of print equipment in the server. As he traveled through time, they were truly out of print this time. After, I can no longer attack cities and collect equipment with my brothers. With a silent sigh, Qin Hung turned his attention to the current situation. Feng Yu Tower. He only found some scattered fragments from his memory. That's what his father mentioned to him. Feng Yu Tower is very powerful in Feng Yu City. Qin Hung didn't know the exact amount of energy. But there was one thing he knew very well. He was seriously injured and about to die, but was rescued by Feng Yu Tower. In a coma, he heard the surprised tone of the doctor who treated him. He was stabbed in the chest more than ten times. Not dead. This is due to the fact that his heart was born on the right side. And the other side of his chest was almost torn apart. This made him doubt whether the unlucky guy named Qin Hung was already dead. This gave him the opportunity to travel through time and possess the other party. He touched various injured parts of his body then opened his clothes and took a look. Qin Hung had to sigh that Finji Yula's medical skills were so amazing. In just seven days, the dying man almost recovered. Getting out of bed, walking, and jumping is no big problem. There are only faint scars left on the various wounds on the body. And it seems that they will recover soon. This kind of miraculous medical skill would never have appeared in the previous life. But here, it seems simple. Now that I can walk and move, what should I do next? Relatives died the village burned down, and the home was naturally gone. I don't know if my parents were buried, or if their bodies will continue to be exposed in the wilderness. Even though he has no relationship with his parents here, he still feels a little guilty when he thinks about it. Are you leaving Feng Yu Tower now? Where can you go after you leave? Thinking of the environment outside, Jean Hung shook his head and sat down helplessly, not to mention whether Feng Yu Lu, who had spent a lot of money to save him, would let him go. Even if he did let him go, Qin Hung didn't want to leave. 
The world outside is not as stable and peaceful as in the previous life. This world is a world where martial arts is respected. It's very chaotic outside now, with countries vying for hegemony and rogue bandits running rampant. There are even ferocious beasts that often appear in the wild. And ordinary people cannot leave the village alone. Otherwise you will be in danger. And Feng Yu City is the center of chaos. It is located at the junction of the three kingdoms of Qi, Yan and Zhao. It's a buffer zone where no one cares. Later, a huge city gradually formed here, and many martial arts masters and wanted criminals gathered here. Street fights and deaths are commonplace. It can be said that this is a sin city. In this environment, what can this 16-year-old body do? Although he has the title of time traveler, apart from being able to play computers and games in his previous life, he didn't know many other skills. I know a lot more about computers. But this is an ancient time where there weren't even electric lights. So knowing computers is useful. It seems that I can still sing and sing? As a pseudo-rich second generation. When he was a child, his family spent a lot of money to train him. I know a little bit about playing. Playing and singing. But that is a last resort. Otherwise, Qin Hung would not want to do such a publicity thing. Just as Qin Hung was thinking hard about what else he would do, there was a sound of footsteps. Qin Hung turned around and saw two people coming. Two beautiful women in gorgeous dresses. The woman walking in the front has a face with oval seeds. Looks very elegant. Walks with wind. And looks like a leader-level figure at first glance. The one following behind is a little shorter. Has a chubby face. And looks a little cute. Qin Hung stood up. Took one look and then lowered his head, not daring to look any further. These two women put a lot of pressure on him, especially the woman in front, who had an extremely strong aura. It made him feel like he was standing on a high mountain. She is obviously a beautiful and capable woman. At this time, he was weak, so it was better not to cause any trouble that he shouldn't cause. What if I looked at the other person twice more, was misunderstood, and caused some trouble? Wouldn't it be very unfair? He doesn't think that he is a destined protagonist, who can flirt with beautiful women whenever he sees them. Once he flirts with her, he will marry her. This is all bullshit. The leading woman glanced at Qin Hung and was very satisfied with his performance. Smiling slightly, he said, Don't be nervous. Let me introduce myself. I am the steward of Feng Yu Tower. Ming Yu, you can call me Sister Yu. This is the doctor who cured you. Dr. Yuan, you can call her Sister Yuan. What's your name? Hello, Sister Yu. H. Lo, Sister Yuan. Qin Hung bowed his hands respectfully and continued. Qin Hung. The Qin of Qin is eternal. Although he was a little nervous, his speech was still clear. What a good name. I won't beat around the bush. I just want to ask you. What are your plans for the future? If you want to leave Feng Yu Tower, we won't stop you. Feng Yu Tower has been kind to me. And I can't repay it. I want to stay here to help. Leave? That is impossible. Jean Hung had already thought of this reason. Now he has no home, no money, and knows nothing. Staying in Feng Yu Tower is the best choice. Very good. Ming Yu nodded with satisfaction and softly popped out her red lips. But my Feng Yu Tower doesn't support idle people. What will you do? I want to practice martial arts. Become a disciple of Feng Yu Tower. And work for Feng Yu Tower in the future. This world is very dangerous. And Jean Hung certainly wants to learn some martial arts to protect himself. Want to practice martial arts? Yes. But you have to work as a handyman for three years first. Are you willing? Ming Yu was not surprised by Qin Heng's answer. Nowadays, any normal person wants to practice martial arts. Yes. Qin Hung nodded. It would be nice to have a stable place to live. What else could I ask for? Ming Yu did not agree immediately, but looked him up and down, then chuckled and said, However, there is still a job. As long as you are willing to do it, you can practice martial arts right away. What kind of job? Qin Heng's eyes showed joy. Naturally, the earlier you practice martial arts, the better. He will be 16 years old today, and it will be a little too late to start practicing martial arts in three years. Ming Yu smiled and said, As we all know, my business in Feng Yu Tower is very complicated, including alchemy, weapon refining, commercial insurance, trading firm, and Feng Yu business. But in the final analysis, the Feng Yu business is the main income of my Feng Yu building. Romance business? Qin Hung thought. Of course he knew what it was. Now, I'll give you a chance. As long as you agree to become my young master in Feng Yu Tower, you can learn this martial art right away. Moreover, you can learn the martial arts skills of true disciples. 
Ming Yue's voice was full of charm. Becoming the son of Feng Yu Tower? Qin Hung felt a sudden pain in his heart and shook his head without hesitation. The young master of Feng Yu Tower. He heard his father say that. To put it nicely, he is a young master. But in fact, he was the male publicist in his previous life. The kind where you eat, drink, and sing together. This career looks good, with fun and entertainment every night. But Qin Hung doesn't want to do it. As the saying goes, there is no plowed land, only exhausted cows. He, Qin Hung, didn't want to die young so soon. Regarding Qin Hang's rejection, Ming Yu showed an obvious look of pity on her face. This boy is very handsome. As long as she trains him carefully, he will definitely become the top son of Feng Yu Tower. But the other party refused, and she couldn't force it. It is not an easy thing to become the top lord. He must be proficient in astronomy, geography, music, chess, calligraphy, painting, martial arts, etc. And he must be proficient in everything. If you don't want to in your heart, and you force him to train you, you will definitely not be able to become a top-notch young master. You won't be able to cultivate his temperament. Just when she was still trying to persuade her, Dr. Yuan, who had been silent next to her, also blinked and looked at Qin Hung carefully. A strong light flashed in his eyes, and he said, It's okay if you don't want to be a young master. As long as you are willing to let me study it first, I can accept you as a disciple. And you can study medicine, martial arts, and refine alchemy. Let her study it. Qin Hang's face froze. He recalled vaguely the past few days, when it was Dr. Yuan who was treating him and yelling at the same time, said that his body was very special, and he survived being stabbed so many times. Unexpectedly, this woman is still obsessed with his body. Does your body smell that good? Qin Hung simply shook his head and refused. Do some research. This woman is probably a lunatic. Don't treat her like a guinea pig and slice her up. Ming Yu and Dr. Yuan tried to persuade Qin Hung a few more words. But Qin Hung finally chose to work as a handyman for three years. Very good. Since you chose to be a handyman, go to the kitchen to report to Manager Xiao at 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. By the way, you can go outside for a walk, but not in the front yard. Also, if you no longer want to be a handyman and want to be a young master, you can come to me at any time. After Ming Yu finished explaining, she turned around and left with Dr. Yuan, who was reluctant to leave. This made Qin Hung breathe a sigh of relief, wiped the cold sweat from his head, and sat down on the bed. With these two women here, the pressure is really great. Especially Dr. Yuan, who looked at him like he was looking at an interesting toy. It made him feel very angry. On the other side, the two girls, who had walked some distance away, were also chatting. Go ahead and ask Manager Xiao to arrange more work for him, so that he can experience the beauty of being a handyman. My sister doesn't believe it. Can he still do the handyman work for three years? Hum hum. It won't be long before he comes begging me to be his master. TSK TSK. What a handsome man. I must personally train him to become Feng Yu City. No. He will be the most popular young master in the entire continent. Ha 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 ha. Dr. Yuan covered his ears. There was something wrong with this sister. When she was proud, her laughter was so magical. After enduring the bombardment of the other party's magic sound, Dr. Yuan licked his lips and said, Actually, I think it's better to leave it to me to study. His physical recovery is very strong. As long as I study it carefully, I might be able to come up with something. No, he is a good baby. And he can't let you spoil it. He just has a slightly special physique. No big deal. Ming Yu simply refused. A few days ago, these sisters secretly cut off some of Qin Hang's precious meat for research. If she continues to study it, her A son will be ruined. Dr. Yuan could only rub his itchy little hands with regret, sighing secretly in his heart. And at the same time, he was thinking rapidly. Qin Hung sat on the bedside. After drinking water to calm down his shock, he suddenly remembered that he forgot to ask about his parents. I don't know if he was buried. It seems that he can only wait until he has a chance to ask again. Now he doesn't dare to go to Mingyu. After sitting for a moment, he thought about it, stood up, and picked up a bronze mirror beside the bed. Silk. A slight gasp came from Qin Heng's mouth. Then he was silent. After a while, he looked at the room for a while, then bent down and got under the bed. When he came out again, his face was already covered with a layer of dust. He looked at the bronze mirror again and traced the dust on his hand on his face for a while. Fortunately, it's no longer so conspicuous, so it should be a lot safer. Alas, being handsome is also a fault. 
No wonder Ming Yu always wanted to make him his son-in-law. Dr. Yuan's crazy lady always wants to study him. No, you must not leave Feng Yu Tower if you have nothing to do in the future. If you go out with this face, you will probably be beaten to death. Right? Otherwise, he wouldn't have been stabbed more than ten times? Taking a deep breath to calm down, Qin Hung walked out of the room. After looking around, it turned out that he lived in an ordinary wing, compared to the luxurious courtyard in the distance. This is obviously a place where servants live. After spending more than an hour and walking around, Qin Hung finally understood the surrounding environment. This is the residence of Feng Yu Tower disciples, surrounded by martial arts arenas, gardens, etc. After passing through a large courtyard along the avenue, you will find the front yard that Ming Yu mentioned. It is a huge six-story luxury building, and various kinds of music can be heard faintly from a distance. But when we got here, there was someone guarding the door, and ordinary disciples and servants were not allowed to pass. There was another entrance. Qin Hung walked around for a while, not daring to wander around in various courtyards, and returned to his residence. He's still a stranger, and it's not good to wander around. By the way, this Feng Yu Tower is really big. It is simply a large manor. Qin Hung just turned to the back and even saw places like a racecourse. He really couldn't imagine how big the entire Feng Yu Tower was, and how big the entire Feng Yu City would be. In the afternoon, an aunt brought him food, a set of handyman clothes, and a waistband, and told him to go to the kitchen to eat by himself. Jean Hung thanked him, and after eating, he lay on the bed, thinking about his future, feeling a little confused. Yes, it is said that every time traveler has a golden finger and a system. But what about mine? Jean Hung began to try to summon the system in various forms. But it didn't work. It seemed that novels were all lies. So he lay helplessly on the bed and fell asleep. His body has not fully recovered yet, and he is relatively lethargic. When he was sleeping well into the evening, a cold mechanical reminder suddenly sounded in his mind. Player Chin Hung is 16 years old and can log into the game. What the H, L. The days Chin Hung suddenly woke up and suddenly found that there was an extremely familiar ancient door in his mind. This is the entrance to the legendary game. This, could it be my golden finger? Do you want to log into the legendary game? Yes. BBA ba 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 babbling. A familiar sound of grinding teeth accompanied by legendary music sounded, and the ancient door opened. The next moment, a familiar login interface appeared in front of you. This is the interface for creating characters. How is this going? Looking at the scene in front of him, Jean Hung was a little confused. The next moment, a piece of information flowed through his mind, making his eyes widen in an instant. The meaning of the message is simple. Entering the legendary game, fighting monsters, and practicing will allow his body in the real world to be cultivated. Depend on. This is indeed my golden finger. Qin Hong was originally agitated and unable to practice immediately. But he didn't expect the golden finger to be delivered home. After being excited for a while, Qin Hong looked at the character creation interface in front of him, pondered for a moment, then thought about the outside world, and finally chose the Taoist priest he was familiar with. What name would be good? After thinking about it, he decided to give himself a legendary game name that he used before. The Prodigal Son of the World. After choosing the name, he thought about it and chose to enter the game. The screen turned and Qin Hung appeared in a familiar small village the next moment. Ginkgo Village. This is. Seeing the crowds of people wearing commoners in front of him. Qin Hung was dumbfounded. Is this a newly opened area? Just when Qin Hung was shocked, a mechanical voice sounded again. Ding dong! Do you want to sign in on the first day of opening the district? Sign in! Jean Hung replied subconsciously. Signed in successfully and received a gift package for newbies. Please check. Jean Hung subconsciously wanted to open the parcel column. And the next moment, a parcel was opened in front of him. 46 squares. Does this include the following six cells? There is a wooden sword. A piece of cloth. A small bottle of gold creation potion. A small bottle of magic potion and 100 gold coins displayed in the lower right corner of the money. There is also a golden novice gift package. Qin Hong thought silently in his excited heart. Open! Ding dong! Congratulations on getting an invisibility ring and 1 million gold coins. Chapter 2 Sweeping Skill Book Invisibility Ring 1 million gold coins Qin Hong thought he heard wrongly and took a closer look at the extra ring in the package. That's right. He couldn't be more familiar with this ring because he used it almost every day in his last life. Gee, 
you will be given an invisibility ring and 1 million gold coins at the beginning. This is a dream start. Chin Hung was so happy that he almost jumped up. What is an invisibility ring? This is a super artifact in the legendary game. With it, you can enter dangerous maps invisibly and move freely among monsters. This is a super good thing for hunting treasures. Of course, it doesn't mean that if you put on the invisibility ring, the monster will always be invisible to him. In the legend, there are still many monsters that can resist invisibility. And after the monster is attacked by him, it can still see him even if it is wearing an invisibility ring. But there is no doubt about the power of the invisibility ring. Unfortunately, this is a ring that can only be worn at level 16. He is currently at level 1 and cannot get it yet. He remembered that in the previous legendary game, you could wear it at level 12. But here it became level 16. No matter what. As long as there are monsters to kill, things can be upgraded to level 16 in a day or two. At that time, after wearing the invisibility ring, he will be able to go to some dangerous places to find treasures. Then I looked at the reward of 1 million gold coins. This is also a good thing. What is missing most at the beginning of the game? Of course, it's game coins. With game gold coins, you can buy equipment, potions, and level up quickly. In short, this gift package for beginners is very awesome. Chin Hung is very satisfied. There were too many newcomers in Ginkgo Village. He squeezed through the crowd and moved forward at a snail's pace. He had no choice but to take a closer look at the game environment and check out other functions. The character styles of legendary players are still the same as in memory. With three character styles, warriors, Taoists, and mages, every player of the same profession looks exactly the same. But they have different names displayed on their chests to distinguish them. Jean Hung thought silently. Character panel. This is the function mentioned in the message just now. A panel of his character attributes suddenly appeared in his mind. The prodigal son of the end of the world, Taoist priest. Level 1. Attack January 1st. Magic attack 1 out of 1. Taoism 1 of 1. Defense 1 to 1. Magic defense 1 out of 1. HP, 17. Magic value, 13. Experience value, 0 out of 100. Luck, 0. PK value, 0. Title, none. Official position, civilian. PK mode, peace. No other attributes. After checking the character attributes, they are basically the same as the previous legends. Then, Chin Hung looked at the official website next to the character panel. Chin Hung was very surprised by this legendary game that could also improve his external cultivation. What kind of company can develop such an excellent game? He doesn't think it's still a big company from his previous life. With a thought, Chin Hung opened a website in front of his eyes. Legend Official Website A virtual game launched by Hua Gua in September 2001. This, the time is almost the same. But there is still a big difference. The biggest difference is that the surrounding players are shouting and saying all kinds of things. To form a team. To find people. To sigh. The entire Shinsho village is like a vegetable market. Buzzing with noise. In his previous life. He played computer games and could only type text. I quickly browsed the official website and found that the server was only opened at 5 p.m. this afternoon. He arrived almost an hour later than others. Probably because his age was only 16 at 6 o'clock in the afternoon. On this official website, apart from the basic function introduction, there are no maps and game strategies. Players need to explore everything on their own. The virtual game seems to be entered by the thinking of real people. But maybe the technology is not up to par. And everyone's appearance is still divided into three unified professional appearances. I also looked at the comments on the official website. They are all talking about this game. But there is no topic related to the game strategy. Have you never played it? So is this game exactly the same as the legendary game he played in his previous life? Chin Hung was not sure. But if it's really the same, for a hardcore player like him, it would be awesome. After exiting the official website, Chin Hung began to push forward desperately. We are already an hour behind others. So we can't waste any more time. Just after pushing a dozen steps forward, a group of chickens appeared around Chin Hung. Chickens are the lowest level monsters in the Legends game. Chin Hung was lucky enough to attack a chicken first. Before he could make a second blow with his wooden sword, the chicken had been killed by the people around him. At five experience points, a system prompt appeared in the chat history under Chin Hing's character panel. It seems that it is still the same as the setting of the previous legend. Whoever attacks the monster first will count his experience. Chin Hung bent down and stabbed the chicken's body with a wooden sword. Think silently in your heart and dig it out. This was the prompt he got when he entered the game. And he could dig up monster corpses like this. 
You can also mine past life games. You just need to hold down a certain key on the keyboard. After a few quick pokes in a row, get a piece of quality 3 chicken. A system prompt flashed. At this time, the people around also bent over and stabbed the chicken's body. Obviously they also know how to dig out pieces of meat. But their speed is much slower than Chin Hung. After Chin Hung finished digging, they came into contact with the chicken carcass. Ha uh ha. -huh. Could it be that my internet speed is faster? Chin Hung laughed to himself. And then he thought of another question. Doesn't it mean that if you kill monsters inside, your body outside will also become stronger? Why don't I feel any changes? Also, did my soul enter here? Or did my body come in together? After thinking about it, Chin Hung ignored it and continued to push forward. Five minutes later, Chin Hung finally squeezed in next to the warehouse in Novice Village. In the process, he chopped down five chickens and dug out five chicken pieces. The experience value has reached 30 points. And the experience bar has increased by 30%. It is still the same experience as in the previous life. And there are still 70 points left to upgrade to level 2. Anyway, every time chickens appear around, Chin Hung can always grab a chicken. Once, there were two chickens around him. After he quickly attacked the two chickens, the other's attacks fell behind. Chin Hung got an extra chicken in vain. The warehouse is already out of the safe zone. Chin Hung deliberately stood in a position where he had not yet left the safe zone. Then opened the warehouse from a distance and put the invisibility ring in for storage. In this game of legend, death will cause your equipment to explode. Although this place looks a little different from the previous legend, other functions are the same. Chin Hung couldn't guarantee whether he would die if he killed monsters. You can only wear it after level 16. So save it first. Otherwise, you will cry to death if you drop it. After storing the ring, Chin Hung deliberately looked at the functions of the NPC in the warehouse. His face instantly darkened. There was no function of binding gold bars here. This, without the gold bars bundled, that super bug would not be possible. In this way, you will not be able to accumulate wealth quickly. It seems that I can only hope to go to a big city to see if it is available. With my mind on my mind, I had just stored the invisibility ring. Suddenly, a group of chickens appeared among the players again. Chin Hung was saving things this time and thinking about the gold bars. He didn't pay attention. Before he could squeeze in, the chickens were already overwhelmed by countless players. My day. There is no way to stay in this novice village. It is estimated that the entire suburbs of Beach City are full of people. Chin Hung shook his head and struggled to squeeze in front of the bookstore owner in Ginkgo Village. There is a bookstore owner here, and Chin Hung is also surprised. In my memory, it seems that there is only one other village. As soon as he glanced at the other person, the bookstore owner in front of him spoke. Dear warrior, what do you want to buy? Following the words, a product column opened in front of Chin Hung. Basic sword skills, small fireball, healing skills, summoning skeletons, flash movies, assassination sword skills, half moon scimitar, magic shield, roaring hail, flaming sword skills, summon the beast. Chin Hung looked down to the end in one breath. And the more he looked, the more excited he became. Sure enough, there are advanced skill books for sale here. And there are only five of these intermediate and advanced skill books each. As a legendary hardcore player, Chin Hung clearly knows how difficult it will be to obtain legendary skill books in the future. In particular, the warriors, Half Moon Scimitar, and the Taoists, summoning the divine beasts, are simply hard to find. In that era of the previous life, there were thousands of copies. In order to get a copy of summoning the divine beast, some people even traded Santana for it. When Legend first opened, the bookstore sold high-level skill books. The quantity is not large. Once sold out, it will be gone and will not be refreshed. Chin Hung didn't know if it would be the same as before. But it was indeed a gamble. What if it's the same? Why not just make a small fortune? At worst, if you sell it back to the store, you'll lose some money. However, there are many skill books here, and Chin Hung cannot buy them all at once. He couldn't spend his current money randomly. He still had to save money to buy potions for leveling up. One million gold coins may seem like a lot. But an advanced skill book costs between 10,000 and 20,000 gold coins. After pondering for a while, Chin Hung first purchased five copies of Summoning Divine Beasts and five copies of Half Moon Scimitar. These two are the most valuable. A copy of Summoning the Divine Beast is sold in the store for 20,000 gold coins. And a copy of Half Moon Scimitar is sold in the store for 15,000 gold coins. 
This time he spent 175,000 gold coins. He didn't buy the others yet. Just to see if they would come out again. Anyway, at this stage, players definitely don't have any gold coins. Even if there were, no one would be bored enough to buy advanced skilled books that they wouldn't need for the time being. He can wait until he makes some money before coming back to buy it. Maybe he will get gold coins when he signs in tomorrow. Squeezing back to the warehouse, Sheen Hung deposited all the skill books he purchased. After more than five minutes, Sheen Hung finally squeezed into the jewelry store, covered his head and walked in. If you want to level up quickly, of course you have to wear good equipment. If he guessed correctly, low-level equipment was sold in stores. He could arm it now to speed up the fight against monsters. Maybe there will be a surprise in the store. Along the way, the curses from countless players filled his ears. They're all cursing at people. The server is stuck and can't be moved. This made Chin Hung a little strange. Because he doesn't get stuck at all. Except that there are too many people. He can squeeze in as long as there is an empty spot. As others have said, Don't worry. There is always crowding. He also grabbed 10 chickens and gained 50 experience points. At 80 experience points, you can reach level 2 by killing 4 more chickens. Unfortunately, the scarecrow that spawned every time was too far away from him, and he never hit it. This made Sheen Hung wonder if he was only destined to chickens? Brush. Sheen Hung appeared in the jewelry store. There was no player here. Dear warrior, what do you need? The jewelry store owner asked respectfully. When the product section opened, Sheen Hang's eyes lit up. Sure enough, he was selling all kinds of small jewelry. From low to high. Gold necklace. Traditional necklace. Iron bracelet. Silver bracelet. Hexagonal ring. Glass ring. Bronze ring. Leather gloves. Steel bracelet. Horn ring. Cast iron ring. Large bracelet. Chapter 3. Sweeping out the best equipment. In the jewelry store of Ginkgo Village. Chin Hung excitedly checked the prices of various jewelry. Click on the gold necklace column. Gold necklace. Priced at 5,000 gold coins. Attack 0 slash 1. Agility 1. Stamina 8 out of 8. Weight 1. Level 2 required. Gold necklace. Priced at 2,000 gold coins. Gold necklace. Priced at 2,000 gold coins. After going down a row of gold necklaces, Chin Hung turned to the bottom. His eyes suddenly widened and his breathing became a little heavy. He saw one with a different price. Gold necklace. Sold for 5,000 gold coins. The price of a gold necklace is more than twice as high. As long as it is the same as the previous legendary game, then it must be the best. Chin Hung bought it without hesitation. My eyes suddenly brightened up. Gold necklace. Attack 0 slash 2. Tallism 0 slash 1. Agility 2. Stamina 8 out of 8. Weight 1. Hee <laughs> hee. Not bad. Attack. Tallism and agility are all increased a little. Ha uh ha. -huh. Chin Hung whistled excitedly and bought it. In the legendary game. Whether it is attack or defense. Every additional point will increase a lot of attributes. Therefore. This kind of top notch equipment. That increases attributes was very popular in previous legendary games especially when the district was first opened. Of course, the district has just opened now. So everyone has no money and cannot sell at a high price. Chin Hung now comes to Taba and uses what he can use and stores what cannot be used in the warehouse. When the players realize the benefits of the best equipment, they will sell it out. This is the benefit of playing the game once. You will know everything beforehand. Immediately afterwards, Chin Hung bought three more top quality equipment. The iron bracelet adds 2 points of Taoism and 1 point of defense. An iron bracelet that adds a little more attack and a little more Taoism. Not bad. Come back next time. Chin Hung bought 2 ordinary bronze rings that added 1 attack point and left happily whistling. After leaving the jewelry store, I squeezed towards the weapons store. After comparing this journey, Chin Hung was surprised to find that this small ginkgo village was actually much larger than the small ginkgo village in the previous game. 5 minutes later, Chin Hung, who was walking on the road, finally leveled up after killing a few chickens. The prodigal son of the end of the world, Taoist Priest. Level 2. Attack January 1st. Magic attack 1 out of 1. Taoism 1 of 1. Defense 1 to 1. Magic defense 1 out of 1. HP, 20 points. Magic value, 14. Experience value, 0 out of 200. Luck, 0. PK value, 0. Title, none. Official position, civilian. PK mode, peace. No other attributes. I don't quite remember the specific points for upgrading the legend. 
everything is subject to the setting of this book. After upgrading, except for the changes in blood volume, magic value, and experience value, the attack, magic, Taoism, defense, and magic defense have not changed. In the legendary game, attack or defense will be divided into upper and lower limits. For example, if the attack is one half, then one means that the item has a minimum attack of one. If it performs well, the maximum attack will be two. As for the game legend, Qin Hung remembered that attribute points were only added once at level 7. Here, it's not very clear. You need to explore by yourself. The experience value for promotion to level 3 has been increased by 100 points. Currently, the experience is no different from the previous game. In other words, in the game legend, it is difficult to gain experience. The further you go, the more experience is required for promotion, and the harder it is to move up the level. While thinking, Qin Hong entered the weapon store with his head covered. Dear warrior, come and choose one. The owner of the weapon shop shouted. Qin Hong opened this door and took a closer look. Wooden sword, dagger, bronze sword, iron sword, dagger. Weapons are also only sold up to level 10. And higher level weapons are no longer available. He remembered that there were higher end games for sale in his previous life. But he didn't know whether it was because they weren't sold in the village or because this game only sold items up to level 10. It seems I can only look elsewhere in the future. Wooden swords and daggers are both usable at level 1. Bronze swords are at level 5, and others are at level 10. There is no first level novice artifact here, and the ebony sword is for sale. It seems that the only way is to rely on explosions. He is currently at level 2, looking directly at wooden swords and daggers. Needless to say, he actually found a dagger worth twice as much. The ordinary one costs 1,000 gold coins, and this one costs 3,000 gold coins. After purchasing it, Qin Hong was pleasantly surprised again. The attack of a normal dagger is 4 out of 5, while the attack of this superb one is 4-7. There are two more points of attack, which is very important to him today. Now that it is here, Qin Hong will naturally not miss other weapons. After some searching, he bought a few more small top quality weapons, and then happily stopped buying them equipping them with various wearable equipment. Finally, he pulled up to the mineral column and looked down. Sure enough, there were quite a few gold mines. There are a few pieces with quality above 15. High quality gold mines can be sold for a lot of money if you complete tasks in the future. But it is still early and those few tasks will definitely not be released yet. Hoarding gold mines now is a waste of money. He still has great use for the gold coins given by signing in. It's not too late to buy it again later when the level is higher. After thinking about it for a while, Qin Hong gave up the purchase, exited the weapon shop. A few minutes later, Qin Hong killed four chickens again on the road, gained 20 experience points for chicken pieces, and came to the clothing store. There are only four things sold in the clothing store. Commoner male, commoner female, leather gloves, bronze helmet. Jewelry stores also sell leather gloves. Perhaps the official believes that leather gloves are also a type of clothing? Fortunately, Qin Hong also found some top quality equipment here. Commoner, male defense 0 3. Magic defense 0 to 1. Durability 5 fifths. Weight 1. Requires level 1. This piece of clothing adds a little more defense than ordinary cloth clothes, which is not bad. After putting this clothes on again, Qin Hong suddenly changed his equipment from top to bottom. Opening the character panel, Qin Hong looked at his equipment attributes and nodded with satisfaction. Qin Hong, level 2. Experience, 20 slash 200. The best dagger. Excellent cloth. The best gold necklace. At level 2, he can only wear these things. When he reaches level 3, he can wear bronze rings. With everything ready, Qin Hong squeezed towards the warehouse again. After buying so many things, of course I can't put them on my body. On the way, he chopped down 4 chickens again. And his experience value increased by 20 points again. Reaching 40 points. It is said that the scarecrow that was refreshed every time was not around him. So Qin Hong couldn't touch it even if he wanted to hit it. When he squeezed past, the day lily was cold. A bunch of chickens always appear around him. Could it be that being so handsome has a downside? With a murmur, Qin Hong stored all the items that were not currently needed into the warehouse. Next, how to upgrade. Looking at the dense crowd of novices, Qin Hong began to think. As a cheating man, he certainly knows how to level up the fastest. It is definitely not possible to follow the trend of killing monsters. There were two paths before him now. The first one is to do tasks. 
get rid of bugs, and clear monsters quickly. The premise is that this mission is the same as the previous game. The second one is to kill a few people, make yourself famous, have sex with a sword guard, and take a free flight to the red named village and another big map. The premise is that this game must still be the same as the previous life. Ming Zhong's place must be a no man's land now. And the low level sheep monsters and so on are enough for him to kill to more than 10 levels without any problem. However, there is a problem with the second article. That is, if he becomes famous, a lot of things will explode if he is instantly killed by the sword guard. If you expose the equipment you just bought, you will cry to death. And it is not good to store the equipment in the warehouse first. Warehouses can only be found in villages or cities. But a place like this is guarded by guards with broadswords. There is a warehouse in Shabak City. But it's a pity that it's too far away. In addition to Lu Yuan, he killed the red name. And it would take an hour or two to get rid of the red name. This is not what he wants. After careful consideration, Qin Hung chose to do the task. Because as long as he can get stuck on that task, his leveling speed will skyrocket. Another reason is that completing tasks can give you items that will be very cool in the future. If the task has not changed, then the item will only be available when completing the task at a low level. Once your level is high, you won't be able to take on quests, and it would be a shame to miss them. So, he started to squeeze towards the instructor Xiao Men at the entrance of the village, preparing to do the task. Chapter 4 Hidden Tasks for Newbies Wubby has been purchasing large quantities of top-notch equipment and gold coins from the three professions for a long time. Come if you have any. Guaranteed credibility. Long term, Wabi has purchased a large amount of three professional equipment and gold coins. Come if you have any. Guaranteed credibility. We formed a team. I have 10 years of gaming experience. Please form a team. Brothers and sisters. Who will take care of me? Dynasty Trade Union has settled in legend. If you want to join the trade union, please join QQ. Long term, Huabi purchases large quantities of equipment and gold coins for three professions. Warriors, please form a team. Mage, please form a team. What a broken game. It's so stuck. Qin Hung squeezed all the way towards the instructor in Novice Village. And all kinds of noises filled his ears. There is an endless stream of people asking for help. Scolding cards. Buying equipment and game currency using Huaga currency. Although the game official has not released various game strategies. Normal team formation. Shouting PK and other functions are naturally introduced. Qin Hung ignored him at all. Just lowered his head and squeezed. Doing the task was important. If he had played games in his previous life. He would still be interested in asking Huabi how to purchase equipment. But he is a time traveler. What use does he need the Chinese coins over there? He doesn't even have a bank account. But he ignored others. But others came to him. The main reason is that he is too conspicuous among countless new players at this moment. While all the players in the village were holding wooden swords. He was the only one holding a dagger. Such an obvious difference naturally attracted a large number of players to watch and check. Check the player's equipment. These are the basic functions of the game. They will be introduced after entering the game. I silently thought to myself. That's it. Just check it. I'm dizzy. His weapon has several more attack points than ours. It looks much better than ours. Holy shit. It's only level 2 and there's an extra piece of equipment. A gold necklace. It looks good. Huh? Why is his cloth different from mine? Does his have a little more defense? Discussions filled the surroundings. But they could not affect Qin Heng's progress. Until he was grabbed by someone. Yes. Hold on. This game is different from previous computer games. It is a real virtual game. So it is no problem to attract people. Hey. Brother. Wait. Wait. Do you sell your weapons? Clothes and necklaces for money? Qin Hung looked at the level 3 soldier in front of him named. Named Difficult Household. In silence. He is the guy who just kept saying that his reputation guarantees the purchase of equipment. Checking the opponent's equipment. In addition to the standard wooden sword and cloth. There is also a bronze ring. No selling. Qin Hung continued to walk forward. But was still pulled by the other party. At this time. Qin Hung can turn on the anti-harassment function. As long as this function is turned on. Others will not be able to pull him. Etc. And can only attack him normally. Just when he was about to turn on the anti-harassment function. The soldier said loudly. I can buy your dagger. Necklace and clothes for 50 Chinese dollars. Can I pay them first? Do you want to sell them? Holy shit. 50 Chinese dollars. What a luxury. How proud. As the price of. Named households with difficulties. Was raised. 
The faces of the people around them changed. And they all showed in the 50 Chinese dollars is equivalent to half a day's salary for an ordinary working class person in China. It's just three pieces of the lowest level virtual equipment. And the asking price is indeed a bit high. Not for sale. Jean Hung simply turned on the anti-harassment mode. And now the household with difficulty naming could no longer hold him back. 80. The households that had trouble naming were stunned. But they didn't give up and increased the price again. Jean Hung didn't even look back. 100. In exchange, Jean Hung Yuan's back was seen. 200. I pay first. Jean Hung disappeared into the crowd. The people who had trouble naming were left speechless for a while. And the people around them hissed and regretted. Ha ha. Boss. You will be frustrated sometimes. Ha ha. Boss. You actually have something you can't buy. At this time, two players crowded in front of the person who had trouble naming. Winking and smiling. The person who named the poor person was not angry. Instead, he smiled and said, Ha ha. I met someone who is not short of money. Did you receive anything good? The zone has just been opened. Where are there any good things? Let's go and level up. Maybe something you can just break out will be better than that kid's just now. That's right. Ha ha. It's just a few low-level equipment. Let's walk around and level up. Several people smiled and pushed forward. Jean Hung successfully squeezed in to become the novice assistant of Ginkgo Village this time. Xiao Min was there. At this time. Here. There are already three circles inside, and three circles outside filled with players, who want to do the mission. However. They were each doing tasks with the NPC and no one else could hear the conversation, just from the expressions of understanding on their faces and their excited departure. You can guess that they must have received the mission, or get the answer you want. Hello! Jean Hung greeted Xiao Min from a distance. As long as we are not too far apart, we can have a conversation. Hello! Respected warrior, welcome to the continent of Marfa. The world is dangerous! Jean Hung listened patiently as she introduced a lot of game background and basic game operations to him. Finally replied, I understand. At this time, Xiao Min ended the conversation with Qin Hung. Qin Hung talked to her several times in a row, but she ignored Qin Hung. My day. There is no way there is no mission. Unwilling to give up, Qin Hung continued to harass the other party. In fact, when players who don't understand get to this point, they may simply think that the conversation is over and choose to leave to fight monsters. But this is actually a trap. You need to nag her tirelessly before you can receive the task. Jean Hung firmly believed that there was still a mission and kept saying, Hello! I want to take over the mission! After seven or eight times, Xiao Min finally responded this time and started asking a few game questions that Jean Hung was familiar with. He answered them all correctly one by one. Yes! Respected warrior, your patience and wisdom have been recognized by me. Take this letter of introduction to the butcher in Beach City and he will tell you what to do. After the call ended, Jean Hung received a letter of introduction in his package. Jean Hung did not leave the village first, but took some time to squeeze into the grocery store. During this journey, Jean Hung killed several more chickens, and his experience value increased to 70 points. It is much closer to the 200 experience points at level 3. I don't know if he has a special affinity with chickens. The only people around him are chickens and chickens. The grocery store sells a variety of items, including random teleportation scrolls candles, dungeon escape scrolls, amulets, etc. Jean Hung bought a candle for 200 gold coins. I also bought a dungeon escape scroll and three bundles of random teleportation scrolls, each bundle containing six, priced at 888 gold coins. For newcomers, it may be very expensive, but for Jean Hung, it is naturally a drop in the bucket. He went to the butcher in Xinchou village again and tried one of his high-quality chicken nuggets. The price was 30 gold coins. The price is about the same as what I played in the previous life. And the gold coins the monsters give out are probably about the same. After selling ordinary chicken pieces, he searched in the product column. Jean Hang's eyes lit up. Sure enough, there were a lot of high-quality meat pieces here. High-quality meat determines what he needs for subsequent missions. Jean Hung must of course look for it here first. Otherwise it will be particularly troublesome. If not, you can only buy it. And from the fact that there are many high quality pieces of meat here, it can be seen that many players really miss this mission. Chapter 5 The Heaven Defying Prayer Necklace Quality 5 chicken nuggets are sold in the store for 200 gold coins each. A piece of quality 12 venison costs 400 gold coins. He didn't know if this mission would be the same as in his previous life. 
so Qin Hong didn't dare to buy more. After purchasing 10 yuan of each item, Qin Hong opened the random teleportation package. A bundle of random teleportation scrolls is divided into six. And then you choose to use one. Whoosh! Qin Hong appeared in the woods outside the entrance of the small village. The random teleportation scroll, as the name suggests, can be randomly sent to any corner of the current map after use. The road to Biki City was long. So Qin Hong used random teleportation to get there. Otherwise, it would take half a day to run. However, Qin Hong was unlucky and randomly arrived at the gate of the village. There is nothing that can be done about it. The random teleportation scroll is such a piss poor thing. After using it, no one knows where it will be randomly. When Qin Hong was chasing his enemy in his previous life, the unlucky guy randomly flew directly to his knife edge. A breeze blew from the woods in the distance, making Qin Hong narrow his eyes slightly. This legendary game is much more realistic than its predecessors. Looking around, he could see the surging figures of players everywhere. Often a scarecrow, a multi-hook cat or a deer is overwhelmed by players as soon as it is spawned. There are too many people. Without looking any further, Qin Hong used the random teleportation scroll again. With a whoosh, he fell onto the bridge of a river. The sudden appearance of Qin Hong startled the players who were waiting for the monster on the bridge. Before they could react, Qin Hong had randomly flown away. Oh my god! It seems that a person suddenly appeared just now and then disappeared again. A player rubbed his eyes. Yes, I saw it too. What kind of skill is this? Who knows? Ha ha. This game feels very fun. Damn. I really want to rush up to the level. Damn it. There are so many people. Qin Hong flew several times in a row. And every time he landed, there were no monsters. Only humans. Call out. He randomly went out again. On on on. Meow meow meow. Zixashasha. My day. The screen was full of orcs spiders, and multi-crooked cats, which startled Qin Hung. This happened to the upper left corner of the map randomly. It is estimated that the player army has not reached this point yet. And it turns out that they are all monsters. There is no way to defeat monsters in the monster pile. Call out. Qin Hung ran away randomly again. With good luck this time, he randomly arrived at the Moda Beach City, surrounded by players who are also waiting for monsters to refresh. Qin Hung ran along the moat towards Beach City. There were obviously not as many players here as there were in Novice Village. It is estimated that many people have not yet reached their level. After running all the way into Biki City and past the palace, Qin Hung arrived at the safe area of Biki City. There are not many players standing in the safe zone. Only about 20 or so. Many people were running back and forth, probably busy leveling up. After running through the safe area, Qin Hung quickly found the butcher standing not far away. Hello! Someone asked me to bring you a letter. Ah! Mighty warrior, thank you very much. This is your reward. The butcher accepted the letter and rewarded Qin Hong with 1,000 gold coins. Can you do one more thing for me? Okay, please say it. I need a piece of venison and a piece of chicken, said the butcher. Okay, I accept. System prompt, you have accepted the butcher's task. Qin Hong did not leave, but continued to talk to the other party. Hello, I'll hand in the assignment. He just dug a lot of chicken in Shinsho village and bought a lot of high-quality venison. Naturally, there is no need to go out and look for it anymore. Very good. Take this thing to the bookstore owner in Beach City, and he will guide you on what to do. The butcher in front of him was not surprised at how quickly Chin Hung completed the task. It seems that the intelligence is not very high. After casually accepting the two pieces of meat from Chin Hung's package, he rewarded Chin Hung with 500 gold coins and a Buddhist amulet. The bookstore owner was not far away. Qin Hung went over and handed over the Buddhist amulet. Dear warrior, thank you very much for your help. This is your reward. Can you do me one more favor? The bookstore owner accepted the Buddhist amulet and rewarded Qin Hung with 500 gold coins. Can! Very good. Help me find 5 pieces of quality 5 chicken and 5 pieces of quality 12 venison. At this point, Qin Hung had a lot of this kind of meat in his package. But he didn't finish it and went back to the butcher again, trying to fill the entire space in the package with cuts of meat of these two qualities, because he didn't know whether this task could be done over and over again, or whether it could only be done once and be gone after collecting the meat in the package. Back to the bookstore owner again. Very well. Thank you for your efforts. I will accept the meat. This is your reward. The bookstore owner waved away five pieces of chicken and five pieces of venison. The bell rang loudly, 
And there was another item in Qin Heng's package. Prayer necklace. Is that all? Qin Hong was surprised when he looked at this necklace that looked a little shabby. He remembers that he needs to choose by himself. Forget it. I guess the task will change slightly, and the result will be the same. I just don't know if this blessing necklace still has its original hidden properties. Qin Hong equipped the blessing necklace nervously, and his eyes immediately widened. The necklace, which originally had no attributes displayed, now has an additional attribute. Blessing necklace, weight 1. Endurance 3 to 3. Special attributes, a treasure given by God. Every time you die, you will receive blessings from God, and no items will be dropped. Note that the persistence will drop a little after death, and cannot be repaired. Ha ha. This hidden attribute is actually displayed directly. This is good stuff. The biggest fear in playing the legendary game is to die while wearing top-notch equipment during a treasure fight. As there is a chance that the equipment you are wearing will be exposed. With this blessing necklace, there is no need to worry. These tasks below level 7 are not in vain. According to the experience of previous games, this task can only be completed by level 7 or below. It cannot be accepted if you are above level 7. Otherwise, Qin Hung would not do this task now. Now we just want to see if we can continue to do this task. Qin Hung first took off the blessing necklace and looked around. There were only a few people there, but no one probably noticed him. Naturally, the secret of the blessing necklace cannot be exposed yet. I will wait until I have obtained enough. Besides, since his level is low now, he doesn't need to wear a blessing necklace to fight monsters. He might as well wear a gold necklace to fight monsters. Qin Hung talked to the bookstore owner again. Dear warrior, what do you need? To Qin Heng's surprise, following the bookstore owner's words, two choices appeared in front of him out of thin air. One, open the product section. Two, exchange for blessing necklace. Of course Qin Hung chose two. He just wanted to continue changing to the blessing necklace. I don't know how many pieces can be exchanged here. The legend from the previous life seems to be gone after just a few exchanges. The bell rang. Qin Heng's package was missing five pieces of quality five chicken and five pieces of quality twelve venison. But there was an extra blessing necklace. Qin Hung changed another one and then stopped. There was not enough meat in the package. Chapter 6 Hidden Leveling Map After getting three blessing necklaces at once, Qin Hung went on to talk to the bookstore owner. However, this time I am buying a skill book. I checked the product section. And sure enough, there were also five intermediate and advanced skill books for sale here. Gritting his teeth, Qin Hung bought five copies of Summoning Divine Beasts and Half Moon Scimitar. Again, I don't know if the game system will be released again or if it will be sold out and gone. Ignore it for now. Buy it later. When he arrived at the warehouse, Qin Hung took a look at the warehouse's functions. There was still no place to bundle gold bars. Depend on. I don't know if Tuching exists anymore. Otherwise, that bug really doesn't exist anymore. The three blessing necklaces and ten skill books were stored inside again. Just when Qin Hung wanted to close the warehouse, his eyes widened instantly. Summon the Divine Beast. X10. Half Moon Scimitar. X10. Huh? The same skill books are stacked together? He remembered that the legend he played in his previous life did not have this function. Could it be that the warehouse here has been modified to be more advanced? After pondering for a moment, Qin Hung stopped delving into it. This is a great thing. In this way, he can store a lot more things in his warehouse. After all, he came in under special circumstances and could not continue to create characters. This means he can't build many outs to store stuff. But with this feature, the benefits are huge. He tried putting a few random teleportation scrolls in. And sure enough, they could still be superimposed. My day. It would be great if the package bar also had this function. Sighing, Qin Hung found the butcher in Beach City and bought 30 pieces of chicken with a quality of 5 and 11 pieces of venison with a quality of 12 or above. These are all the quality cuts of meat you can buy here. At present, it is estimated that no one except him can do this task. And even if there is, there are very few. Therefore, it can also be purchased at the butcher. If everyone knows about it, these high-quality cuts of meat will definitely fetch sky-high prices. Qin Hung naturally wanted to take advantage of now to wipe them out. If you sell it in the future, you will definitely make a lot of money. Qin Hung remembered that this was the case in his previous life. A piece of chicken nugget with quality 5 sold for 1,000 gold coins at its peak. Venison with quality 12 or above was even more difficult to obtain. Selling for 3,000 gold coins. That's just the number of people on one server. But now, with so many players pouring into the entire country of China, 
Chin Hung doesn't know what price these high-quality pieces of meat will fetch. Anyway, he would change the prayer necklaces himself first, until he couldn't change anymore. And then, he would hoard the pieces of meat. How much can you stock up on? Don't worry about others not knowing the mission. The worst thing is that Chin Hung can go to the website and post the mission himself when he's full. After going to the bookstore to exchange for two blessing necklaces, Chin Hung stored the remaining pieces of meat and blessing necklaces in the warehouse. So far, he owns five blessing necklaces. The blessing necklaces were also stacked together as expected. However, two pieces of the same type of equipment with different attributes are not superimposed. But separated, could it be that only those with the same attributes can be superimposed? After thinking for a moment, Jean Hung left it alone. The main task was completed, and the rest was naturally upgrading. It has to be said that the base of novice players is huge. In just a short while, the flow of people in the entire beach city has increased several times. It's starting to get a bit crowded. And I guess after a while, it will be like Novice Village. No one can squeeze in anymore. Chin Hung was running around Beaky City just now and could see chickens. But now, he couldn't even see a single feather on them. I checked several players who seemed to have different equipment. The highest level player had been promoted to level 7. And there were a lot of players at level 5 and 6. It is estimated that there are people above level 7. But Chin Hung himself did not see it. It's time to upgrade. However, there is still one thing left to do. When you come to this city, of course you have to go shopping in major equipment stores. Maybe there will be top-notch equipment inside. When he came to the jewelry store, the highest level of equipment here was level 10 equipment. After checking it out, Chin Hung got three pieces of top quality equipment. He came to the clothing store again, where level 11 light armor was newly added to the clothes. Chin Hung took out two small pieces of high quality clothes. Come to the weapon shop. In addition to selling level 10 weapons, there are also mining pickaxes for level 11. Chin Hung also took out two small top quality weapons, both of which added one point of main attribute. As long as you gain something, it's not bad. Once the players have reached a higher level, they can be sold. After storing the things, Chin Hung left some level 3 equipment in the package that could be used immediately, and then ran to the drugstore to buy three bundles of small golden healing potions and a bundle of small magic potions. Then I went to the bookstore and bought a skill book, Healing Technique, learned by Taoist priests at the 7th level and Psychic Power Warfare, learned at the 9th level. He will enter the hidden map to level up later. He doesn't want to reach level 7 and then come here to buy skill books. Without wasting any more time, he flew several times in a row and finally arrived next to the novice village. After trotting through the crowded crowd, Chin Hung arrived at the entrance of the village and looked inside. There were even more players here. Weyong Weyong. After a lot of effort, Chin Hung finally managed to get to the novice instructor. In the middle, I killed a few more chickens and dug out some pieces of chicken. The experience value has been upgraded to 100 points, which is still 100 points short of level 3. After talking to the novice instructor, Chin Hung suddenly discovered that the task seemed a little different. Dear warrior, you have completed the butcher mission. Now it is time to improve your strength. Are you willing to improve your strength? This. No more blacksmith quests. Okay. It saves trouble. Willing. Very well. Go find a senior warrior. He will guide you on how to improve your strength. After taking over the task, Chin Hung ran to the butcher first and bought more than 10 pieces of quality 5 chicken and 12 quality venison, all of which were stored in the warehouse. After everything was done, he used the random teleportation scroll with a hiss. I was lucky this time, and I randomly arrived next to the high-ranking samurai's house. Meow a cat meowed, and a group of multi-hook cats holding hooks suddenly appeared around them. With quick eyes and quick hands, Chin Hung stabbed a multi-hook cat in the back with a dagger. Before he could stab it a second time, the multi-hook cat had already been killed by the surrounding players. The experience value is increased by 18. Following the death of the multi-hook cat, there was a jingle, and a small pile of gold coins fell on the ground. A player stepped on it and couldn't pick it up. So he walked away. Chin Hung stepped on it, a bell rang, and there were 30 more gold coins in the package. This game does seem to be a little different from the one played in the previous life. When the Legend Zone was first opened in the previous life, there was no such thing as item protection, and it took a while for it to be opened. Now it opens early. With his thoughts on his mind, Chin Hung quickly walked into the large courtyard in front, the home of senior warriors. Seeing Chin Hung walking in, no one else reacted. They have already explored it and there is nothing inside except an old man 
who doesn't care about them. How do they know that if they don't accept the mission, they won't be able to trigger the next mission? Chin Hung walked in and saw a veteran named Senior Warrior in front of him. Hello. I want to improve my strength. The Senior Warrior nodded. Very good. I can send you in. You can kill all the monsters inside within five minutes. And I will give you a skill book. Are you ready? Ready. Call out. The next moment, Chin Hung appeared in the corner of a small garden. And the lawn in the garden is full of monsters. Chicken. Scarecrow. Deer. Multi-hook cat. Rake cat. After taking a look, there were only these five kinds of monsters. And they were full of them. Ha ha. I am coming. Chin Hung cheered. Went up to catch a sick a deer and started to do it. Chapter 7 Rapid Upgrade In the mission map of Senior Samurai House. Kakaka. Chin Hung attacked a sick a deer. After the first blow, a red blood strip appeared on the top of the deer's head. A value suddenly appeared on the health bar. 25 points. This means that the health of this sick a deer is 25 points. If you empty this health, you can kill the opponent. Chin Hung remembered the legend in his previous life. At first, the blood volume was not visible. Unexpectedly, it was directly displayed here. In the previous game of killing chickens and cats, a group of people killed them instantly. And the monsters died without even showing their health bar. Chin Hung thought there was no health bar. However, this is much more convenient. Chin Hung's current attack power is 1 slash 1 attack by himself. For out of 7 attack with the dagger, and 0 slash 2 attack with the gold necklace. Total attack reached 5 out of 10 points. In the current situation where there are no skills, you can only use normal attack power. An attack of 5 out of 10 means that Chin Hung can cut off the opponent's health by at least 5 points, and at most 10 points with each attack. It is generally difficult to achieve the maximum attack. Unless the whole body is lucky in plus 9, the sword can exert the maximum attack. In his previous life, Chin Hung had collected a complete set of lucky plus 9 sets. But unfortunately it is temporarily unavailable here. The gold necklace added 2 points of agility greatly increasing Chin Hang's dodge rate. Therefore, he attacked the sick a deer twice. And then the opponent hit him with its antlers, losing one point of blood. The low health loss is also due to the 0-3 defense commoner. Otherwise, if the sick a deer pushes him, he will still lose about 4 drops of blood. Chin Hang's two attacks, one at 7 points and the other at 8 points, had already cut off 15 points of its health. During the attack, Chin Hung also noticed something. When the sick deer attacked him, he felt no pain, but was slightly itchy. This gave him a lot of peace of mind, as long as he didn't feel any real pain. Click. After another slash, a number 10 floated above the deer's head, and with a squeaking sound, it laid down directly. The experience value has been increased by 15 points. This knife actually triggered 10 points of maximum attack, which surprised Chin Hung. After looking at the monsters around Wuyong Wuyong, Chin Hung gave up the idea of digging for meat. If the quality of digging a piece of meat is not good, it will only be sold for a few dozen gold coins. It is not as good as killing monsters and leveling up. Digging for meat is such a waste of time. He is already far behind others. So naturally he can no longer dig for meat. After fighting monsters this time, he also discovered a problem. When the monster attacked him, he didn't stand back. And when he attacks the monster, he will also not interrupt the monster's attack. At the beginning of the game in the previous life, when monsters and players attack each other, they would fall back and get a meal. Sometimes players can also interrupt monster attacks. Later, plugins were introduced so that players would not be affected by attacks. But monsters would still be affected by player attacks. In this current situation, perhaps it is because this is a virtual game of consciousness. So it has become more advanced? With his mind on his mind, his men did not slow down and cautiously approached a lone sick a deer at the edge of the monster. Chin Hung continued to kill. He is currently only at level 2. If he is accidentally attacked by the scarecrow, the rake cat, etc., he will have no choice but to run away. After killing the deer, Chin Hung then chopped down a lone scarecrow. The scarecrow's attack is similar to that of a sick a deer, and its blood volume is also 25 points. But the experience value it gives is relatively low. Only 12 experience points. Fortunately, this guy is a big player, and he usually gets some gold coins when he dies. If you're lucky, you can even get low-level equipment, such as an ebony sword. After killing several deer, chickens, and scarecrows in succession, a burst of white light rose, and Chin Hung was promoted to level 3. After taking a look at his own attributes, 
His blood volume increased to 23 points. His magic value increased to 15 points. And his experience value for promotion to level 4 reached 300 points. There are no other changes. Jean Hung put on the level 3 equipment. Two bronze rings. And two iron bracelets that had been prepared in the package. The attack of the two bronze rings is 0 slash 1. And the original attribute of the iron bracelet is exactly 1 point. And the two Qin Hung found in the store were of the highest quality. One is an iron bracelet with a little more Taoism and a little more attack. The other piece is an iron bracelet with two more points of Taoism and one more point of defense. Very good equipment. The increase in Taoist skills is of little use to Qin Hung for the time being. But the attack power has increased several points. Two bronze rings increase the attack limit by two points. And a bracelet increases the attack limit by one point. And also adds a little more defense. This increased Qin Hang's attack to 5 13th points and his defense to 1 5th. In this way, chickens will basically lose no blood when they hit him. While Sika Deer and Scarecrow will have to deduct a drop of blood when they hit him. Qin Hung continued to kill monsters. And soon the surrounding monsters were almost cleared away, leaving only a rake cat. Qin Hung stabbed the opponent in the back with a dagger. Wow! 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 The rake cat barked and fired back excitedly. Its HP is 33 points. And Qin Hang's HP reaches about 10 points each time he attacks. When the opponent attacks him, he only loses two drops of blood each time. Meow. As the rake cat lay on the ground with a satisfied cry, Qin Hung gained 18 experience points. At the same time, the bell rang loudly, and a small pile of gold coins and a necklace exploded on the ground. Equipment is out. Qin Hung stepped up and took a look in surprise. Traditional necklace requires level 3. Accuracy plus 1. Endurance 8 to 8. Weight 1. It's an ordinary necklace. From a store. GRRRR. Qin Hung drank a bottle of Xia Jinkwing potion. Filling up the remaining 5 points of health. As long as he is promoted to level 7. He can learn the healing technique. Then, there will be no need to drink Jin Chuang medicine. Qin Hung continued to kill monsters and added a few pieces of equipment. And his speed of killing monsters increased significantly. The sick a deer and the scarecrow will die with three blows. But with luck, it can be done with two blows. The rake cat and the multi hook cat can be dealt with with four strikes. And if you are lucky, you can deal with them with three strikes. As for the chicken, it couldn't bear Qin Hang's gentle poke. After Qin Hung killed a multi hook cat, when he slashed at a sick a deer again, the guy didn't even hit him, but moved forward quickly and walked away. The best sick a deer. Qin Hang's eyes lit up. He chased after him and hacked him to death three times. I dug into the sick a deer and quickly dug out a piece of venison. Quality 25. A sick a deer that can run must produce high quality meat. And Qin Hung will naturally not let it go. However, Qin Hung was very excited to be able to produce a piece of quality 25 venison. Venison with quality above 20 is related to another task. He just bought so much venison. But he didn't even buy quality 20. Which shows that there is not much of it. After leveling up here, Go to the novice village and wait for a while to clean up the meat pieces. Continue killing monsters. Qin Hung quickly killed more than 20 monsters of various kinds. A burst of white light lit up. And Qin Hung upgraded. The experience gained from level 4 to level 5 becomes 400 points. After the upgrade, Qin Hang's blood volume increased again. And he was equipped with good equipment. Which also made him more courageous. You can now face attacks from 2 or 3 scarecrows or rake cats at the same time. Speeding up his spawning speed again. During this period, the scarecrow and the rake cat generously gave out a lot of gold coins. When killing a scarecrow, there was a tinkling sound and another crisp sound. Qin Hung was surprised to see that it was a small bottle of golden medicine. Yes, the potion has been replenished. There are about 50 monsters in this garden. With Qin Hang's current strength, he can kill 15 monsters in one minute. The task given by the senior warrior was to clear out all the monsters within five minutes. Qin Hung had no problem completing this task. When there were only three chickens left, a burst of white light lit up, and Qin Hung upgraded again. Promoted to level 5. The experience value for promotion to level 6 has also been increased to 600 points. By this time, Qin Hung had killed two of the three remaining chickens, leaving one unkilled. I looked at the mission time under the character panel and saw that it would end in more than a minute. You cannot clear out all the monsters at this time. Otherwise the mission will be over, and there will be no need to clear them. When the time is up and the mission fails, Qin Hung can continue to challenge the mission and continue to come in to slay monsters. This is using the rules of the game to upgrade. Before the time was up, 
He dug into the two pieces of chicken out of boredom. It's okay. There's one with quality six. It seems that there is plenty of time to dig out meat while hunting. Then he sat down and waited, slowly recovering his blood volume. From the time he entered the leveling process, it only took him more than three minutes to reach level five. Compared with the players outside who are frantically grabbing monsters, this speed is simply heavenly. Without this hidden upgrade map, Jean Hung would not have been promoted so quickly. Unless he uses another method to upgrade to alliance level. He is not worried about someone doing this task and coming in to grab monsters. Because as long as someone is doing this task, others can't get in. Besides, if you want to accomplish this task, it's not easy if you don't understand. First of all, you need to talk to the novice instructor Xiaoming continuously to receive the butcher mission. The butcher task is completed. And the perverted task of the bookstore owner still needs to be completed. If you don't have money to buy 5 pieces of quality chicken and 10 pieces of quality 12 venison, trying to get them all in a short time among the army of novices outside is simply a daydream. And the most perverted thing is that after the bookstore mission is completed, the bookstore owner will not remind you that you can go back to Xiao Min to pick up the mission. Most people think that after completing the bookstore task, they are done. How can they go to novice village to continue the conversation with Xiao Min? Even if you go to talk, it's not easy to find a high-level samurai. She didn't tell you where the senior warrior was. At first, Qin Hung only knew where the other party was after reading other people's strategies. Therefore, for those who have never played this game, it is currently impossible to enter this hidden map card mission to farm monsters. Chapter 8 Level 7 Healing While waiting boredly, Qin Hung studied his character panel. Suddenly I discovered some new little features. For example, the time above shows what time it is now. It was now 1845 which was similar to the timetable in his previous life. Unlike in this time-traveled world, there is no such precise time display. There is only something called a clock dial, but it is not accurate to the second. Only one hour, divided into six moments of display. This is already much more advanced than the ancient times in previous lives. After checking the character panel, Jean Hung thought about the world outside himself. Fighting monsters here can improve the strength of the external body. So, how to improve it? I have been promoted to level 5 here. Has my body in the outside world improved? Jean Hung can't sense it at all now. He really wanted to quit the game and take a look. But leveling up was important now, and he was doing tasks. So naturally he couldn't quit. Time passes quickly. When the 5 minute task time is up, a system prompt sounds. Ding dong! Mission challenge failed. With a whoosh, Jean Hung was teleported out of the map and returned to the senior warrior. I want to challenge! Jean Hung continued to challenge and entered the small garden before. It was full of monsters again. Jean Hung laughed, rushed forward, caught a multi-hook cat, and started to fight. This is using the rules of the game to brush monsters and level up. It takes 5 minutes to complete the leveling process. And the leveling speed is amazing. Safe and fast. No one has grabbed monsters yet. Because it was a special map, Jean Hung didn't feel any lag. It was simply beautiful. While frantically killing monsters, Jean Hung also burst out several bottles of small golden creation potions and small magic potions. There are also two pieces of jewelry. A bronze ring and a gold necklace. They're not top quality. They're all store-bought. I also dug up several pieces of venison with quality 12 and pieces of chicken with quality 5 or above. He threw away the ordinary pieces of chicken and venison, which took up too much space in the package and couldn't fit so many things. At this time, Jean Hung killed another scarecrow. And with a ding, a darker mahogany sword fell to the ground along with a pile of gold coins. Could it be? After picking it up and looking at it, Jean Hung suddenly smiled. Ebony sword, attack 4 out of 8. Magic 0 slash 1. Duration 7 sevenths. Weight 8. Level 1 required. Yes, compared to the 4-7 attack dagger in your hand, it has a little more upper limit attack. Jean Hung immediately changed and his attack power reached May 14th. Jean Hung changed to the ebony sword and almost all his swords had an attack score of 10 or more. Such a sharp attack has a considerable effect on spawning monsters. You can kill a chicken in one go. If you are lucky, you can kill the scarecrow and the sick a deer with two swords. Three knives can kill multi-hook cats and rake cats. While spawning monsters quickly, there are also a lot of things that explode. Scarecrow, rake cat and multi-hook cat will drop small potions from time to time, which is enough to replenish Chin Hang's consumption. Jean Hung also shot a few more top quality sick a deer, and once again found several pieces of meat with quality above 12. Among them, 
one with quality above 20 was dug up again. Meow. Another raid cat was beaten to death by Chin Hung. And then, there was a 3 by 3 explosion with the sound of a bell. Three small gold potions and three small magic potions fell on the ground. As well as three pieces of equipment and four relatively large piles of gold coins. Chin Hung was so excited that he stepped on all the pedals. Ringing. 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 Congratulations on getting 150 gold coins. Congratulations on getting. The gold coins are all in piles of 150 gold coins. Which is very comfortable to step on. When he opened the package column and took a look. His eyes suddenly lit up. Bronze ring. Attack 0 slash 2. Durability 5 fifths. Weight 1. Requires level 3. Yes. This is a ring with a little more attack power. It's a little gem. He looked at the other two pieces of equipment and they were both ordinary. One is an ordinary cloth for men, and the other is an ordinary iron bracelet. Selling a store is also good. Replacing an ordinary bronze ring. Chin Hang's attack power reached May 15th. After trying it, he killed the deer and the scarecrow with two cuts. To kill a multi-hook cat. Sometimes two knives can kill it. Even if you can't die, you'll be disabled. Under this attack, Chin Hang's speed of clearing monsters greatly accelerated again. When he killed a few monsters, a white light lit up, and he leveled up. Level 6. Experience 2 out of 900. From the time he arrived at the senior warrior's home, it took him just over 8 minutes to be promoted from level 2 to level 6. If the players outside who were suffering from the pain of grabbing monsters and killing them knew about this, they would be jealous with envy. I checked my character panel and found that this upgrade, apart from increasing the blood volume and magic value, did not increase any other attributes. It seems that the game is the same as in the previous life. And it will only increase at level 7. After looking at the time, I saw that although the speed of killing monsters had been accelerated a lot this time, with the addition of digging for meat, there were still more than 20 seconds left before the end of 5 minutes. Time up. Mission challenge failed. Chin Hung was teleported out. After taking a look, there were still no other players in this room. I don't know if someone came to see the senior samurai but couldn't get in. Or if there was no one to do this task. Anyway, this challenge, as long as he is inside, no one else can enter. Without thinking much, he chose to challenge again, entered the small garden, and continued to spawn monsters. This time it still took more than four minutes, and all the monsters in the small garden were eliminated by him. Except for one chicken. I exploded some gold coins, a few bottles of small potions, and two ordinary pieces of equipment, a silver bracelet and a dagger. None of them are as good as the ones he wears. The ones sold in stores. As for the level, I didn't get promoted this time. And I'm still short of nearly 300 experience points. No way. The higher the level, the more experience points are required. When the time was up, Chin Hung entered the challenge again. When half of the monsters were cleared this time, a white light rose up and he leveled up. Level 7. Experience, 4 out of 1200. Finally reaching level 7. Chin Hung happily opened the parcel column. More than half of the 46 slot parcel column has been occupied by messy items. And it is almost full. There are equipment, pieces of meat, and random teleportation scrolls. Looks like I have to go back to the city after this fight. After finding the Taoist priest's 7th level skill book he bought, healing technique, Chin Hung chose to study it. Congratulations on learning the healing technique. Dot. The learning process is very simple. Chin Hung chooses to learn with his mind. And the skill book disappears immediately. After finishing studying, he had an extra skill panel in his mind. And now there was an extra skill on it. Healing, level 0. Skill proficiency, 0 out of 1200, all data shall be subject to this book. Note, since the first magic, Taoist priests have embarked on the path of curing diseases and saving people. The warm light that shines like starlight can quickly heal the wounds of the humans enveloped in it. It can be said, that it is the most common light that people want to see on the battlefield. Skills are graded, and each time you use them, you will gain one-third more proficiency points. Once the proficiency is reached, the skill will be automatically upgraded. Using the healing technique is also very simple. As long as you think about it, you can use it directly. Chin Hung thought silently in his heart, and then automatically waved his right hand to his head. Ring, ring, ring. Following the ringing sound, a circle of dazzling white light appeared above his head. After the sacred light was shed, the few drops of blood he had lost from the monster attack suddenly began to rise. Filled up quickly. Ha uh ha. -huh. 
Now I don't even need to take the goal creating medicine to defeat monsters. This is the good thing about Taoist priests. As long as there is blue, there is no panic in the heart. I looked at the magic points and saw that seven points were consumed, which is not bad. The author has forgotten the specific amount of mana consumed. Please refer to this book. Chapter 9 Gold Medal Businessman. Opening the character panel. Sheen Hung took a closer look. Sure enough, the character panel had changed this time. Defense power. Magic defense power. Attack power. And magic power have each been increased by a certain upper limit and lower limit. Agility increased by one point. The Taoism of this profession has been increased by two points. Everything is subject to this book. This caused Qin Hang's attack to become six sixteenths. The increase in attack and agility made Qin Hung more efficient in killing these monsters. The scarecrow and the sick deer didn't even attack him. And he was already hacked to death with two knives. The multi hook cat had just attacked him once before he had to kneel down. He quickly cleared away the wave of monsters, leaving only one chicken. Once again, I got some gold coins, three pieces of equipment, and five pieces of high quality venison. Three pieces of equipment. One is a traditional necklace. One is a small bracelet with zero one magic defense. And an ordinary ebony sword. It's time to go back and sell the contents of the package before coming back. In fact, Chin Hung is now at level 7 and can kill higher level orcs. Forest snowmen. Or go to the skull cave. But there are too many players out there. So it's probably hard for the orcs to grab them. It's better to hide here and continue to grind. If the rules don't change, he can still grind a few more levels here. Once every 5 minutes, he can gain about 600 experience points, which is already very fast. There was only one chicken left, so Chin Hung didn't wait for the time to be up, and directly used the dungeon escape scroll. With a whoosh, he flew out of this small garden copy. With another whoosh, I landed on a familiar terrain. The entrance to Viper Valley is next to the Beach City mining area. At this time, groups of players filled his field of vision, forming teams to fight against some monsters that might have just been spawned. There are those who kill spiders, those who kill orcs, and those who kill multi-hooked cats. Kakaka. Ring ring ring. Boo hoo hoo. Help me add blood. The poison of this spider is too strong. The mage's fireball was accurate. Where did it go? Sure enough, an army of players has already reached this kind of map. Chin Hung even saw many novices running into the Viper Valley and Beach City mining areas with wooden swords. TSK TSK. The ignorant are really fearless. The snakes in the Viper Valley are more than twice as powerful as the orcs and poisonous spiders. And there are zombies in the beach city mining area that are even more powerful than the vipers. Under this kind of gap, these players who are only around level 7 are looking for death if they enter. Sure enough, before Chin Hung could fly away, he saw many players running out of these two places with residual health. Damn! The poisonous snake inside is so perverted! Nah! This zombie is impossible to defeat. With a chuckle, Chin Hung flew away with a whoosh of a random teleportation scroll. I flew several times in a row, but every time I landed in a crowd. After the sixth time, he luckily landed next to a warehouse in another novice village. Border village. There are only two novice villages in this game. Therefore, the novice village is even more crowded at this moment. With countless people constantly squeezing out, Chin Hung didn't know if there would be another server for this game in the future. If not, there would be so many people and there wouldn't be enough monsters to kill. And with the continuous influx of novices, the place has become even more stuck. Chin Hung doubted whether the server of this game would be overcrowded. The warehouse was opened and high quality venison and chicken were stored inside. Seeing the pieces of meat of the same quality stacked together, Chin Hung felt a big stone drop in his heart. He was afraid that the warehouse would be full and he wouldn't be able to store the meat so he would have to hoard a ridiculous amount of meat. In addition to the pieces of meat, he also put in the bundles of potions and some individual potions. He knows healing skills and has good equipment. He can kill multi-hook cats and so on. He no longer needs to drink blood bottles. He can only drink a blue bottle at most to defeat a wave of monsters. At this stage, at least a few more potions can be exploded. Therefore, these potions must be saved for later use. Otherwise the package will not fit. Along the edge of the house. He came to the jewelry store, where he sold more than 10 pieces of junk jewelry. By the way, I found two small pieces of exquisite jewelry. I went to the weapon store and sold two daggers and a wooden sword, and found a small top quality weapon. After selling and buying these things, plus the gold coins from killing monsters, Jean Hung had more than 3,000 gold coins. 
Chin Hung squeezed in front of a Taoist girl, who was shouting to collect equipment next to the safe area. Her name is Gold Metal Merchant, and she looks like she buys and sells equipment. How to collect an ordinary ebony sword? Chin Hung asked. Seeing someone asking a question, the gold metal businessman's eyes lit up. She is a professional game merchant, and she used to be a merchant of other games. She did a lot of work early on when this game was being promoted. We have conducted in-depth research on the official equipment information released. The game Legend is the first virtual game in China where human consciousness enters the game. According to the information she received, the entire game is run freely by a supercomputer, and the outside world cannot interfere at all. No matter how you look at it, this game will quickly become the most popular game in China. Therefore, she immediately led her team into this game, preparing to show off her talents here. But the game has only been open for two hours. So there is no extra equipment for the players to sell to her. Occasionally, someone brings equipment, which is also ordinary low-level equipment from some stores. It's totally worthless, and she won't accept it. So far, she has only received an ebony sword, a traditional necklace with a little added attack and some gold coins. At this moment, when she saw someone selling ebony swords, she immediately became interested. A handful of five Chinese dollars. While answering casually, she also checked the equipment of the Tianyao prodigal son in front of her. Sri Lanka. Holy shit. What a pervert. Upon seeing this, the gold metal businessman suddenly opened his mouth wide, as if he could swallow an egg in one mouthful. As a professional game merchant, she has already studied the attributes of legendary equipment. She could casually name all the attributes of current level 1 to 10 equipment. So when she saw Chin Hang's top-notch equipment, she was really shocked. The weapon is an ebony sword, a top-quality gold necklace, two top-quality iron bracelets, a top-quality bronze ring, and top-quality common clothes. Depend on, is this an official relative? Otherwise, it would be great luck to get this top-quality equipment within two hours of opening the server. Right? Don't you see that many players don't even have all the equipment? This, this is all you. Did you do it yourself? The gold medal businessman stammered and asked nonsense. Upon hearing this, the players nearby also checked Chin Heng's equipment. Wow, a complete set of equipment. Eh? How come his iron bracelet is different from mine? His one adds attack and defense. Yes, his gold necklace is different from mine. His has more attack and agility. A group of people were talking about it. And the gold metal businessman who had recovered a little bit smiled and explained. This is top-notch equipment. It's just ordinary equipment with other attributes added to it. Top quality equipment? The eyes of the surrounding players suddenly lit up. Yes, you can sell me any top quality equipment you have. Buy it with Wabi. The gold metal businessman said in an advertising greeting. At the same time, he turned to Chin Hung and asked. How is it? Do you want to sell it for five Chinese coins? Today's equipment is very low level and buying a first-level weapon for five Chinese dollars is already very expensive. She doesn't expect to make a fortune from this small business now. It's just to get familiar with the market and accumulate popularity and connections. Chin Hung shook his head. I don't sell Chinese coins. I sell gold coins. 50,000 gold coins. He doesn't have a Chinese bank card. So how can he receive Chinese currency? They must be selling gold coins. Chapter 10 Make a Fortune Silently What? 50,000 gold coins? Chin Hang's words made the gold metal merchant speechless for a while. She smiled bitterly and said, Brother prodigal son, where can I get you 50,000 gold coins now? Currently, she collects equipment in Chinese dollars. The ebony sword she just collected was sold to Kaizi, a player in the game named Naming the Difficult Household at a high price for 40 Chinese dollars. Another traditional necklace with a little added attack was sold by her for 50 Chinese dollars. Meet a young man who is not short of money. It's just cool. After being fooled by her few words, I just waved my hand and bought it without even telling the price. If you don't have any gold coins, don't sell them. Chin Hung shook his head and wanted to walk away. The gold metal businessman stopped him. Wait a minute. The gold coins are too high. Isn't it? This is just a first level weapon and will be eliminated soon. It can be used up to level 10. And there are a lot of players. Chin Hung smiled and looked at the new players, who were still pouring into the game. How about 20,000 gold coins? That's all I have. The gold metal businessman quoted the price. In fact, she already has 50,000 gold coins. These gold coins were collected bit by bit by several of them in different places using Chinese coins. Now that the district has just opened, 
Gold coins are very expensive. 10,000 gold coins are equivalent to two Chinese coins. The minimum is 40,000 gold coins. If it works, the deal will be done. If it doesn't, forget it. Jin Heng's attitude was very firm. The gold metal businessman gritted his teeth and said, Okay, deal. This is a potential customer. And the gold metal businessman certainly wants to have a good relationship with Qin Hung. From the current influx of people in Novice Village, we can predict how big the equipment market will be in the future. Once the relationship with this kind of super potential customer is established, there will be many benefits in the future. Qin Hung faced the other party and opened the transaction column, placed the ebony sword, and the other party placed 40,000 gold coins. Transaction successful. Brother prodigal son, please add me as a friend. If you have business in the future, take care of my little sister. I will accept all the gold coins and top quality equipment. Let me tell you, my little sister is a full-time game merchant. So you don't have to worry about her not being able to get the goods. My sister's throughput is famous in the industry. After completing this business, the gold metal businessman's face was filled with smiles and he introduced himself in a sweet voice. The 40,000 gold coins she received was equivalent to 8 Chinese coins. If she could resell it for 20 or 30, it would be no problem. After all, in other games, she was an old businessman with a large customer base. Many old customers who have entered the game have already greeted her and pre-ordered equipment. How do I get rid of the traditional necklace that adds a little bit of attack? Qin Hung stopped and asked casually. Do you have it? I'll take 5 Chinese dollars. The gold metal businessman looked happy. The minimum is 70,000 gold coins. If you have money, just chat with me privately. By the way, I also have a lot of other top quality equipment. Qin Hung said nothing, added the other party as a friend, turned around and walked towards the bookstore owner. What? 70,000 gold coins? Is there any other top-notch equipment? Real or fake? The gold metal businessman was confused. But when she thought about Qin Hang's top-notch equipment, her face showed joy and she shouted towards Qin Hang's back. Okay, big brother, if you have money, my little sister will definitely look for you. One last question. Is it possible to create an all-account in this game? I don't quite understand. Qin Heng's private message came through. In the game, you can shout globally, regionally, privately, in teams, etc. Of course. Brother, just quit the game and give it a try. The gold medal businessman replied in a private chat. Thanks. Looking at Qin Hung disappearing into the crowd, the gold medal businessman frowned slightly. From the other party's quotation, she felt that the other party was not easy to fool. A traditional necklace with level 3 plus 1 attack point is directly quoted at 100,000 gold coins. Either they know the equipment attributes of this game very well, or they just shout casually. But she was more convinced that it was the former, because the opponent's equipment was too abnormal. Uh huh. I have to do some research to see if this necklace is worth 70,000 gold coins. If it's really worth the price, this big brother won't be fun. You can create a trumpet. So you need to prepare some more things. With his thoughts on his mind, Jean Hung came to the bookstore owner and opened the product column to take a look. Sure enough, this village also sells high-level skill books. There are also five books. He spent more than 170,000 gold coins again and bought five copies of Summoning Divine Beasts and five copies of Half Moon Scimitar. After buying these books, he had more than 470,000 gold coins left in his parcel column. He didn't dare to continue buying other skill books because he didn't know whether the store would be refreshed again. If the store hasn't refreshed it after a few hours, he can buy it with confidence. He quickly went to the butcher and bought all the quality 5 chicken pieces and the quality 12 venison pieces. There are more than 80 pieces of chicken and more than 30 pieces of venison. There are many novice players. And this method of selling meat is currently the main source of income. Therefore, there is no shortage of good quality meat at the butcher. A piece of chicken with quality 5 or above costs more than 200 gold coins. And a piece of venison with quality 12 costs more than 400 gold coins. This purchase required several trips and cost nearly 30,000 gold coins. There are so many players. So there are so many good quality meat pieces. Either it is too difficult to come out, or there are some clever ghosts who have stored the good ones. Qin Hung felt that if he announced the acquisition, he would probably get a lot back. But this is not necessary. In this world, what is most indispensable is followers. No matter reality or game. In reality, if you open a milk tea shop and it becomes popular, within a month, there will be several others in the whole street following suit. In the game, 
You shout here to acquire this seemingly useless material. The businessmen will all stare at it like flies seeing the meat. Even if they don't know what it is for, they will rush to acquire it. Players will also be alert to hoard them and wait for the price to be sold. Therefore, it is wise to quietly go to the butcher to buy goods. Make a fortune in silence. Jean Hung came to the bookstore again to exchange for a blessing necklace. But what makes him a little depressed is that the option of blessing necklace is gone. It seems that this blessing necklace can only be exchanged for up to five pieces per account. I remember that in my previous life, I seem to be able to exchange a lot of things. But that's okay. Other players can build alt accounts. And they will definitely need a lot of good quality meat at that time. You just need to stock up on more materials. And you can also sell them. Yes. Jean Hang's eyes lit up when he thought of hoarding things. He seemed to have forgotten something. I don't know if they are sold here. He casually walked towards the drugstore owner and killed two chickens that were walking beside him on the way. Could it be that I really have a connection with chickens? Otherwise, why are there chickens and chickens next to him every time? He didn't take the time to dig out the meat from the two chickens because there were too many people here. After the chicken was killed, it submerged under the player's feet, and the body was almost invisible. It's not that it's stuck and can't be moved, but it's still quite stuck. He wouldn't do it if he dug for meat in this situation. Soon, he squeezed in front of the old version of the drugstore, opening the product section and pulling it all the way down. His eyes suddenly lit up and he saw two good things. Chapter 11 Dear Blood Level 9 Border Village In the drugstore Dear Blood Instant Recovery Potion At 20 HP At 20 MP The price is 500 gold coins. There were only two bottles of Deer Blood in the entire pharmacy. Sheen Hung bought it casually. This thing is dug out by digging up venison and it appears to be an instant recovery potion that can restore life and mana, magic, at the same time. But in fact, it also has a hidden function. That's the mission item. Chin Hung remembered the legendary game in his previous life. After the mission was revealed, a bottle of deer blood was sold for a sky-high price of several million gold coins. Of course, this has a prerequisite. That's because the game has a loophole, and you can repeatedly rely on it to complete tasks to earn equipment. As for the current game, even without that bug, Deer Blood is still worth hoarding. As long as the mission is released, it will be sold at a sky-high price. You have to rely on this game to strengthen your external cultivation. Then, of course, the more gold coins in the game, the better. The zone has been open for more than two hours. And at least several thousand players have poured in. There are only two novice villages in total. And in the end, there are only two bottles of Deer Blood. This shows how rare this thing is. However, it is not ruled out that some players drank it as a potion. At this point, Jean Hung had no way to stop it. How can we stop this wasteful behavior of novice players? After a moment of silence, Jean Hung looked at the gold medal businessman in the distance. In the end, the decision to entrust the other party to purchase deer blood was given up. Entrusting others to purchase a potion like deer blood also requires a reason. He is only level 7 now. Using expensive deer blood to kill monsters? Everyone knows there must be something wrong let alone such a cunning businessman. Let's raid for a while first. After your level reaches more than 10 levels, you can use dear blood to beat the boss and entrust the acquisition. Now, it's still too early and can easily arouse other suspicion. Anyway, that mission won't be released so soon. And there's still plenty of time. It's better to be on the safe side. After storing the dear blood in the warehouse, without wasting any more time, Chin Hung flew several times randomly to the vicinity of the senior warrior's home entered and accepted the challenge mission again, and continued to spawn monsters. At level 7, a Taoist priest can only learn one skill. Healing. At level 9, he can learn the second passive skill. Psychic Power Warfare. Only level 14 can learn, Poisoning Technique. Taoist priests, who have learned the, Poison Technique, can kill monsters faster. Otherwise, they have to rely on hacking, and slashing in front of them. Moreover, Jin Hung, a little Taoist priest, could not go to the boss before he learned the poison technique. Because even if you give him a corpse king, he won't be able to kill him. As long as he is promoted to level 16 and wears the invisibility ring, he can move freely among the monsters. Until then, it will be refreshing to defeat the boss. The experience value of this game is similar to that of the previous life. Under the premise of mastering many game contents, Chin Hung feels that there should be no problem in being promoted to more than 10 levels in one night. It will be difficult to level up later, after all, leveling up is not a Taoist priest's strong point. 
Mage leveling up is faster. The reason why Qin Hung chose Taoist priests, besides playing as a Taoist priest in his previous life, was mainly because Taoist priests could learn invisibility at level 20. When he entered the game, the system gave him a reminder that he could defeat monsters, level up, and become stronger here. So, can the skills and equipment in this game be used outside? If he could, Qin Hang's security would be greatly improved with invisibility technique. The outside world is very chaotic, and he doesn't think that he is the right one. The invincible protagonist. You might die accidentally. Don't look at the time travelers in the novel, who are all awesome. That's because more people died. After all, the 80-20 rule exists in every world. For example, the majority of wealth is always in the hands of 20% of the world's people. Oxygen also only accounts for about 20%. Great gods are always in the minority. Hitting the streets, one sack after another. Women are always the few beautiful ones. Most of the surrounding areas are parking lots. As for time travelers, the number of successful ones is probably only a minority. And most of them have been tricked into death by themselves. Don't be noisy. Don't be high profile. And just develop slowly is the way to go. With his thoughts on his mind and the future in mind, Jean Hang's hands did not stop. And he kept chopping, chopping, and digging. Accidentally, there was a jingle and a scarecrow exploded again. The same six small potions, three pieces of equipment, and a few piles of money. He he stepped on them all and saw that the equipment was all ordinary. A silver bracelet with a little agility at level 5. A glass ring with a little magic at level 7. And a hexagonal ring with a little magic at level 7. You can keep one of the glass rings with a little bit of Taoist magic. The other two are from the store. It's also good to sell it and exchange it for a few pieces of meat. In less than 4 minutes, there was only one chicken left. He killed the other monsters and obtained several bottles of potions. Some gold coins and pieces of meat. And two ordinary jewelry. The best equipment is not that easy to come by. The experience value has increased to more than 900 points, which is less than 300 points to upgrade. When the time comes, he continues the challenge. When he had killed nearly half of the monsters this time, a white light lit up, indicating that he had been promoted to level 8. The prodigal son of the end of the world, level 8. Experience, 6 out of 1700. The experience value increased by another 500 points. Fortunately, as the level increased, Although his attack power remained the same, Qin Hung clearly saw that his attack power for killing these monsters had greatly increased. The multi-hook cat can be killed with two swords. Could it be due to class suppression? Qin Hung couldn't figure it out and didn't bother to think about it. He just knew that he could kill monsters faster. However, no matter how fast he kills, it still takes five minutes. Huh? Wrong. After defeating the remaining monster, it is okay to fly out and challenge again. Why does Mal have to wait a minute or two? The thought came up and was immediately extinguished by him. After flying out, you have to fly back, which requires a lot of random scrolls. Although this thing is not expensive, it is troublesome to fly around. Besides, he was always in and out of the high-level samurai's house. So it wouldn't be good for him to be seen by leveling players at the door. Forget it. Just wait honestly. It will be very soon. Not less than a minute or two. After defeating the remaining monsters and leaving a chicken behind, Qin Hung once again gained 300 experience points, obtained a bottle of small blue, some gold coins and pieces of meat. While waiting, Qin Hung entered the official website to check the game information. First of all, only part of the map is currently open. All maps around Beach City are now open, including the Woma Temple. Over in Mingzhong Tuching, the Sintipi Cave has been opened. The Zuma Temple has been opened to the fifth floor and the pig cave has also been opened to the fifth floor. The other map he was concerned about, the unknown dark palace, was not open. It doesn't seem to be that fast yet, and I have enough time to prepare. For all maps that have been opened, the official has not given specific routes, and players need to explore the terrain on their own. Of course, this will not trouble Qin Hung. After reading the information, he looked at other information and confirmed the games from his previous life one by one. It feels almost the same. Time is up. Qin Hung continues to challenge. More than 10 minutes passed in a flash. And Qin Hung challenged him three times in a row. A white light rose. And he finally upgraded again. Level 9. Experience value. 4 slash 2500. The experience points for promotion to level 10 have been increased to 2500 points. This means that Qin Hung has to brush in this small garden a little more than four times 
before he can be promoted to level 10. That's more than 20 minutes. At level 9, you can learn a new skill. Psychic Warfare. As soon as the thought came to his mind, Sheen Hung finished learning. And a new skill was added to the skill bar. Mental Tactics. Level 0. Proficiency 0 slash 1800. Depending on the level of training, the hit rate during combat can be improved. This is a hit increasing skill. This game also pays attention to accuracy and hits. Although Chin Hung can kill a multi-hook cat with two swords now, sometimes three or four swords will be required. It's not that the hit amount is less. It's that the hit was missed. The monster's built-in dodge makes it immune to this attack. Fortunately, he brought two more accurate iron bracelets, which were very accurate. This kind of miss happens relatively rarely. And as his level becomes higher and higher than that of monsters, this chance becomes smaller and smaller. When the level of the monster is similar, the accuracy of hit rate will be much lower. With this skill, the accuracy of killing monsters will be even higher in the future. Which is good. After killing this wave of monsters until only one chicken was left, Chin Hung did not wait any longer, but used the dungeon to fly out. The package is full. I have to go back to the city to clean it up. As soon as he flew out and landed on the ground, Chin Hang's eyes suddenly went dark, and he could barely see anything one meter away. Chapter 12 Crazy Hoarding It's getting dark. Here, it is indeed the same as when the legend of the previous live first started. With day and night, there were loud noises from players all around. Damn! Why is it dark? How can we still play here? Yeah, I can't even see where the monsters are. It's too much for me to grab monsters. Ha ha. It seems like you can grab it during the day. Your sister? Can you stop talking? Jean Hung, who had been prepared for a long time, casually put on the candle he had bought for a long time. The candle lit up automatically, and he could immediately see clearly all the scenery within a radius of 7 or 8 meters. The game is divided into day and night. It is introduced on the official website. Chin Tian is too lazy to tell these people. Anyway, they will find out by themselves. He flew away with a hiss. And after flying several times in a row, he landed next to the Ginkgo village. As he trotted over, listening to the fuss and bewilderment of many players because of the darkness, Chin Hung laughed and quickly squeezed into the village. Gold Medal Businessman Number 2 Buy a large amount of gold coins. 10,000 gold coins and two Chinese coins. Buy ebony swords in large quantities with Chinese coins or gold coins. And sell top quality equipment not available in various stores through private chat. Dynasty Hegemony The 10,000 Years Dynasty Guild accepts people who can help them level up and fight boss. If you want to join the guild, please send me a private message. 7th level Taoist priests form a team to go to the natural cave. Let's bring a 7th level mage. Not a warrior. 7th level warriors are looking for a group. Those who can fight and resist. Gee, it's quite lively. Some people actually formed a team to go down into the natural cave. The natural cave is full of skeletons. Also known as the skeleton cave. It also contains scorpions. Paralyzing cave maggots. That's, etc. A most ordinary skeleton would probably have to be hacked to death with more than 10 cuts. But the opponent can at least knock out nearly half of his health. It's much more dangerous than the monsters in the small garden. Thinking about the crazy army of players and his low attack power, Chin Hung canceled his plan to go down to the Skull Cave. The secret garden can still be upgraded. So continue. It is safe and fast. He went straight to gold medal businessman number 2, who is also a female Taoist sister. Ha! Huh? Big brother! You are here. Gold medal businessman number two was very happy to see Chin Hung. Because Chin Hung had contacted the gold medal merchant before and said he wanted to sell another ebony sword. When Chin Hung landed outside Ginkgo Village, he asked the gold medal businessman if there were any of their people here. It turns out there really is a gold medal businessman number two here. Therefore, gold medal businessman number two walked up to Chin Hung and greeted him warmly. This ebony sword was naturally dropped when spawning monsters several times in a row. 40,000 gold coins were sold to gold medal businessman number 2. And Chin Hung turned around and left. The sweet voice of gold medal businessman number 2 came from behind. Ha ha. Big brother. If you have any good goods, come to us. Remember, our sister's throughput is well known in the industry. And you are absolutely guaranteed to be satisfied. Chin Hung. He does have some very good treasures. But these sisters probably can't swallow them right now. Each top-notch item costs at least more than 100,000 gold coins. The district has just opened. Where are they going to get that much money? At least after players upgrade to level 11. 
They can mine and sell them. And then the gold coins will increase. Sheen Hung quickly came to the warehouse and stored a top quality gadget and pieces of meat that he had found. Click on the butcher next to you. Yes. There are more than 50 quality 5 chicken and 12 quality venison. After cleaning up everything, Sheen Hung went to the bookstore not far away and opened it. He found that the half moon scimitar and summoning the divine beast that he bought had not been refreshed yet. I don't know if it's because I stopped brushing it or because the time hasn't come yet. After a moment of silence, he bought a complete set of Talus Priest's remaining skill books. Poison Technique Soul Fire Talisman Summon Skeleton Invisibility Technique Group Invisibility Technique Ghost Shield Holy Armor Technique Psychic Apocalypse Entrapment Curse Group Healing Technique No matter if you refresh it or not, your skill books are all alive anyway. Don't be bought by that clever businessman. It will be difficult for you to get it later. Jean Hung spent more than 70,000 gold coins on this purchase leaving only 400,000 gold coins. Among them, there are several low-level and relatively cheap ones. Otherwise, he would not be able to buy them. After this purchase, Chin Hung also discovered that there seemed to be no quantity limit for healing technique and psychic power combat technique. Starting from poisoning technique, there is a quantity limit. There are only 10 volumes of the art of poisoning and only 5 volumes after that. This thing is cheap. Poisoning technique only sells for 1,000 gold coins in the store. Chin Hung gritted his teeth and spent another 10,000 to buy all the remaining poison techniques. If we start from poisoning technique and don't update it, the Taoist comrades will be in pain because this skill is a Taoist priest's magical skill. Without it, it would be very difficult to defeat monsters. If you can't buy it in the bookstore, you have to fight zombies or explode boss. And the chance is low. Thinking about so many players, how many gold coins will a copy of poisoning cost. In addition to poison technique, there are only 10 books for wizards such as Resist Ring of Fire, Light of Temptation, and Thunder and Lightning Technique, as well as Attack and Killing Sword Technique for warriors. If these were monopolized, how many gold coins would they cost? Thinking of this, Jean Hang's eyes turned red. Currently, the places that are open have bookstores. According to memory, there is one in Beach City, one in Bianjia Village, one in Ginkgo Village now, and one in Meng's Hong Touching. There are four bookstores in total to get all the skill books for the three professions. He made a rough calculation and found that at least 1.5 million gold coins would be needed. Let's first see if poisoning technique is refreshed or not. If it is not refreshed, it will just wait until the player reaches level 14. If you sell this one, you can buy other ones. But this time it may be too late. If others know that poisoning technique is no longer available. They may stock up on other skill books in advance. In this case, you still have to buy it in advance. It is best to buy it all tonight. Because it is still possible for top players to level up quickly to reach level 14 in one night. After thinking about it for a while, Chin Hung kept the poison technique and found the gold medal businessman number 2. I have several pieces of top quality equipment. I only sell them for gold coins. The price is easy to negotiate. I hope the deal can be completed before 4 o'clock in the morning. The sooner, the better. After speaking, he placed three pieces of equipment in the transaction column, all of which were various small top quality products with one or two additional attributes. I go. Gold medal businessman number two was so shocked that he opened his mouth wide, as if he could swallow two eggs in one mouthful. Chin Hung laughed secretly. If she took out more than 10 pieces of top quality equipment, would she be able to swallow a head? Okay. Okay. Brother. Don't worry. There is no problem with our sister's throughput. As long as your goods are exquisite enough. The gold medal businessman patted his chest hard. Making Chin Hung feel ashamed. He cheerfully replied. Then you should prepare more gold coins. I am very lucky. As long as I have gold coins. Absolutely a lot of food. After turning around and going back to store the equipment. Chin Hung went to buy a few more packs of random scrolls. Flew through them went to Ginkgo Village in Beach City, and bought all the poison technique inside. As for the Tuching bookstore in Mengzhong, current players probably don't know how to get to Tuching, so there's no rush. After everything was done, he flew back to the senior warrior's home and continued to level up. Chapter 13 Level 11 Change your equipment. More than 20 minutes later, in the secret garden, a burst of white light lit up, and Chin Hung upgraded again. Level 10 Experience Value 
8 slash 6000. My day. Jin Hong felt a pain in his balls after looking at the experience of being promoted to level 11. 6000 experience. He is in the small garden and can get about 600 experience after one fight. This means he has to swipe 10 times. 5 minutes each time. That's 50 minutes. Okay. Not too slow. The parcel column was full. So Chin Hung went back to the city. This time to Ginkgo Village. After saving the best pieces of meat and selling 7 or 8 pieces of low-end jewelry from junk shops. He came to the gold metal merchant again and prepared to sell her an ebony sword with 3 durability points remaining. In these 20 minutes, Chin Hung once again unleashed an ebony sword. So he replaced the ebony sword that was in his hand and sold it to a gold metal merchant. In the legendary game, when the weapon durability reaches zero, the equipment will shatter and disappear. You must go to the weapon shop to repair it and refill it to last. But the repair cost will definitely be expensive. With the same equipment, Chin Hung would of course be willing to get the one that lasts longer. Ha ha! Big brother! This weapon will not last long! The gold metal businessman said with a smile. Chin Hung curled his lips and said, It doesn't cost a lot to repair. So you still want to deduct this? Okay. Little sister will suffer a little loss. Big brother has a baby and has to take care of little sister's business. Don't worry. As long as you have gold coins. Eat a lot and be full. After getting 40,000 gold coins again, Chin Hung was in a good mood and asked casually, How many gold coins do you have left? Is it enough to buy my other equipment? Ha ha. It's not enough for the moment. We are rushing to acquire it. Chin Hung did not leave immediately this time, but said with a smile, if you receive the top quality equipment from the Taoist priest, I can exchange it for other top quality equipment. Okay, brother, don't worry. I will keep it for you if you have any. Goodbye then. Chin Hung turned around and flew away with a hiss. The gold metal businessman was left thoughtful. Chin Hung had too many top quality equipment. At first, she thought it might be a related account in the game company that specialized in selling game equipment for money. But Chin Hung only sold gold coins, which completely gave up her idea. If gamers really want to make money, they won't ask for gold coins. They will only sell gold coins. In addition to Chin Hang's abnormal equipment, she also noticed Chin Hang's level. It's level 10. There are so many novice players in the entire game now. And they are still coming in. It can be said that the entire leveling sites near Beach City, the suburbs, and even the natural caves and Woma Forest have probably been trampled by players. The skeletons in the natural cave not far from Novice Village are very powerful. One skeleton is difficult to fight alone. But in a team of 7 or 8 people, even those at level 5 or 6 dare to rush in and chop them down. That would be easily hacked to death. There are more people and fewer monsters. In this case, it is not easy to upgrade to level 7. Very few upgrade to level 8. As for level 9, there are not many among her old customers. At level 10, there seems to be only one person. That's why he brought a group of people to help him level up so quickly. But this guy named Tianyao Prodigal seems to be a loner. Being able to be promoted to level 10 among so many players is not just luck. Could it be that he has mastered some great power? Chin Hung didn't care what the gold medal merchant thought. He returned to the senior warrior's home again and prepared to continue leveling up. As soon as Chin Hung was teleported in, a system prompt sounded immediately. System prompt, your level is too high. You will no longer be able to challenge after level 11. Sure enough, you can only level up to level 11 here. It seems that after finishing here, you will have to change places. 50 minutes later, a white light lit up in the secret garden. And Chin Hung upgraded again. The prodigal son of the end of the world, level 11. Experience value, 6 slash 8000. In these 50 minutes, Chin Hung obtained a lot of top grade meat. More than 10 pieces of common equipment. And a top grade ebony sword. Ebony sword, attack 4 out of 9. Magic 0 slash 1. Taoism 0 slash 1. Durability 6 7. This is a top quality ebony sword with a little attack and a little Taoism. This attribute is only half a month lower than a Taoist priest's level 15 weapon. A little lower than the upper and lower limits. It's enough for him to use until level 15. It took three trips back to the city to finish processing these things. Of course, the ordinary ebony sword was sold to the gold metal merchant number 2. At this point, Chin Hung once again had 500,000 gold coins in his package. It's level 11. So naturally I can't stay here and leave. Soon, Chin Hung killed the last chicken and completed the mission. The mission reward is a level 7 Taoist skill book. Healing technique. I'll keep it 
and sell it in the shop. I can sell it for 250 gold coins. With a whoosh, Chin Hung teleported to the vicinity of Biki City this time. He ran all the way into Beach City and immediately found that the place was full of Wuyong Wuyong players. When he got near the city gate tower, he couldn't run at all. After squeezing in and walking close to the wall, Chin Hung broke away from the crowd and ran to the warehouse to store the top quality meat and a small top quality item. Then, he entered the jewelry store and sold the unwanted junk. After selling the items, he checked the prices of various equipment. Pulling it down, his eyes suddenly opened up. In stock, it's a big bracelet and a hexagonal ring. The price is much higher than the same type of equipment, especially the hexagonal ring, which is twice as high. He immediately bought these two pieces of jewelry. When he opened the package column excitedly, he immediately raised his mouth and almost laughed. Big bracelet, attack 0 slash 1. Defense 1 to 1. Weight 2. Durability 10 out of 10. Requires level 9. A big bracelet with a little bit of attack added. Not bad. An ordinary bracelet that adds one attack point to a warrior. And a magic bracelet that requires level 20 to wear. No other attributes are added. You can imagine how good this big bracelet is with a little added attack and one-to-one -one defense. Of course, he had seen a big bracelet with an attack rate of 0 slash 5 in his previous life. But that thing was hard to come by. So it couldn't be that easy to explode. I don't know if this big bracelet was created by the game system or if it was sold by players in the store. Hexagonal ring. Attack 0 slash 2. Magic 0 slash 1. Talism 0 slash 1. Duration 6 to 6. Weight 1. Requires level 7. TSK TSK. A ring with two points of attack and a bit of Taoism. It smells very good. You know. A warrior's level 20 ring only has an attack of 0 out of 2 and has no other attributes. This ring, as expected, is enough for him to use for a long time. After finding these two pieces of equipment, Jean Hung immediately changed it into an ordinary bronze ring. As for the big bracelet, he also put it on. Of the two iron bracelets he originally wore, one had a little bit of Taoism, a little accuracy, and a little attack added to it. The other one adds two points of Taoism, one point of accuracy, and one point of defense. After thinking about it, he replaced the iron bracelet with a little bit of Taoism, a little accuracy, and a little attack. He does not have the attack skills of a Taoist priest now, so Taoism is not very important. Although the Taoist skill is high, it can increase the blood volume but he is about to go to a more advanced map to kill monsters. If he is single player, his defense is very important. Replace it with this top quality large bracelet, which will make you more secure. After leaving the jewelry store, Chin Hung turned around and entered the clothing store. He was at level 11 and could change clothes. I don't know if I can find something good. Chapter 14 Viper Valley Beach Town Chin Hung walked through the crowd and came to the clothing store. After opening it and checking it, my eyes suddenly lit up. I saw that there was really an expensive piece of equipment. A bronze helmet. He bought it immediately, and bought a piece of light armor along the way. Fortunately, the game also sells level 11 clothes. Otherwise, you would have to wear common clothes and continue killing monsters. With a sigh, Chin Hung checked the properties of these two pieces of equipment. Bronze helmet, defense 0 slash 2. Weight 4. Durability 8 eighths. Requires level 10. The original bronze helmet's defense is 0 to 1. But this one adds a little more defense. Which is pretty good. Light armor, male defense 3 of 3. Magic defense 1 out of 2. Weight 8. Durability 8 eighths. Requires level 11. This is an ordinary piece of equipment. But it cannot conceal its powerful defense. The average commoner's defense is only 0 slash 2. Which is really a lot. As soon as he put on these two pieces of equipment, Jean Hang's strength suddenly increased greatly and his appearance changed greatly. Commoner foreign trade and light armor are different. The cloth is just white with a few yellow stripes. A bit like the clothes worn by children. And this light armor has a big black circle in the middle of white with a big word. There is a blue circle under the font. And the workmanship is more refined. At first glance, the fabric is much stronger than common clothes. From the outside, it looks really different from commoners. Comparing Chin Hung with the players wearing civilian clothes next to him. He felt that his character was much taller. Another change is the bronze helmet. Because this is a virtual game. It is different from the previous life. Therefore, others can see the appearance of his weapons. Clothes and helmet without looking at his equipment. Compared with light armor. This bronze helmet is equally conspicuous. Therefore, 
when Sheen Hung appeared in Beach City wearing this unique outfit. It immediately caused a sensation and onlookers among the players. Helmets. Different high-end clothes. It's so conspicuous. Holy crap! 11th level clothes. So handsome. Wow! A level 10 bronze helmet. I'm only level 7. 55 55. When can I wear it? Why does brother level up so fast? Let's take my little sister to level up. My little sister can learn to meow and warm the bed. I'm dizzy. He's wearing the best equipment. Look at his ebony sword. It's much better than mine. There's also that two-piece iron bracelet. A one-piece big bracelet. And my god. This hexagonal ring is so abnormal. Countless people surrounded Chin Hung and pointed, making him feel ashamed. Wherever he goes, others follow him, making him feel like an emperor traveling. Let me borrow it for a moment. After squeezing through the crowd, he came to the bookstore and took a look. Fortunately, none of the skilled books he had bought had been refreshed. It's been more than two hours, so I shouldn't be swiping anymore. Right? With a smile on his face, Chin Hung came to the butcher's side and scanned the top quality meat again. After storing it in the warehouse, he took out the potion that he had stored in before and flew away with a hiss. Seeing Chin Hung flying away, the other curious players surrounding him dispersed without feeling satisfied. At level 11, I have no attack skills, and I haven't learned the poisoning technique yet. I can only defeat monsters by slashing. Chin Hung did not go to the natural cave to join in the fun. The zombies in the mining area were not easy to kill and required too much potion. As for the Viper Valley, it was estimated that it would soon be flooded by the army of players. So he planned to go to the allied Heavy Earth City. That place is far away. And the official website doesn't give specific coordinates. It just introduces that there is such a place. How to get there, and how to get there. Everything must be explored by the players themselves. At this time, it was already almost 9 o'clock in the evening. The time for leveling passes quickly. And the time for shopping in the store also passes quickly. If you look here and there, time will pass by. After coming in for nearly three hours, I upgraded to level 11, and it was ready. After several random flights in a row, Chin Hung arrived at the connecting passage between Beach and Viper Valley. There are two archers guarding the entrance of the valley, and players are constantly coming in and out. It seems that the inside has also been trampled by players. After all, speaking of it, the snake attacks in the Viper Valley are not as strong as those of skeletons, and their HP is only half of that of skeletons. It is still more suitable for novices. It's just too far, and the terrain is too complicated. If novices enter, many people will probably not be able to find their way back to the city. Chin Hung remembered that when he first started playing, he got lost in the Viper Valley for a long time, and went crazy. In the end, he took the initiative to let the poisonous snake bite him to death, and then returned to the city. I shed tears just talking about it. At this time, the game returned to daytime. Following the flow of people, Chin Hung walked into the Viper Valley. As soon as you walk in, the terrain in front of you is almost exactly the same as in the previous game. If anything, the game here is more refined. There are lush green trees on both sides of the road. And further on, there are knee-high weeds. A breeze blew, bringing with it the fragrance of flowers. From a distance, the shouts of players fighting monsters. The roars of monsters. And the chirping of birds came from the valley. This world is indeed a bit more real. Opening the current map, Chin Hung took a look. Fortunately, the terrain was the same, but twice as big. In memory, the entire Viper Valley looks like a large basin. There are two large forests in the middle, and the large forests are separated by two long mountains. There are also roads in the middle of the mountains. In short, the terrain and roads here are very complicated. Without a full picture, it's really easy to get lost. According to memory, Chin Hung sprinted forward on the right side of the road. He wanted to visit the Viper Village. I wonder if there is a bookstore or butcher there. Since there is one in Ginkgo Village, there might be one here too. The map was very large. And Chin Hung ran for more than five minutes before he saw a small village. If it were a game in the previous life, it wouldn't have taken so long. Less than a minute at most. Along the way, there was a steady stream of players. And not even a monster was seen. There were two broadsword guards at the entrance of the village. After entering, Chin Hung took a look around. As in the previous life, there are no butchers, jewelry shops and bookstores. There are only weapon stores, warehouses, clothing stores, pharmacies, and Luo's grocery store. Now that he's here, of course Chin Hung has to search to see if there is any top quality equipment in the store. 
Don't tell me. He actually saw a men's light armor that cost twice as much. But when Qin Hung spent more than 6,000 gold coins to buy it, he was surprised to find that it was a light armor with a durability of 15. It lasts 7 points longer than ordinary ones. This made Qin Hung very speechless. This is how it is when buying something in a store. You can only see the product name, price, and basic attributes. As for the best attributes, you can only see them after you buy them. Silently replaced the original light armor and sold it back to the store. Qin Hung flew away with a hiss. Silk, silk, silk. Silk, silk, silk. Hold head high. Meow. The next moment, Qin Hung appeared in a tall and deep forest. As soon as it landed, there were countless sounds of poisonous snakes spitting their tongues. Beasts roaring. And cats meowing. Qin Hung took a look and saw that there were red snakes and yellow tiger snakes under the surrounding big trees. Accompanying several orcs were two multi-hooked cats. Day! He fell into a pile of monsters. Before the poisonous snake could attack him, he quickly flew away randomly. When it fell again, among the players, a group of players were having a heated fight with several venomous snakes. Qin Hung flew away again, flying several times in a row, either flying into a pile of players or flying into a pile of monsters. It seems that the Viper Valley is indeed very large and it temporarily meets the leveling requirements of novice players. Otherwise, there would not be so many monsters that have not been cleared. Qin Hung didn't plan to kill here. He wanted to go to Mingjing Bookstore first. It flew again. But this time, it landed at the entrance of the abandoned mining area in the Viper Valley. Qin Hung did not enter. It was full of zombies and difficult to kill. After flying a few more times, he finally arrived at the connection between the Viper Valley and the entrance to Mengzhong. With his head covered, he entered Mengchong province. Then, his eyes suddenly lit up, and he became excited. Chapter 15 Alliance Chongtu City Alliance Chong This is currently the largest province in the legendary game. It includes two large cities. A public city. Tuching. A city where players compete for supremacy. Shabak City In addition to the entire Mengzhong province wilderness, the leveling maps also include Zuma Temple, Stone Tomb Array Pig Cave, Death Valley, Centipede Cave, and other dungeon maps. This was the most advanced map among the early legendary games. As soon as Qin Hung walked in, a large number of dense monsters suddenly appeared in front of him. There were spiders, a multi-hooked cat, two bundles of small magic potions on the ground, a few scattered small vials, and a silver bracelet. Ha uh ha. -huh. Someone came in and was exploded. It seems that there is no randomness anymore. Otherwise, there should be a high probability of random scrolls exploding on the ground. At this stage, the general store does not sell return coupons. There is no randomization. And there is no return to the city. If you are surrounded by monsters and cannot be defeated, you will really die. Qin Hung didn't take the seven or eight monsters seriously. He went up to them and treated them, killing several monsters quickly. After luring away the remaining monsters, he picked up two bundles of small blues and the silver bracelet. While killing monsters, I habitually check the attributes of the small bracelet. His eyes suddenly lit up. This is really a top quality silver bracelet. On the basis of the original one point of agility, a little more magic is added. Apparently, it was a young mage who died. It's pretty good equipment. Much better than the ebony bracelet that the 19th level mage wears that only adds one point of magic. Selling for more than 100,000 gold coins is not a problem. After making a small fortune, Qin Hung was in a good mood. He whistled and hacked the remaining monsters to death and picked up a few piles of gold coins. By the way, I dug up a few spider teeth, which are one of the materials for making poison. The Taoist priest's poisoning technique requires poison. There is no poison for sale in the store. So of course Qin Hung has to pick up this material. Maybe you can't buy it from players. So you have to make it yourself. Ahead was a large forest. And the howling of wolves could be heard in the distance. Qin Hung didn't bother to find the wolf. He just used the random scroll and continued flying. Call out. He landed on a patch of sand. Giggles. Crunch. As soon as he landed, a large group of monsters with hard wings and some moving insects surrounded him. Armored bugs. Sandworms. Weiser bugs. These monsters are common monsters in the wilds of Mingzhong. Everywhere you look, there are monsters. Here, it is indeed deserted. Call out. Qin Hung continues to fly away. This time he landed in the forest. And countless wolves and tiger snakes surrounded him. Keep flying. After flying several times in a row, he finally saw a huge city. Tuching. This is already outside Tuching. 
and the monsters have turned into almost all sheep. Sheep are low-level monsters, and will not actively attack players. Bang! When Sheen hung past by a group of sheep, he killed two sheep that were stacked on top of each other with three swords. Add 20 experience points. Add 20 experience points. The two sheep that were having fun suddenly fell to the ground on top of each other. The sheep on top even kicked its legs hard. Uh-huh. You actually showed off your affection in front of me. A single guy. Because I was afraid that I wouldn't die quickly enough. Chin Hung chuckled and went up to dig out the meat of the two sheep. He ignored the other sheep and trotted past the two sword guards and entered the city. The whole city is very big. At least twice as big as the Earth City in the previous game. As far as the eye can see, there is not a single player in the entire city except him. Chin Hung trotted all the way to the pharmacy near the city gate and checked. But there was no deer blood. It seems that the system does not refresh this thing. I had no choice but to go to the butcher and open the product column. Sure enough, there are more than 30 pieces of top quality meat here. The system should refresh automatically. Such a low quantity also reassured Chin Hung. Compared with the huge number of players, the amount of refreshes in the system is just drizzle. He then visited a weapon store, a clothing store, and a jewelry store. There is still no equipment above level 10 for sale here, except for light armor at level 11. In this way, equipment of more than 10 levels can be sold for high amounts of gold coins. You may not be able to sell it at a reasonable price in a few more days, but you will definitely be able to get a good price in these days. Jean Hung pondered secretly. What made him excited was that he also found five small pieces of top-notch equipment here. Although there is no great product, it is still very good. He turned around and ran out of the city and into the nearby academy. I found the bookstore owner and opened the product section. Sure enough, the skilled books sold here were still the same as those in Beach City. There are only five advanced skilled books. Swish. Brush. Brush. Chin Hung bought five books of Half Moon Simeter. Five books of Summoning Divine Beasts. And ten books of Poisoning Technique. After this shopping spree, Chin Hung only had more than 270,000 gold coins left. Poor. Looking at the other advanced skilled books in the bookstore, Chin Hung felt a little sick. Now I hope the merchant can charge more gold coins. As long as he can sell five or six pieces of top quality equipment, he will be able to buy all the intermediate and high level skill books. Arriving at the warehouse, Jean Hum looked at the NPC function anxiously again. There is still no function of bundling gold bars. Now, Jean Hung had completely given up. I don't know if it will be released in the future. Thinking about what was on his mind, Jean Hung ran out of the city after storing all his things and getting everything ready. On the road, he repeatedly hacked to death two sheep that were showing affection. And Chin Hung quickly ran out of the range of the sheep. There are a lot of monsters here, including armored bugs, sandworms, etc. Chin Hung carefully led three armored insects over and started to chop. Kakaka. Without long range attack skills, Chin Hung could only fight with the three armored insects. The armored bug's attack is much higher than that of the multi hooked cat. The official information is that the attack is between April 10th. But at this moment, Chin Hang's defense was also ridiculously high. Self defense 2 to 2. Helmet 0 to 2 defense. Close. 3 to 3 defense. 1 out of 2 magic defense. Big bracelet. 1 to 1 defense. Iron bracelet. 0 to 1 defense. This adds up to a 6 9 terror defense. Therefore, when Chin Hun was attacked by these 3 armored bugs and only lost 1 or 2 drops of blood, he was stunned for a moment. It seemed that he was too cautious. After understanding how powerful he was, he completely let go of his hands and feet and let the ebony sword fly. Every time the sword was struck, it took away more than 10 drops of the opponent's blood. The armor bug's HP is 50 points. And Chin Hung can take it away with four swords. Of course, there are also cases where there are no hits. But he added a little more accuracy from the iron bracelet and two points of agility from the gold necklace. And also learned the psychic combat technique to increase the hit. Therefore, such misses occur less frequently. Well, an armored bug was hacked to death by him first. And he gained 37 experience points and a small pile of gold coins. The other two armored bugs were also quickly killed by him. And some gold coins were exploding. Picking up more than 100 gold coins on the ground. Chin Hung thought about whether he should kill the zombies in the mining area. Recall that the zombies attack is December 16th and your defense is June 9th. So the maximum damage you can take is 10 points. Generally, the damage caused by a zombie hitting him should be around 7 out of 8 points. Now he is level 11. 
with a total of 62 drops of blood. With the healing spell and Xiaohong, there is no problem in killing zombies alone. But there is another problem. That is, the zombies have very thick blood. The average zombie has 155 health points. With his current attack, he needs to chop at least 14 times to kill one. A zombie gives 160 experience points. With 14 swords, you can kill 3 semi-armored bugs and gain about 130 experience points. But it's better to be safe here. As long as there are 2 zombies attacking you over there, you will be in danger. Are zombie caves dangerous now? Extremely dangerous. Because there are definitely no novice players in it. Needless to say, the screen is full of zombies. It would be okay if there were long-range attacks. But for now, forget it. After thinking about it, Jin Hung gave up the idea of killing zombies. Stay in the league and kill all kinds of bugs. Chapter 16 Level 14 Giant Polyhedron Mengzhong Outdoor Kakaka Jin Hung stood in a group of 20 or 30 insects, mechanically killing various small insects. Armored bugs, sandworms, wiser bugs, polyhedral bugs, the attacks of these bugs are similar to those of armor bugs. Every time they attack Qin Hung, they only lose one or two drops of blood. Qin Hung didn't even need to drink Xiaojin sore medicine. He only needed to use the healing spell to add blood once in a while, and that was. Alright. There is no need to add blue. Because the consumed blue will be fully restored the next time he uses healing. This invincible monster killing mode is simply awesome. The blood volume of the monsters is not as high as that of the armored bugs and Qin Hung can kill one with three or four cuts. Each bug also gives a lot of experience. The armored bug has 37 experience points. The sandworm has 54 experience points. The Wesseler bug has 42 experience points. And the polygonal insect has 32 experience points. The average is about 41 points. Qin Hung needs 8,000 experience points to advance to level 12. Calculating this, he needs to kill about 195 monsters before he can level up even if it takes him 5 seconds to kill each monster. After killing these 195 monsters, he can finish it in 17 minutes at most. But in fact, Qin Hong was upgraded in less than 15 minutes. Because when he upgraded to the 11th level in the secret garden, he gained a lot more experience in it. A white light rose, and Qin Hong was promoted to level 12. Level 12. Experience value, 8 slash 10,000. The experience value has been increased by 20,000 points again. Qin Hong didn't care and continued to kill monsters. At the same time, he glanced at the harvest in the parcel column and smiled. In these 10 minutes, he revealed four pieces of equipment. A glass ring, a level 8 steel bracelet, a silver bracelet, and an equipment worn by a level 13 mage. An ebony necklace with one point of magic added. They are all ordinary goods. But the ebony necklace store doesn't sell them. Magical necklaces before level 10 cannot be sold unless they are of the highest quality. Therefore, if this thing is sold quickly, it should be no problem to sell it for 10 or 20,000 gold coins. Calculating the accounts happily in my heart. There was a ding, and an armored insect exploded. This time, there were 7 or 8 small bottles of potions and 3 pieces of equipment. A level 13 black crystal necklace that adds 1 attack point. An ordinary small bracelet. And a weapon. Dagger, attack 311. Durability 8 eighths. Weight 9. Requires level 10. The attack power is good. Two points higher than the ebony sword in Qin Heng's hand. But Qin Hung didn't change it for the time being. Because he planned to wait until the ebony sword's endurance was almost gone before changing it. In this way, there is no need to run to the city to repair the weapons. More than 20 minutes passed in the blink of an eye. During this period, Qin Hung revealed another ordinary iron bracelet and some potions. Brush. A white light lit up again. And Qin Hung upgraded again. Level 13. Experience value, 6 slash 15,000. It's fun to have a lot of strange things. Qin Hung didn't have to run to find monsters at all. He just had to go all the way to the wild to kill them. Countless monsters are densely packed within his field of vision. While he was cutting down the monster, suddenly, there was a long bird call in the sky. And a huge eagle flew down from the sky towards Qin Hung. Eagle, a flying creature in the territory of Mengzhong. Its attack power is slightly higher than that of the armored bug but its health is only 38 points. The only scary thing is that it moves very quickly and attacks very frequently. Qin Hang's first stab failed. It took 8 consecutive cuts to kill it, but Qin Hang was besieged by it and a group of insects. He lost more than 20 drops of blood, and the two healing spells came back. If the falcon doesn't explode things, 
It needs to dig them up. Jean Hung hacked the monster on the falcon's body to death. And after digging around, he got two small bottles of potion. Better than nothing. Jean Hung had been leveling here for almost half an hour. And he was almost reaching Death Valley. I once again obtained five pieces of junk equipment. All of which were low-level ordinary jewelry. Jean Hung didn't mind either, and stepped on them one by one along with the gold coins. At the beginning of the game, mosquito legs are also meat. After a few more minutes, a white light rose, and he finally upgraded again. Check the character panel. The Prodigal Son, level 14. Experience value, 12 slash 30,000. The experience value has doubled to 30,000. And sure enough, his attributes increased again. Defense, magic defense, attack, magic. These four only have a little upper and lower limit. Agility was increased by one point. And Taoism was increased by two points. This brings his defense to a 7 out of 10. And it's obvious that armor bug bites only force him to lose one drop of health. And occasionally too. At level 14. You can learn the Taoist priest's new skill, poisoning. It's a pity that he didn't bring any books with him. Because he didn't expect that he would level up so quickly. Besides, even if you learn it, you won't be able to use this skill for the time being. Because if you want to perform the poison spell, you need poison. They are not sold in grocery stores and shops. So they can only be made by yourself or the player. The official has announced the process of making poison. I hope some players can make it. Otherwise, it would be too painful to make it yourself. With so many players, it would be difficult to get all the materials. At this moment, it is already half past ten in the evening. Seeing that there were still densely packed monsters ahead, Jean Hung felt very happy. If he kept killing them like this, he would probably be able to reach level 18 tonight. The attack and defense increased, but Jean Hang's speed of killing monsters did not increase much, because the addition is limited. It is just safer. He is now surrounded by 30 or 40 monsters, but he is not afraid at all, because the monster is not small. Only 5 monsters at most can bite him at the same time. Each monster was forced to lose 1 or 2 drops of blood, and some were unable to hit him. All in all, Jean Hung only lost 5 or 6 drops of blood each time. He can continuously restore more than 20 drops of blood with a single healing spell. And the potion bursts out from time to time. So he is not afraid of this strange sea at all. 10 minutes later, Jean Hung arrived at Death Valley. There are many strange shaped rocks here. As well as arched doors, like stone gates. In the distance, you can hear waves of tsunamis and the humidity in the air. That's the endless sea on the edge of Death Valley. This game is indeed a lot more realistic. After killing a bunch of bugs around him, he picked up the gold coins and a gold necklace on the ground. Jean Hung was about to change directions and continue killing when a familiar crunching sound came over. This is. Jean Hang's eyes sparkled and he turned to look at the source of the sound. He saw a huge polygonal insect appearing in his field of vision. The long and big horns are comparable in size to five or six people. The extremely hard SH. L wings. And the ferocious head. Boss. Giant polyhedron. This is the wild boss in the wild of Mingzhong. It is a favorite among novice players because it will explode when you kill it. Very attractive for early novice players. But with its hard SH. L and super high attack. Most newcomers would just run away when they see it. The mage has ranged attacks. And can also kite it with small fireballs to kill it. As for warriors around level 10. Unless they have enough blood bottles with them. They are difficult to kill. Low level Taoist priests can be slowly worn to death as long as they have blue and blood. As soon as the giant polygonal insect appeared, it quickly hit him with its sharp horns. Chapter 17 Dragging the Family Crazy Kill! Mengzhong Near Death Valley Crunch! The giant polygonal insect rushed towards Qin Hung crazily. Of course, the level 14 Qin Hung would not run away. He's dressed in top-notch clothes, and yet he's still afraid of this newbie boss? Brush! With a thought, he changed into the dagger with an attack bonus of 11. He rushed towards the giant polygonal insect. Bang bang bang. Kakaka. Fortunately, this is just a game. The body of the giant polygonal insect that looks like a tank will not knock Chin Hung down. It will not even move. It will only lose blood. So, one person and one insect violently hacked each other. Chin Hung is level 14. With 82 health and defense 7 out of 10. If attacking. Self attack 3 thirds. Weapon 311. Gold necklace. 0 slash 2. Large bracelet 0 slash 1. Iron bracelet 0 slash 1. Hexagonal ring 0 slash 2. Bronze ring 0 slash 2. Total, 
6 20 seconds attacks. Giant polyhedron. HP 250. Attack. The official data is July 15th. Defensive power. I don't know exactly. But he has a big body. And if you think about it with your toes. His defense is also super high. This is also true. Jean Hang's terrifying attack of 6 20 seconds points fell on this monster. And he only lost less than 10 drops of blood. One can imagine how high its defense power is. Although the opponent's attack is only 7 fifteenths. It is a boss and has level suppression. So its attack is very high. With Jean Hang's defense of 7 out of 10. He would lose at least 10 drops of blood every time he collided with him. There is another one whose attack speed is much faster than Jean Hung. Basically, the giant polygonal insect had to hit Qin Hung twice before Qin Hung could attack the opponent once. This is when Qin Hung is wearing a gold necklace with two points of agility. Otherwise he would be faster. Also, this is a boss. And its dodge rate is much higher than that of ordinary monsters. Qin Hung slashed three times. And one of them would be immune to the opponent's attack and dodge it. Sometimes even two consecutive knives will be dodged. Last but not least, this is the boss. As you kill it, it will recover its HP. The legendary boss is like this. With the ability to restore blood volume. Its attack power cannot exceed the HP points it recovers. And it cannot be killed at all. Therefore, Jin Hung was unable to kill it quickly. And could only use the healing skill Ling 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 to increase blood while draining it. It would be impossible for the giant polygonal insect to kill Jin Hung. One person and one insect keep hitting each other and hacking each other hard. Jin Hung tried to run in circles around the big guy. But it was useless no matter how he goes around. As long as he steps forward to attack, what greets him is either the opponent's hard wings or the long horns. Jin Hung, who had run a few laps, also gave up and stood masturbating with the opponent with peace of mind. More than a minute passed quickly, and the giant polygonal insect's blood volume was reduced to 50 drops by Chen Tian. At this time, Jin Hang's eyes narrowed, because three people came from a distance. After seeing the movement here from a distance, they ran over quickly. When Jin Hung killed the boss, he chose a direction with his back to the Death Valley, just to observe the way in and avoid players coming over. As a hardcore player, I still have some awareness of how to prevent players from grabbing the boss. Although there should be no one here, he did it anyway. However, because I thought it was safe here, I didn't lead the boss to a more remote place. In fact, it's already remote enough here. Unexpectedly, a player actually ran over. Could it be that the Alliance map was exposed? He instantly remembered the equipment and potions dropped by others on the ground at the entrance of Mengzhong. If word spreads about this person, he has been here for an hour or two, and Mengzhong should be exposed. No, when one person comes in, there will be a second one, and he will know more and more. Maybe the sheep near Tuchin are already unhappy. With these thoughts passing through his mind like lightning, Qin Hong immediately finished checking the character panels of the three people opposite him. Drag the girl wildly, level 8. Mage. Dragging the prince, level 9. Warrior. Pulling the princess crazy, level 8. Taoist priest. All three of them have yellow names. And they are not good friends at first glance. He must have killed many other players. Otherwise his name would not have turned yellow. In the legend game, the names of ordinary players are normally displayed as white names. If you attack another player first, your name will turn gray. If you kill several players, the name color will turn yellow. If you kill too many, it will turn red. The punishment for the red-named player is very severe. If you die, the contents of the package will be exploded. And there is a high chance that the equipment on your body will be exploded. You can't go back to the village or the city to replenish supplies. Because the guards at the door will kill you when they see a red name. Intermediate and low-level players are generally able to do it in seconds. The three yellow names were all wearing the same equipment. And Qin Hong had no time to check its attributes. Because the crazy prince was so excited that he raised an ebony sword and shouted, Ha ha! It's the boss! Hack him! Call out! A small fireball hit Qin Hang's body first, raising four points of health. The girl who was pulling her crazy suddenly exclaimed, Ah! Brother prince? His level is so high! He's level 14! What are you afraid of? His health has dropped to over 40! He is probably out of health! Kill him as a boss! He grabbed the prince and roared then rushed towards Qin Hung with another Taoist priest. When he thought about it, Qin Hung had a fight with the boss, and there must be no more potion left. There was no reason why the three of them couldn't defeat a half-blood Taoist priest. In games, usually the first boss will reveal something good. So how can you let it go? 
Besides, isn't killing people and grabbing bosses the fun of the game? Along the way, they dragged the family through a bloody process. Chin Hung did not attack the boss again, but turned around and ran behind the big rock. When he turned around, he was hit by the boss again, although he escaped another small fireball from the mage. His health had dropped to 30 points. This made Prince Kwangtio and the three of them have eyes bright. And they chased Chin Hung with howls. Ring, ring, ring. Gula, gula. While running, Chin Hung drank several bottles of small gold medicine and used healing techniques. The Taoist priest's healing technique can have superimposed effects with potions. By the time Prince Kuang Tu and Princess Kuang Tu chased him behind the stone, his blood volume had recovered to more than 40 points. Almost 50 points. Still recovering quickly. Chin Hung circled around again, stopped, and was immediately caught up by two Huang Ming. The two knives fell on his body, and the blood volume of two and three points floated up. Such a low damage value immediately made the two of them dumbfounded. These two yellow names immediately turned gray. Good. Now you can start your legitimate defense. From now on, Chin Hung will not be guilty of murder if he kills them. Chin Hung ignored the stunned two people and began to rush towards the mage outside. When fighting in a legend game, the first one to kill is naturally the mages, because they have the highest attack and the least HP. No! Stop him! The two people who dragged the prince instantly understood Chin Hang's thoughts and chased Chin Hung with all their strength. But Chin Hang's agility was obviously much faster than them. And the two of them were shocked by Chin Hang's defense. When they started running, they couldn't catch up. Chin Hung rushed to the dragon girl in the blink of an eye. But the female mage didn't panic and threw a fireball at Chin Hung. But it failed. Because Chin Hung had already predicted in advance that he ran away diagonally and pounced on her again. This time, she was so frightened that she screamed, turned around and ran away. But how could she outrun Chin Hung? He was caught up in the blink of an eye, stabbed twice from behind, and then beaten to death on the ground. A level 8 mage with only 33 health points. Under the level suppression, facing Chin Hang's 6 20 seconds attack. It was completely normal for him to be hacked to death with two swords. With a crash, a lot of potions, random scrolls, and a steel bracelet exploded on the ground. Chapter 18 The Character Explodes Big Catch When Chin Hung stepped on a steel bracelet and two bundles of potions, Prince Kuang Tu and Princess Kuang Tu caught up. Seeing that the girl was being dragged to death by Chin Hung, the two of them forgot about Chin Hang's terrifying defense. And their eyes instantly turned red, and they slashed at him angrily. Faced with the attack of these two weak players, Chin Hung used no PK skills and directly faced him. If he caught the Taoist priest, he would do it violently. The sword slashed with more than 15 drops of blood. How much health can a level 8 Taoist priest have? It's just 45 drops of blood. After the first blow, the princess couldn't hold it any longer. She screamed and ran away. At the same time, she used the healing spell to add blood to the top of her head. His blood volume increased rapidly. And he obviously drank potion. But Chin Hang's attack was much more powerful than her blood increasing speed. After just a few steps, Chin Hung stabbed him four times from behind and killed him on the ground. With a crash, a bunch of small potions and an ebony sword exploded on the ground again. Chin Hung stepped on the ebony sword with quick eyes and hands, turned around and slashed at the soldier who had been chasing him behind. There was a big 12 points of damage. Nima! The tugging prince's face changed dramatically. He is a warrior, with strong defense. How can he play with a knife that cut off so much of his blood? The other two helpers are also dead. If they don't leave, they won't be able to escape. So, he turned around and ran away. Chin Hung chased after him and stabbed him several times leaving this guy with more than 10 drops of blood. With a whoosh, Chin Hang's last stab failed. The figure who was dragging the prince disappeared from his eyes, and he apparently ran away with a random scroll. You can run fast. A smile appeared on Chin Hang's face, and he turned around and continued to pick up the thing that had been pulled out by the princess. To his surprise, Princess Kwangtua, who was lying on the ground, actually spoke. You bastard. You dare to kill me. Do you really know who I am? Ah. Just kill me! In the legend of the past game, players can still lie on the ground and type after death. Unexpectedly, death can still speak here. And Chin Hung has learned a lot. He continued to pick up things with a smile. I don't care who you are. If you kill me, you will die. Princess Kuang Tu became even more angry when she heard this and continued to speak harshly. Ha ha. You're done. Be wise. Return the steel bracelet and ebony sword that exploded to us and pay 50,000 gold coins. 
and forget it. Otherwise, I will drag on my family and kill you until you surrender. Do you understand? Yeah. Chin Hung chuckled, then suddenly bent down and held a dagger in his hand, tugging at the softest part of the princess's body like a piece of meat. Button dug up. You, you, you bastard. Stop. Stop it. Chin Hang's obscene movements made the princess's voice change. She screamed crazily. How dare you insult me? You're done. You're game over. You're finished outside the game too. Your whole family is doomed. The whole country of China. No one can save your whole family. Chin Hung chuckled and continued digging. As if he wanted to dig out a top quality piece of meat before he could bear it. At the same time, a sarcastic voice came from his mouth. Who the H? I do you think you are? Very cool. Right? Awesome. Right? If you have the ability, find me. Come and hit me. Asshole. What the H? L. Wait. The princess screamed angrily and quit the game unwilling to be humiliated. The corpses on the ground also disappeared. In the legendary game, if the player dies and exits the game, he will appear in the saved zone of the city he recently visited if he continues online. It is also commonly known as the resurrection point. Players with a red name will appear in the red name village after they die and come online again. Ha ha. So boring. Jean Hung hopes that the other party can find him in China. Such a pity. He chuckled. And after picking up the remaining things, Jean Hung came to the crazy girl not far away. This girl hasn't gone offline yet. She obviously saw or heard the scene just now. Therefore, when she saw Chin Hung coming over, she said in a panic, What a pervert. I logged off in a hurry, and the body disappeared. Chin Hung shrugged, smiled, picked up the remaining potions on the ground, and rushed towards the boss who had moved behind the big rock. After the big guy followed Chin Hung behind the big rock, he lost his way and never came out again. With one strike, he was shocked to find that the giant polygonal insect's blood volume had recovered to almost 200 points. After a while, it will probably be all worth it. Chin Hung stopped cutting it here and led it to trot all the way to the sea. Then he slashed it and ran along the sea to the upper left corner of the map. It would definitely not work if he didn't lure him away. If there were 20 or 30 level 8 or 9 players in Kuang Tuo's family, he would have to run away. Don't tell me that this place is far from Tuching. Don't forget that there is randomness. You will be there soon after flying around. Waves of waves rushed over. And some water drops even sprinkled on Chin Hung's face. Chin Hung wanted to lure the monster into the sea. But he couldn't do it anyway because it was blocked by an invisible layer. Chin Hung had no choice but to give up and check the ebony sword and steel bracelet while killing monsters. The ebony sword was ordinary. But the steel bracelet made Chin Hung's eyes light up. Steel bracelet, magic 0 to 2. Defense 0 to 1. Magic defense 0 to 1. Durability 5 fifths. Weight 1. Requires level 8. A very good bracelet. With two added points of magic properties. Going straight after Walmart's famous brand equipment. No wonder the other party wants him to give it back. He is probably heartbroken to death. This time, the boss fight went smoothly. No one disturbed him. It took Chin Hung more than a minute to finally destroy the giant polygonal insect. There was a ding. And there was a 4x5 explosion on the ground. It is full of various items. Including gold coins, equipment, potions, and skill books. Chin Hung happily rushed forward and stepped on the equipment and two skill books on the ground. Then step on other things and check them out. Two skill books. 1. Light of Temptation. Learned by the 13th level mage. And 1. Basic Swordsmanship. Learned by the warrior. Light of Temptation. Can still be sold to players. But basic swordsmanship can only be lost in stores. There are six pieces of equipment in total. The first item in the queue was a piece of clothing. When Chin Hung took a look at its attributes, his mouth turned up with joy. Light armor, male. Defense 3-5. Magic defense 1 out of 2. This is an excellent piece of light armor. With a full 2 points of defense higher than the 3-3 defense he wears. The defense is comparable to a level 22 magic robe. He looked at the next one excitedly. But unfortunately, the ones behind were all ordinary jewelry. However, the last item is a weapon. Although it is ordinary, it is a level 13 axe. Bronze axe, attack 0 slash 15. Durability 10 out of 10. Weight 10. Requires level 13. 0 slash 15 attack. Compared with the 311 attack dagger in his hand. The attack limit is 4 points higher. It's a pity that the lower limit was not increased. 
Is it better to use a dagger or this axe? Just try and you will find out. After Chin Hung picked up the things, he changed direction and started walking back. Soon I encountered a large number of bugs again. It seemed that the army of players had not rushed here yet. Chin Hung equipped the bronze axe. And his attack power immediately became March 26th. Click. 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 Three swords. He hacked one armored bug to death. And hacked to death two other armored bugs six times. Each knife scored more than 17 attack points. And one knife even scored 24 super terrifying attack points. Anyway. Under nine dollars. Most of them remain at 17 18 points. And if you use a short sword or an ebony sword. Unless you are very lucky. You can't kill the armored bug with three swords. Obviously. A bronze axe beats a dagger or that superb ebony sword. With the bronze axe, Chin Hung spawned monsters even faster. The parcel column was almost full, but he had no plans to return to the city immediately. Players have obviously discovered the treasure of Ming Zhong. Now while there are still monsters, it will be a while to kill more here. Chapter 19 Depressed Households with Difficulty Naming Ming Zhong Near Death Valley Six people rushed over led by Prince Kuang Tu and Princess Kuang Tu with an angry look on her face. These people walked around the place where they had just fought with Chin Hung. But they couldn't find Chin Hung. He can run fast. Tell the people in the family to kill him if they see him in the future. Also, check it for me in reality. Princess Kuang Tu ordered with a look of shame and anger. Chin Hung didn't know what Kuang Zhao did to Princess. And even if he knew, he wouldn't care. Check him out in reality? Every time he thought of the threatening words of the princess. He wanted to laugh out loud. As for the game, now I can still use my advantage to suppress the opponent. But later on, it will be difficult to level up. And the level will soon be almost overtaken. When the time comes, I will be alone and unable to sing. It will be a bit difficult. However, for a hardcore player, he is not afraid. It is impossible for the opponent to occupy all the leveling maps. When the time comes, find a hidden map and go in and swipe casually. It will not be easy for the other party to find him. Thinking about his thoughts and killing monsters, Chin Hung looked in all directions and listened to six directions, always paying attention to the surrounding situation. With the bronze axe, it was indeed much faster to kill monsters. But the good times did not last long, and Chin Hung had to return to the city, because there are no monsters ahead. He changed the direction and headed towards Tuching. But when he got here, the players were all in front of him. This place is still far away from Tuching. Which means that the entire Mengzhong suburb has basically fallen. Looks like it's time to change places. He flew around randomly. No matter where he flew. There were players running back and forth looking for monsters. I randomly checked the levels. And most of them were at level 7 or 8. Level 9 is rarely seen. Call out. This time. Qin Hung randomly arrived at the connecting passage between Mengzhong and Viper Valley. He thought for a moment and entered the Viper Valley. Sister Jean. Do you have any gold coins? Chin Hung chatted privately with the gold medal businessman. Level 9 and level 10 players were appearing one after another. He had to hurry up and buy the book. Otherwise, he would miss out on this business. It's almost 11 o'clock in the evening. A few hours have passed. And I don't know how many gold coins the other party has received. Yes, big brother. I'm just looking for you. I'm in Beach City. Where are you? The gold medal businessman across from him sounded a little excited. I'm coming. Wait a moment. Chin Hung randomly arrived at the entrance of the Viper Valley Abandoned Mining Area, Zombie Cave. The abandoned mining area is also called a zombie cave because there are a large number of zombies in it. After sizing it up, he covered his head and got in. There was not a single monster at the entrance to the mining area. There were seven or eight players standing there waiting to be refreshed. And their levels were only seven or eight. It seems that the entrance to the zombie cave here has also been destroyed. I don't know if there is still one inside. After all, the entrance to the second floor is difficult to find. And there are more powerful lightning zombies, zombie kings, etc. inside. When these low-level players encounter these two monsters, they basically have to kneel down. Chin Hung did not go in deeply. He glanced at the door and exited. This made the players waiting for the refresh secretly sigh with relief. And at the same time, there was a look of envy on their faces. Hey, have you guys seen that man's equipment? What a level 13 weapon. Nonsense. I can't see such a big axe. It's 015 attack. Oh, it's twice as powerful as my ebony sword. And his light armor is also cool. Naturally, Chin Hung didn't hear the comments of others. He flew several times in the Viper Valley. 
and when he landed, they were the figures of players or snakes. Instead of fighting for meat with this group of people, Chin Hung flew to the connecting passage between Viper Valley and Beach City with a hiss. Entering Beach City, he randomly flew away again. The number of people in Beaky City was even more terrifying. No matter where he flew, there were huge crowds of people everywhere. Countless players are like sardines, swimming around, occasionally spawning a chicken, only to appear for less than a second and then be killed. Fortunately, although there are many players, you can still find a place to stay in the city. After all, during this time, everyone is going to level up, and those in the city usually come back for supplies. Come in a hurry. Go in a hurry. Even so, it took some effort for Chin Hung to squeeze to the edge of the safe zone. He was passing by from the palace. At this time, there was already one person wearing light armor and a bronze helmet in the entire beach city safety zone. This man was standing there coquettishly, enjoying the constant compliments from others. But Chin Hung's appearance immediately attracted the attention of everyone around him. Because he is too conspicuous. Light armor. Bronze axe. This outfit doesn't fit in with everyone. After checking Chin Hang's equipment, everyone gasped. I'm dizzy. A level 13 0 slash 15 axe. Holy crap. He's level 14. Oh my god. He's in great shape. Exclamations kept coming out one after another, which made another guy wearing light armor feel that his equipment was no longer good. He was named after a poor family. After checking Chin Hang's equipment and then looking at what he was wearing, he suddenly felt that what he was wearing was just garbage. Although there are a few small exquisite pieces all over his body, none of them can compare with the other. He spent a lot of money to buy this. Is it annoying? Depressed, he squeezed in front of Chin Hung and forced a smile. Brother prodigal son, we meet again. Can you sell your equipment? Sell? Ah, that's great. How can I sell it? The price is easy to talk about. The poor man rubbed his hands excitedly. Chin Hung smiled slightly and said, When I'm eliminated, I'll sell it. By the way, I'll only sell gold coins. Do you have any gold coins? If so, I have a junk ebony sword with 4 out of 9 attack to sell you. As well as some small top quality ones. A garbage ebony sword with 4 out of 9 attack? Only sell gold coins? The person with difficulty in naming suddenly shook his head speechlessly. I don't have any gold coins at the moment. I will pay you 100 Chinese dollars to buy your clothes. No, I will pay 1,000 Chinese dollars for your whole outfit. How about it? Sample. Brother Gene Coin doesn't have it. I have plenty of money. I don't believe you are not moved. When the players around him heard this, their eyes widened with disbelief on their faces. Crazy? A set of low-level equipment costs 1,000 to purchase? Probably will be eliminated soon. How do they know the idea of naming needy households? This guy is a very capable person in China. Whatever he wants. There is basically nothing he can't do. Zinchikun was choked by Chin Hung again. He was already holding his breath. At this time, I wanted to use my unparalleled financial advantage to win the game. No need. I'm not short of money. If you have gold coins, you can come to me. I still have a lot of top quality ones. I borrowed it for a moment. Thank you. Chin Hung refused the deal to name the needy households, shouted loudly, and crowded towards the store in Beach City. The surrounding players gave way to a path one after another. Some players rolled their eyes. But after looking at Chin Hang's level and equipment, they calmed down. The city is not safe unless it is in a safe zone. However, Chin Hang's level is too high. Even if someone has bad intentions and does not have the ability to kill Chin Hung instantly, it will be in vain. Watching Chin Hung disappear into the crowd, the poor family member felt depressed for a while. Not short of money. Do you have more money than me? Depend on. Chapter 20 Transaction Apply Poison Beach City In the end, Chin Hung went to the jewelry store and waited for the store to sell the junk in the package. And then came here. And in. This is actually a warehouse. There is also a warehouse in the city. Next to the butcher in the safe area. But it is not safe to store things in this warehouse. There might be someone squatting nearby. Ready to kill people and steal things. Because, generally, people who come to the warehouse are to store things. So they must have good things with them. When Chin Hung was just playing legend in his previous life. He was hacked. If you have good items, the safest way is to trade them at the warehouse in the inn. There are few people here and it is safe. It's not that you can't fight or PK in the inn, but you won't drop anything after being killed here. At most, you can quit the game without any loss. So, everyone learns from each experience. 
This person has the experience of being forced out. Brother prodigal son, I haven't seen you for a few hours, and your power has greatly increased. Seeing Qin Hung again, the gold metal businessman saw the bronze axe that he had never seen before. His eyes suddenly lit up, and he walked forward with a smile and twisted his waist. After she checked Qin Hung's equipment, her eyes widened and her mouth opened wider again. Qin Hung made a secret gesture and was very sure that this girl could definitely swallow a head in one bite. You're level 14. You level up so fast. Where did you practice? After being surprised, the gold medal businessman asked casually. After asking, she immediately smiled awkwardly. If it's not convenient for you to say, don't say it. I'll just ask casually. There are so many players now. If there really is a hidden leveling place, who would casually reveal it? Don't you feel comfortable secretly leveling up on your own? There's nothing I can't say. I accidentally discovered Ming Zhong and ran over first. Ha ha. Ming Zhong had been discovered. And Qin Hung did not hide him. It turns out that he ran to the league first. No wonder. The gold medal businessman nodded. As a businessman, she is certainly well informed. Smiling, she said, What good things do brothers have? There are those that add attack. Magic. Taoism. Ebony swords. Etc. How many gold coins do you have? Currently there are only 300,000 gold coins. I want the ebony sword first. The ebony sword can be used at level 1. With added magic and attacks. It is currently the only weapon with built-in magic attacks. All players who play mage hope that they can explode. But the output is not high compared to the huge number of players. As far as Qin Hung knows. A mage can only get another weapon with its own magic when he reaches level 15. Now that the store has nothing to sell and it has to explode. This ebony sword is even more precious. I have two ebony swords here. One with a little more Taoism and one attack point. And a normal one. Qin Hung traded for the other party to watch. After looking carefully, the gold metal businessman smiled and said, It's an ordinary 40,000. Add a little more attack. Add 50,000. A little more Taoism. It's good for Taoist priests. Add a little more. 120,000. Two guns for a total of 160,000. 300,000. I'll give you a little bracelet with a little magic. But you have to add some medicinal powder. Qin Hung once again put on a small bracelet with magic defense 0 to 1 and magic 0 to 1. This was something he picked up from the store when he was just selling something. There are also six small masterpieces. This thing may have been brushed by the system. Or it may have been dropped by the player after defeating monsters. But I don't know the value. I saw it as a low level thing and sold it in the store. The official website does not directly name the value of top quality equipment. Therefore, there are still many players who do not know the value of top quality equipment. Some people may think that this equipment originally has this attribute. How could you imagine that this is such a valuable product? Qin Hung, who has played Legend, understands that mage equipment is cheaper than that of warriors and Taoist priests. So of course what he is selling now is mainly mage equipment. As for the medicinal powder, it is what the Taoist priest needs to use after learning the poisoning technique. Taoist poisons are divided into red poison and green poison. The powder of red poison is gray. And the powder of green poison is yellow. Red poison can reduce the target's defense and magic defense. While green poison can cause the target to continuously lose blood. It is a must-have skill for Taoist PK and boss. Especially when fighting boss. After applying green poison to the boss, it can force the boss to lose blood without increasing it no matter how powerful the boss is. As long as the Taoist priest keeps poisoning it, it will be poisoned sooner or later. In other words, as long as the boss cannot kill the Taoist priest, the Taoist priest can kill the other party. Therefore, Taoist priests are also called boss killers. As for medicinal powder, Qin Hung had privately chatted with the other party when the alliance was killing monsters again and asked her to buy it. He didn't know how much he bought. There is medicinal powder, but it is very expensive. As you know, the materials are difficult to come by. A small pack costs 3,000 gold coins. We all purchase the materials and then synthesize them. How much do you want? 3,000 gold coins for a small bag is not bad. Not expensive. If the Taoist priests get up and know the benefits of poison, this thing will be even more expensive. There are so many players that even 10,000 gold coins per pack can't defeat them. He did know a way to get poison. But he didn't know if it would work here. Moreover, he can't complete it by himself. Because his career doesn't allow it. With a sigh in his heart. Qin Hung smiled and said. I want as much as you have. 
There are only 12 small packs now. Six packs of gray and six packs of yellow. Have you seen enough? The other party has 300,000 yuan. Two ebony swords for 170,000 yuan. And another 130,000 yuan. Plus 12 small packets of medicinal powder. The price is 36,000 yuan. Which is equivalent to a small bracelet that only sells for 166,000 yuan. Of course, Chin Hung refused. The small bracelet is worth at least 200,000. Which is a bit not enough. Here. I don't seem to have one that my big brother can use here. The gold metal businessman said helplessly as he rummaged through the warehouse. Forget it. Just remember it first. Anyway, we want to cooperate in a long-term and in-death way. Chin Hung made a generous deal with the other party. The difference is only tens of thousands of gold coins. If the other party really wants to trick him, he will admit it. Ha ha. Big brother is so refreshing. Don't worry. If you have a lot of goods, just bring it. Our sisters can all swallow it. Before she finished speaking, Chin Hung opened the transaction column with her and instantly placed seven or eight pieces of top quality equipment. She was so choked that she couldn't speak and opened her mouth wide again. It seems that not only can it swallow a head this time, but it can also add an egg. Ha ha. As long as you can eat it, I will satisfy you with this large amount. Chin Hung smiled and stored the things in the warehouse, leaving four packets of medicinal powder and took out a book, Poisoning Technique, to learn. Congratulations on learning how to cast poison. Poison spell. Level 0. Proficiency. 0 slash 3600. Overview. Depending on the level of cultivation, the effective time of poison can be extended. The great poison powder can make the target's body turn green and slowly lose its physical strength. The yellow poison powder can reduce the target's defense by corroding the target's weapons and armor. With a thought, there was an extra space in the equipment column on the character panel. Under the ring on the left, and a pack of great poison was placed in the space. Huh? This is good. There is no need to change to another bracelet. In legends of previous lives, Taoist priests usually only wore one bracelet, and the other bracelet was used to place medicinal powder or amulets. No need here. Chin Hung walked out of the warehouse in a good mood. After taking a few steps, a thought came to his mind and his eyes lit up. Return to the warehouse again. Maybe I can scrape together enough money to buy a light skill book. Chapter 21 Monopoly on the Whole Server Skill Book Brother, is there anything else? He met the gold metal businessman walking out. No, get something. After the gold metal businessman left, within two minutes, a third level warrior named Integrity Businessman walked in. He was another businessman in Beach City. As soon as Chin Hung went out, he heard him shouting in the area to buy gold coins and equipment. When I asked the other party if he could also purchase equipment, he naturally pulled me over. Business is not just done with gold metal merchants. Other people can do the same as long as they can provide gold coins. Hello, brother prodigal. Wow, your level is so high and your equipment is so awesome. As soon as the honest businessman entered the door, he immediately praised Chin Hung. Chin Hung didn't talk nonsense to him, opened the transaction column, and placed a few small equipment again. The best dagger with 4-7, the gold necklace with magic 1, the bronze sword with 3 out of 8 attack and the iron sword with 5 out of 10 attack. They are all small products with some added attributes. And the most expensive one is naturally the gold necklace of Demon 1. They were all goods he had found before. After checking it out, the honest businessman quickly gave the price. The dagger and bronze sword are 10,000 gold coins each. The iron sword is 20,000 gold coins. And the magic gold necklace is 100,000 gold coins. When Chin Hung heard this, he laughed. Ha ha. Boss. You are not doing business sincerely. I just sold a magic one bracelet to a gold metal businessman for 250,000. You only gave me 100,000 for this gold necklace with plus one agility and plus one magic. Ha ha. The price is negotiable. It's negotiable. Brother prodigal son, don't be angry. You can tell me how much it is and I'll accept it if it suits you. The honest businessman rubbed his hands and smiled. But I was sighing in my heart. I met someone who knew how to do it so he probably wouldn't make much money. 20,000 for daggers and bronze swords. 30,000 for iron swords. And 25,000 for gold necklaces. Chin Hung said with a smile. Here, the price is a bit high. The fat man said hesitantly. The daggers and bronze swords were completely useless. So it would be good if they could save their capital. What he was interested in was the magic one gold necklace. One price. These four items are 300,000 yuan. 
Make a friend, and I'll come back to you when I have the goods. Jean Hung decided. Daggers and bronze swords are quickly eliminated. So pack them in smaller quantities and sell them. The fat man hesitated for a moment. Then readily made the deal. After the transaction was completed, Jean Hung asked, How many gold coins do you have left? How many more do I have here? What else? I only have 50,000 gold coins left. Then I'll sell you these things for 50,000 gold coins. Jean Hung put on a commoner with 0 slash 3 defense. Two daggers with 4 out of 6. And a bronze sword with 3 out of 7. They are all small masterpieces. So they can be dealt with. The reason why I didn't sell it together with the previous items was because I was afraid of lowering the price. If there are too many things, the merchant will think that you are dealing with things and package them for him. And the price will be very high. Maybe others would keep it and not sell it because of the low price. But Jean Hung is short of money now. He had to buy those skill books quickly. For kinds of 50,000 gold coins. The honest businessman happily bought them this time. They are all small and exquisite. And you can still make a profit by selling them. Do you have any medicinal powder? It's what Taoist priests use. Jean Hung showed the other party the medicinal powder. We have a lot of materials that we haven't synthesized yet. As a businessman, he would naturally collect the materials for making medicinal powder. Then if you have medicine powder, come to me. I will buy it in large quantities, and you can exchange it for the best equipment. By the way, if you collect more gold coins, I still have a lot of equipment. After showing the other party a few top quality equipment, Jean Hung saved the good stuff and went out while the other party was dumbfounded. Not long after, Jean Hung met another businessman at the end again. Legendary Trading Company. Legend is the first real virtual game in China. And it certainly attracts many businessmen. Jean Hung once again received 350,000 gold coins by selling some of the remaining small top quality weapons and a silver bracelet from Demon 1 to the other party. Jean Hung still wanted to sell. But after asking several other people, they all belonged to these three families. So he gave up. He took a look and adding his own original gold coins. There was now a total of 1.35 million gold coins. This is definitely the richest player in the game right now. With the money, Jean Hung immediately took action and began to go to Beach City, Ginkgo Village, Bianjia Village and Tuching to buy all skilled books above level 10. Of course, before scanning the goods, he checked again and found that the bookstore still had not updated the skilled books he had bought before. Bet. Isn't it just over 1 million? That's just going to the store a few times to look for treasures. So, Jean Hung spent more than half an hour to sweep them all. Buying books is quick, mainly due to the time spent on the road. There are many players in the city, so time will pass if you squeeze in. Meng Zhong is slightly better because the academy is not in the city, but Xin Shou Village was crowded for a long time. Looking at the skill books in the warehouse, Xin Hung blushed and his breathing quickened a bit. Warrior skill book, attack sword technique, assassination sword technique, half moon scimitar, savage clash, fire sword technique, mage skill book, resist ring of fire, light of temptation, hell fire, thunder and lightning, teleportation, big fireball, explosive flame, firewall, flashlight movie, hell's thunder, magic shield, holy word, Hail Roaring, Talus Skill Book, Poison Technique, Soul Fire Talisman, Summon Skeleton, Invisibility Technique, Group Invisibility Technique, Ghost Shield, Sacred Armor Technique, Psychic Enlightenment, Trap Magic, Group Healing, Summoning Divine Beasts. Of these skill books, there are 10 of each type for those below level 15, and 5 of each type for those above level 15. Now, in the entire game, the bookstore has no other skill books for sale except skill books below level 10. Unless it was sold by a player. Phew. Looking at the 250,000 gold coins left in the package, Jean Hung felt a little sick. In addition to skill books, he also found two bottles of deer blood from two novice pharmacies, including the warehouse. There are four bottles in total. As for the pieces of meat, he only bought a dozen pieces with a quality of 20 or above, and did not buy the others first. I don't have the money to buy any more and level up. Wait until you have money to raid again. After a lot of trading and running back and forth, it was almost 12 o'clock. After pondering for a while, Jean Hung still didn't let the gold metal merchant buy the deer blood on his behalf. Just charge as little as you can. Anyway, if he is the only one who has it then, the less, the more expensive it will be. After everything was settled, Jean Hung went to the drugstore and bought a bundle of medium-sized golden potions 
and several bundles of medium-sized magic potions. He had accumulated a lot of small ones from killing monsters in the past. So naturally, he didn't need to buy so many. After buying random items and dungeons, everything was ready, and he flew to the Viper Valley abandoned mining area. In fact, he can go to another hidden map, such as the Fragrant Stone Tomb under Shabak Clothing Store. But he is only level 14 now. If no one has cleaned up the place, there will definitely be monsters at the door as soon as he enters. It's impossible to fight unless he reaches level 16 and wears an invisibility ring. He can go in and clean up slowly. For now, let's just go and grab monsters from players honestly. Besides, there is also a hidden map in the abandoned mining area in Viper Valley. And there must be few people there. With his head covered, Chin Hung walked into the abandoned mining area of Viper Valley. As soon as he entered, a system prompt rang. Ding dong. Do you want to sign in? Chapter 22 Viper Valley Abandoned Mining Area. Ding dong. Do you want to sign in? Sign in? Not once a day. Yes. It's past 12 o'clock in the evening. And it's the next day. Chin Hang's face lit up with joy. Sign in. Ding dong. Congratulations on getting a gift package. Please check it. Chin Hung did not check the package first, but looked at the players at the entrance of the mine. Most people are fighting zombies, and this place must have just been refreshed. No one noticed him. So he opened the package and opened the gift bag. Congratulations on getting 50,000 gold coins, two bundles of medium-sized potions, and two small sun potions. 50,000 gold coins? Medium potion. Small sun water. Okay. Not bad. Chin Hung is short of money. Little sun water is also an instant recovery potion. It can restore 30 red and blue points at the same time. Which is a good thing to save your life. The store has nothing to sell now. There was a big gap from the first sign-in. But Chin Hung was not dissatisfied. How can you sign in and give the artifact again and again? Many app sign-in tasks in the previous life were not good the first time. The longer you sign in in the future, the better things you will get. Generally, a better reward will be given every 7 days. And a better reward will be given every month. I just don't know how this system works. The fact that he was given an invisibility ring and 1 million gold coins on the first day was already a huge improvement in his character. With this, he is already much ahead of others. It is estimated that nothing good will appear in the next few days. However, this is all his guess. What to give has to be determined by the system. With a smile on his face, Jean Hung strolled in and inspected the abandoned mining area. Compared with the previous legendary game, this abandoned mining area is obviously more than twice the size. There were more than 30 players gathering at the entrance to kill monsters. So it wasn't too crowded. After checking the equipment levels of these people, most of them were above level 7 or 8. Of course, there are those at level 9 and level 10. But they are very few. He also saw 5 or 6 guys who were only level 6 following him. I didn't stop here and walk further in. It was the same legendary terrain as in my memory. Abandoned mine tunnels. Damaged mine cars. Dustpans for loading ore. Scaffolding. Etc. are scattered everywhere. There are dark mine walls on both sides of the huge passage. And there are small mines piled up in the middle. In the near future, a large number of new people will start their mining life on these mine walls and small mines. After reaching level 11 in the legendary game, you can go to the weapon shop to buy a pickaxe. And you can mine on the mine wall here. The mined ores can be sold in the store for money. When Chin Hung first started playing in his previous life, he spent more than 10 days mining here. I have no choice. I'm so poor. I don't even have the money to buy potions and level up. So I can only mine and sell them to buy potions. Kakaka. Kakaka. To Chin Tian's surprise, when he turned a corner, he saw a guy wearing light armor mining. Naming a household with difficulty? The person with difficulty in naming obviously heard the footsteps behind him looked back warily, and immediately saw Chin Hung with a curious look on his face. Eh? Aren't you very rich? Chin Hung asked in surprise. Ha ha. It's fun. The official website says you can dig gold mines here. I'm here to experience life. The person who had trouble naming the family answered casually with a smile, but felt extremely depressed. He is a warrior, can level up quickly, and consumes a lot of potions. I just returned to the city to replenish supplies, but I ran out of gold coins. So I wanted to buy some more from merchants selling gold coins. As a result, the merchants told him that all the gold coins were spent on a big customer. Unwilling to give up, he increased the gold coin ratio to 10 Chinese dollars and 10,000 gold coins.
but no one sold him. Only then do I believe that the businessmen really have no money. This made him speechless. And he could only curse crazily in his heart that the big customer was killed by a monster when he went out. He had no choice but to find this officially announced method of making money on the official website. And started mining to make money to buy potions. Ha ha. How was the harvest? Chin Hung asked. Don't mention it. Most of it is garbage with a purity of less than five. The person who had trouble naming looked depressed. Trash? I didn't see you throwing it away. Jean Hung looked at the ground. It was very clean. Lose your sister? I finally dug it out. Why the age? I am I throwing it away? Brother prodigal son? Are you free? Why don't we come to mine together? It's quite fun. He said with a smile. Suppressing the anger in his heart. Mining? No. I'm not short of money. 88. After saying that, Jean Hung flew away with a hiss. The households with difficulties in naming were left confused. Your sister? Not short of money? What a brag. I can't even buy gold coins with Chinese coins. Are you not short of money? You'll have to come over and dig mine later. He he. Alas. Those guys haven't reached level 11 yet. Otherwise digging with them would be much faster. I complained in my heart. Name the poor person. And continued mining. Chin Hung uses the random teleportation scroll to fly. His target is the second level. Or even the connecting channel deep in the second level. Call out. Chin Hung landed in the dim passage. Through the light of the candle. He could see things within seven or eight meters. Kakaka. Well? Well? A group of people were surrounding and killing zombies. And there were no more zombies around. He continued to fly. The next moment. He landed on another passage. This time. There were several zombies next to the five players fighting monsters. Ring ring ring. Boo hoo hoo. Kakaka. Among these people, there were two samurai who were killing monsters in front. A Taoist priest who was behind to add blood and go up to chop from time to time. And two mages who were standing in the distance. Shooting small fireballs at the zombies. A very standard leveling team. Chin Hung didn't fly anymore. If there were any monsters, just fight them. Zombies are different from armored bugs. He cannot face a large group of zombies alone. And he cannot kill them. The safe way is, of course, for someone to contain other zombies and clean them up one by one. He touched the other direction of several people. Brush. He unleashed the poison spell on a zombie in the distance. Twice in a row. Once with red poison and once with green poison. He immediately lured the zombie over with its roar. Poison casting is a long distance spell casting skill and it is a magical skill used by Taoist priests to attract monsters. This allows him to lure out and kill one of the zombies alone. Security is greatly improved. Seeing the zombies approaching, Chin Hung took a few steps back, moved further away from the other zombies, and then swung his bronze axe and struck out. A big 20 damage mark immediately appeared above the zombie's head, and its blood volume was also displayed. 155 points. The zombie stabbed Chin Hung with his stiff palm. Five drops of blood. According to official data, the damage of zombies is December 16th points. After Chin Hang's defense was replaced with the best light armor, it has reached July 12th points. Losing 5 drops of blood is within the normal range. Chin Hang's attacks landed on the zombies, with the minimum being 18 points. He attacked 7 times in a row, and the last attack even dealt 27 points of damage. His own attack is March 26th, and the reason why he can deal damage beyond his own attack power is entirely because he poisoned the zombies. There are two types of poisons. One is green poison that continuously drops blood. And the other is red poison that reduces defense. Based on the experience of the previous life. Level 0 green poison will drop one drop of blood every second. While level 0 red poison will reduce the opponent's defense by 5%. Let's not talk about the green poison. Because Chin Hung had already hacked the zombie to death before it could lose a few drops of blood. When he attacks a zombie that has been poisoned with red poison, it is equivalent to increasing its own attack by 5%. Normally his attack is around 18 points. But now it's very normal for Dao Dao to have an attack of more than 18 points. There was a jingle. And as the zombie died, a small pile of gold coins and a small blue fell on the ground. At 160 experience points, Chin Hung smiled and stepped on it. More than 100 gold coins. The income looked pretty good. He applied poison to another zombie not far away, attracted it over, and continued killing. Chapter 23 The First Floor of the Abandoned Mining Area Crisis On the first floor of the Viper Valley Abandoned Mining Area, Chin Hung picked up the things and was about to use poison to seduce another zombie girl. 
The zombie girl he killed on the ground got up again. Jean Hung stepped forward and slashed hard. And a blood bar suddenly appeared on the zombie's head. Total HP, 80 points. Kaka Kaka. Kill him with three knives in a row. At 80 experience points. Resurrection. This is what zombies do. After each death, he is resurrected again. But his health is only more than half of what he was before. Chin Hengling applied two healing spells to himself in succession. And his health, which had dropped to more than 50 drops of blood, was slowly rising again. Uh, -uh. The zombie that fell to the ground got up again. And this time Chin Hung hacked it to death with two cuts. Gained 40 experience points again. Uh, uh Get up again and hack to death again. This time I gave 20 experience points and never got up again. I killed four times in a row. And only the first time something dropped. The next three times. Nothing dropped. Sheen Hung continued to attract zombies one by one to start the fight. And took a look at his experience points. Experience value. 7500 slash 30,000. After he upgraded to level 14. He spent more than 10 minutes playing in Ming Zhong. The experience value is almost the same. A total of 300 experience points can be gained by completely killing a zombie. Calculating this, he can be promoted to level 15 by killing more than 70 zombies. But this is not the case. Because there are also zombies among zombies that cannot be resurrected. For example, the zombie he seduced now. A bald monk wearing a cassock that emerged from the ground. Cannot. There are also lightning zombies and zombie kings who will not be resurrected. All in all, he would have to kill more than a hundred monsters. With his thoughts on his mind, he quickly dispatched the five zombies in front of him and exploded some gold coins. After looking at the five people on the other side, they were still killing each other. But Chin Hung didn't kill anymore. After hacking to death a few more zombies in the opposite direction, when they saw that there were no more zombies, they immediately left randomly. Chin Tian was speechless after flying randomly several times in a row without any surprise. Only players were running or waiting. After another random flight, he flew to the edge of a suspension bridge. Perhaps the bridge is too narrow for players to move around. But there are no players waiting here. There are more than 10 zombies on the bridge. Chin Hung immediately used poison techniques to seduce them one by one and kill them one by one. After killing another zombie, there was a ding. And a pile of gold coins fell on the ground. As well as a piece of equipment. Equipment is out. Chin Hung stepped forward happily. Yellow crystal necklace. Taoism 0 out of 1. Durability 8 eighths. Weight 1. Requires level 13. It's a necklace worn by a 13th level Taoist priest. But Chin Hung did not change. For him at present, wearing offensive and defensive equipment is much more suitable than wearing Taoist equipment. He currently has no Taoist attack skills and no summon beasts. The only poisoning technique. As can be seen from the skill introduction. The damage has nothing to do with Taoism. The damage caused by the poison spell is related to the level. Taoism only prolongs the time it takes for him to apply poison. Every time he poisons a monster. It doesn't mean that the monster remains poisoned. It has a certain time. The higher the Taoism. The longer it will take. Settings. Everything shall be subject to this book. It's just that he was chopping so fast now. That the zombie's poison had not disappeared before he had already hacked it to death. Although it is a piece of useless equipment. It is not available in stores. And it can be sold to merchants for 20,000 gold coins. When he sold an enchanted ebony necklace to a third businessman. He sold it for 20,000 gold coins. This zombie cave is indeed a treasure place. Just explode any piece of equipment. And the money for medicine will come out. However. This kind of equipment is standard equipment. And is produced in large quantities. It seems that it needs to be sold early. Otherwise it will quickly become store-bought. Only top quality equipment will be produced in smaller quantities and will retain its value for a longer period of time. For example, if the Taoist skill of this necklace is 0 slash 3, it will be very valuable and will maintain its value for a longer period of time. With his mind on his mind, Chin Hung seduced the remaining monsters one by one and killed them. Several piles of gold coins were exploded and most of them were poor and gave nothing. In the legendary setting, Killing zombies will result in the explosion of mid to low level skill books. Chin Hung has killed nearly 20 zombies and hasn't given him a single skill book. Is it because my face is too dark? Or the zombies don't explode? Chin Hung is not sure anymore. After killing the zombies here, Chin Hung looked at the map. The map does not have a complete layer of map. It only displays the nearby terrain map. Based on the memory of his previous life, he deduced that he was currently in the middle of the first floor. The entire first level mining area is very large 
and is divided into two parts by a river in the middle. In the first part, there are four or five forks leading to three bridges, and each fork will be connected again. After crossing the bridge, the second part is even more chaotic. Each bridge has several forked roads, but there are only two roads leading to the next level. If you don't know how to walk, it will definitely be difficult to get to the next level. The suspension bridge where Qin Hung is located is the middle one of the three suspension bridges on the first floor. After crossing the bridge and coming to the second part, after stabbing several zombies at the end of the bridge to death, Qin Hung stopped killing monsters. I heard someone shouting, Jia Jia Jia, from a distance. Someone spawned monsters in front of him. So Qin Hung had no choice but to randomly fly away again. It doesn't work unless you fly randomly. It's still a long way from here to the entrance to the second floor. This map is much larger than the one in the previous life. It would take more than half an hour to run across it. And it would be impossible to reach it. Phew. This time he randomly flew back to a passage in the first part. I was lucky. There were a few monsters. They came forward and beat them hard. Killing them all. The bell rang loudly. And a skilled book and a small pile of gold coins exploded from the ground. Thunder and lightning! Chin Hung picked it up happily. It seems that the settings are still the same so I don't know what the odds are. It's hard to say probability. Someone fights zombies for a day without exploding a book. If someone hits the first one, it will explode. To put it bluntly, this is a matter of character and luck. This is also the charm of legend. Especially in this setting with top-notch equipment. Any monster that can explode things may make you rich instantly. For example, Scarecrow. If you kill it with one knife, you'll be happy. And maybe I'll get a small bangle for you. And you'll make a fortune. At least it could be exchanged for several thousand oceans back then. Fight monsters and get the best results. Back then, this setting attracted countless players to grind monsters day and night. Qin Hung is not sure about the probability of the skill book falling now. Anyway, he will be able to tell in a few days when the large army rises. As long as the skill book skyrockets, the probability is low. If no one calls out to buy it, it goes without saying that the probability is definitely very high. Call out. Qin Hung flew away randomly again. And this time, he was lucky enough to land on a fork in the second part. It's not far from the entrance to the second floor. Just turn a corner and run through a passage to get there. Uh, -uh. The sound of a large number of zombies rang out around him. And they rushed toward him. He flew directly into the zombie nest. Qin Hung immediately started running. Avoiding the siege of more than ten zombies. And ran towards the entrance of the second floor. Along the way, there were all zombies and Qin Hung didn't dare to stop and spawn monsters. He can't bear so much. With his superb monster baiting skills, he ran around, drawing the zombies aside one after another, leading a path, passing a group of zombies, and dashing forward. Zombies kept touching him, and taking away his health. Gula 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 gula. Ring 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 ring. After drinking several bottles of Zhong Hong and constantly using healing techniques, Qin Hung successfully broke into the second floor from the pile of zombies. Brush. Qin Hung covered his head and entered the second floor of the Viper Valley abandoned mining area. Uh, uh. A screen full of zombies appeared in Qin Hang's eyes, including ordinary zombies, monk zombies, crawling zombies, and lightning zombies. All the zombies rushed towards Qin Hung, and the five or six lightning zombies not far away raised their hands. Z la la. Z la la. Five or six bolts of lightning struck Qin Hangzi from different angles. The doorway where Qin Hung was located was instantly submerged in a flash of lightning. Chapter 24 The Second Floor of the Abandoned Mining Area Terrifying Lightning Zombies Second Floor of Viper Valley Abandoned Mining Area Entrance Z La La Z La La A flash of lightning submerged the place where Qin Hung was. Call out. Qin Hung appeared on another passage on the second floor map. And as soon as he landed, he drank a bottle of small solar water given by the system. As a result, the screen is still full of zombies. He flew twice more before landing in a relatively safe place. There was a wall behind him, and only a few zombies around the front passage. Phew. Qin Hung breathed a sigh of relief and used the healing technique to increase his health. Finally got in safely. As soon as he entered the second level, he was already mentally prepared to use the random scroll. Therefore, as soon as you enter, you will fly immediately. At a quick glance, I found that the entrance was full of potions random scrolls, and some low-level equipment. Apparently, this place killed a lot of people. It has never been cleared by players. And the zombies are densely packed. 
The scariest thing is the lightning zombie. Taoist priests and mages below level 10 simply cannot withstand a bolt of lightning and an attack from surrounding zombies. What's more, these are five or six lightning bolts. And there are a bunch of monsters around them. Qin Hung ran so fast that he was touched by six or seven zombies around him, losing more than 30 drops of blood. In addition, when he rushed in, he was already in a thrilling situation, and his blood volume dropped wildly. Therefore, when he landed just now, 82's health volume had less than 20 drops of blood left. This is because the attacks of those lightning zombies did not hit him. Otherwise he would definitely die. And as long as you stay where you are, if you are touched by a lightning zombie, you will have to lie down. After Ling Ling Ling's blood increased, Qin Hung breathed a sigh of relief and began to clean up the monsters. There are not many monsters in this passage. Someone should have killed them before. He can rush in. And so can others. But there shouldn't be too many of them. Now, unless the players who come and clear the zombies at the entrance. There won't be too many people here. There was a monster to kill. And Qin Hung immediately had no intention of going to the hidden map here to fight. There are probably fewer people there. There are too many monsters. And it's not safe at all. Killing slowly here is not bad. Moreover, he was not sure whether there was a corpse king in the connecting passage because he had never encountered one before. But there was definitely one on the second floor. As long as the game settings are the same. The Corpse King is a good treasure, and will reveal all high-level skill books and some mid-level equipment. With his mind on his mind, Jean Hung slashed at the monster. What he was slashing at this time was a crawling zombie. Although this guy crawls on the ground with two hands, he can crawl faster than someone who can walk upright. The attack speed is also faster. For Jean Hung, it was naturally not a problem. He could still be poisoned and cut without fail. With the sound of a bell, a piece of equipment exploded from the ground a bottle of potion, and a pile of gold coins. It was a helmet. Qin Hang's eyes lit up, and he stepped on it. Magic helmet, defense 0 to 1. Magic defense 1 to 1. Durability 8 eighths. Weight 4. Requires level 14. This is just a magic helmet with ordinary attributes. And its attributes are like this. In the previous legendary game, it was just a piece of junk because it was sold in the store. But if the store here didn't sell it, it would be very valuable. For helmets, there is a bronze helmet with 0 to 1 defense at level 10, a prayer helmet worn at level 18, and a Taoist helmet worn at level 24. Prayer helmet, this is a part of the prayer suit. It is difficult to find in previous legends and the price is high. It goes without saying here. Therefore, the value of this helmet is around 50,000 gold coins at least. Should I wear an anti-2 helmet or this one? Qin Hung decided to wear the anti-2 bronze helmet first, continuing to kill monsters and cleaning up for a while. Qin Hung stopped, because there were only three bald lightning zombies in gray robes left in front of them. Clean forward or backward. The future is a dead end. So we can only move forward. It's definitely not possible to withstand the attack of a lightning zombie. The lightning zombie's lightning spell is actually exactly the same as the master's killer weapon flesh in the movie. Its attack method is to raise its hand and point forward. And lightning will shoot out from its hand and sweep a distance in front of it. The spell attack power is around 35 points. He has 82 drops of health. He can survive 2 hits at most. And he will die on the 3rd hit. The little mage can also be killed by flying a kite from a distance with a small fireball. How is he going to kill him? A low level samurai cannot be killed. Because he is shot to death by the zombie mage with lightning before he can be hacked to death. But as an experienced hardcore player, Jean Hung naturally has a way. Although it is extremely dangerous to do so. Ring ring ring. He filled himself up with blood and drank another bottle of Xiaolan to replenish his magic. Taking a deep breath, Qin Hung was about to seduce someone, but stopped again. Replace the magic helmet with it. Lightning is a magic attack, so it is better to wear some for magic defense. Brush. Brush. He applied green poison and red poison to a zombie mage from a distance, then ran back diagonally. Fortunately, the range of the poison spell is farther than the monster's perception range, Otherwise it would not be easy to use. The zombie mage whose face was smeared by the poison immediately roared loudly. Turned his head and raised his hand. And a flash of light shot across his face. Z la la. A dazzling bolt of lightning shot past Qin Hung. If he didn't run diagonally, he would definitely be shot. After Qin Hung lured the lightning zombie away for a certain distance, he waited for the lightning zombie to finish firing again. And then he rushed towards the lightning zombie. The lighting of the lightning zombies does not fire continuously, but will stop for a while after firing one shot. Keep firing. The interval is about one second. 
This amount of time is naturally enough for Qin Hung. He rushed behind the lightning zombie and hit an axe with one click. A big 22 points of damage floated up. And the blood volume of the lightning zombie was also displayed. Still 155 drops of blood. With a roar. The moment the attacked lightning zombie turned around and fired. Qin Hung also turned around. Cut again. Turn around again. Cut again. That's it. This style of play is very dangerous. If you don't keep up with the speed, you will be hit right away. Qin Hang's level is not low. And he has two points of agility bonus from the gold necklace. His speed is comparable to that of lightning zombies. The lightning zombies he surrounded and slashed were only worthy of being beaten. The flickering light shot from all directions failed to hit Qin Hung. He was so anxious that he kept screaming. It seemed that two more axes would kill the opponent. But an accident happened. After all, this place is different from the computer. After Qin Hung turned around a few times, his mind was spinning. He didn't turn around at once and was bitten by lightning zombies. Qin Hang's blood volume immediately dropped by 30 points. This is because his magic defense is much higher at the moment. Otherwise the damage would be even higher. The helmet's magic defense is 0 to 1. The clothes are 1 half. And the body is 3 thirds. In total, it has a magic defense of 4 out of 6. Fight! Qin Hung gritted his teeth. Two consecutive axe blows came down. Before the lightning zombie fired a second bolt of lightning at him. He hacked the opponent to death. At 160 experience points. There was a ding. And something exploded on the ground. Boy! What a blast! Chapter 25 Dangerous Mining Area Level 15 Second Floor of Viper Valley Abandoned Mining Area The bell rang loudly. And the first lightning zombie Qin Hung killed exploded. This is a real explosion. It looks like 6x6. Six six, including about 30 gold coins. There is a skill book and 5 pieces of equipment in the middle. The others are small potions. Some red and some blue. This is a big explosion of mobs. And this is also the charm of the legend. Qin Hung excitedly stepped forward and picked up the skill books and equipment. Then picked up the potions and checked them one by one. The skill book is a poison technique. The equipment includes a large bracelet. A horn ring. A light armor for women. A bronze axe. And an ebony necklace. All are ordinary. This is also normal. The best quality is not so easy to come out. He didn't get a few top-notch ones in one night. Most of them were found in stores. However, this explosion is okay. The bronze axe is worth at least 100,000 gold coins. And the ebony necklace is also worth some money. I picked up more than a thousand gold coins. And others can be sold in stores for thousands. Besides, that poison technique, as long as the store doesn't refresh and the explosion rate is not high, it will start at least 100,000. All in all, with this big hit, I conservatively estimate that I could earn more than 200,000 yuan. The excited Qin Hung, after filling up his health, once again seduced a zombie mage to come and kill him. Repeat the same trick. After moving to the back this time, he still fainted and was finally bitten by the zombie mage. Nothing exploded this time. Just over a hundred gold coins. Qin Hung relied on this method to kill the remaining zombie mage. With the light of the candle, Qin Hung walked forward for a while. But unfortunately, there were no monsters. My day. Is this damn place so clean? Qin Hung muttered and came to a fork in the road. Which way to go? Opening the local map. Based on the memory of his previous life. He should be in the left passage, not too far from the entrance. Just take two turns along the passage on the right to reach the entrance. There are a lot of monsters at the entrance. Do you want to clean them up? After pondering for a while, Qin Hung did not go towards the entrance, but went to another passage. It's better not to clean up the monsters at the entrance for now. Why? Stay and watch the door. If he clears the entrance of the monsters, countless players will pour in. It will be difficult to fight a monster then. Qin Hung is not a saint, so he will definitely not do something that is not good for him. It would be nice if he didn't lead a bunch of monsters to block the door. However, after walking along the passage here for a while, I still didn't see a single monster. Obviously, the previous players who defeated monsters also took this path. There was no other way. So they had to fly. It's very difficult to hit monsters by running behind others like this. Anyway, the second floor map is very big and there are not many players. So there must be some monsters to kill. How big is the second floor of the entire mining area? It looks like a tattered round spider web. A large circle of mining passages. With two main passages in the middle. There is a large flat area on each passage. 
and there is a large stair mine area in the upper right corner that requires going up and down. Call out. Jean Hung randomly flew into the pile of monsters. And before the monsters could react, he flew again. This time he was lucky. When he reached a passage, there were only two ordinary zombies and one crawling zombie around him. While there were countless shadows and roars of zombies not far away on both sides, Jean Hung didn't run away this time. Facing three zombies at the same time, he could still defeat them. But it just cost him some blood. As long as he clears these three, he can slowly hook up with the zombie girl not far away. Hold head high. The two zombies pointed at Chin Hung with their claws. And the crawling zombie on the ground also came to his feet. And when he reached out, a monkey stole a peach. My day. Chin Hung instantly put on a defense two bronze helmet. Swish. Brush. Brush. With a complaint, Chin Hung shouldered the attack of three zombies and first painted them with red and green poison. Suddenly the three zombies were green from head to toe. This made the three zombies even angrier. They roared and attacked Chin Tian fiercely. Especially the zombie at Chin Hang's feet. He couldn't get enough of it with one hand. He even stretched out his ferocious head and started to bite him. Depend on. If there weren't a bunch of monsters around him, Chin Hung would have to run away in just this moment. Who can bear it? Kakaka. Chin Hung wheeled up his bronze axe and slashed the zombie girl at his feet fiercely. There's nothing she can do. She moves too fast. Uh-huh. My body was shaking so much that it almost turned into a phantom. Sheen Hung couldn't bear it if he didn't kill her first. It was too wasteful. Three zombies. Each attack costs about six drops of blood, which averages out to 18 drops of blood. 18 drops of blood at a time. If he comes five times, he will die. Which man can bear this? Helpless. Chin Hung quickly attacked and took medicine and supplements at the same time. Otherwise it won't work. Gula Gula. I drank two bottles of medium-sized gold potion and one bottle of medium-sized blue potion in succession. The healing technique keeps ringing. Fortunately, Chin Hung can attack with his right hand and heal with his left hand. Otherwise, he really can't cure these zombies. With Chin Hang's supplements, his blood volume fluctuated up and down and remained at around 30 drops of blood. It was extremely thrilling. Click. 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 After Chin Hung hacked the crawling zombie to death with seven swords, he gave him a small bottle of magic potion. But Chin Hung did not relax. Because the other party would be resurrected. However, the resurrection lasted a few seconds. This period of time allowed Chin Hung to relax and increase his health to more than 50 points. He also took the opportunity to attack several other zombies. The crawling zombies that are resurrected again have the same attacks. However, Chin Hung struck first this time. Just when she screamed out, Chin Hung slashed her twice. When it recovered, it just took out Chin Hung and was chopped down by Chin Hung. After killing this guy several times in a row, he completely killed him. Although the remaining two zombies can also be resurrected. They are much safer. Chin Hung just needs to increase his health and drink a bottle of blue. After taking care of these three zombies, Chin Hung stood still and looked at the map. He is in the upper right corner of the map. Just follow the passage behind him, and you will find a higher mining area behind him. You need to climb stairs or something. Jean Hung turned around and fought behind him. There would probably be more monsters in such a remote corner. They used poison techniques to lure them one by one. And Jean Hung fought his way in. There were a lot of lightning zombies among them. But Jean Hung, who had experience in fighting them, had no trouble beating them one by one. I quickly killed the zombies in this passage. And sure enough, there was a large uneven place ahead scaffolding, abandoned minecart railways, hose, and large wooden barrels containing unknown items can be seen everywhere. Densely packed zombies are wandering around. Walking around. Behind them, a wooden ladder was set up on the mine wall. There were many zombies on the wooden ladder, and there were sacks of zombies in the mining area above. Some were killed. Chin Hung wheeled up his bronze axe and used the poisoning technique to lure them one by one and clean them up. He won't be resurrected. It will take about 10 seconds to lure him over and kill him. It will be resurrected. And it will take 20 seconds to completely kill it. But the experience value is equivalent to two zombies. After more than 10 minutes of careful killing, a white light lit up and Chin Hung was upgraded. Level 15. Chapter 26 Level 16. The Corpse King appears. On the second floor of the Viper Valley Abandoned Mining Area. The Prodigal Son of the End of the World. Level 15. Experience value. 18 slash 40,000. The experience value has increased by 10,000 again. Which also means that Chin Hung needs to kill 250 zombies 
before he can level up. Of course, this is the kind that will not be resurrected. Jean Hung looked at the open space in front of him. There were more than ten zombies. He hadn't reached the bottom of the stairs yet. This was mainly because while he was killing monsters, new zombies would appear within a few minutes. Otherwise, he would have killed him long ago. In the past ten minutes, apart from gold coins and two small bottles of magic potion, I haven't seen anything else. He didn't think the explosion rate was high anyway. And he didn't know if it was because of his bad looks. After cleaning up until there were three zombies left, there was still no shipment. Uh, uh. At this time, the zombies spawned again. As soon as it was refreshed this time, Jean Hang's expression suddenly changed. Five zombies spawned around. And there were actually three lightning zombies. He quickly turned around and ran towards the big wooden barrel. But he was still a step too late. Three lightning flashes came over him. And he was hit by two of them at once. Level 15 has 89 health drops. But he just killed a zombie. The blood volume was only 75 drops. And he originally wanted to treat it with less blood. This time it was better. 62 drops were lost in an instant. Leaving only 13 drops of blood. I ran to the big barrel and was touched by another zombie. Leaving 7 drops of blood. If he hadn't moved behind the big barrel, he would have wanted to use the dungeon to escape. Gula gula. Ring ring ring. Jean Hung drank a bottle of small solar water and his blood volume instantly recovered by 30 points. He continued to drink the medium-sized golden potion, plus the healing technique, and slipped further away. He just finished cleaning up there, so there shouldn't be any zombies. Sure enough, after this refresh, there are only two ordinary zombies here. Jean Hung ran all the way over and finally stopped after running a short distance, except for the two zombies who followed. The lighting zombies behind the big wooden barrel did not follow. This is the case with legendary monsters. If there are obstacles in the way, and the players stay away, they will lose their target, and no longer pursue them. If there are no obstacles, the distance will be farther if you follow them. But not too far. You can get away by running for a while. If the player doesn't fight and just runs away, ordinary monsters can usually catch up. Unless it's that kind of perverted monster. After Chin Hung filled up his blood, he went back to kill. Two minutes later, he killed all three zombie mages just now. In the end, the zombie mage generously dropped a skill book. Resist the ring of fire. It's okay. As long as it's not from a store. I can always sell it for some money. Chin Hung quickly cleaned up to the bottom of the stairs this time. Where he ran into trouble again. There are two lighting zombies in the middle of the stairs. Three more zombies in front of it. And three more behind it. As for the eight zombies. Chin Hung couldn't seduce the first one with his poisoning technique. It's on the stairs above. Moving in small steps, but not coming down. Jean Hung tried to attack the zombie at the front. But the two lighting zombies behind him would burst into flames with two flashes of light. This is very painful. Jean Hung was depressed for the first time because of the monster's lack of IQ. It's not, okay, to be strong. Jean Hung had no choice but to come to the stairs in the blind spot of the lighting zombies and apply green poison to all eight of them. Level 0 Poisoning Technique Green poison drops one drop of blood every second. Zombies all have 155 drops of blood which means it takes almost two and a half minutes to be poisoned. Wait slowly. Two and a half minutes passed quickly. During this period, Chin Hung went up and applied the green poison ten times. Two monk zombies emerged from the ground and were hacked to death by him. When the time came, all the eight zombies on the stairs were poisoned to death by him in order. Exploded several potions and piles of gold coins. Soon, the poison zombies, except for the lightning zombies, were all resurrected. Chin Hung didn't need to be afraid this time. He came directly to the first zombie and started to chop it. The zombies behind him were so anxious that they couldn't hit him. There were even seven or eight lighting zombies in the open space on the stairs that kept sizzling at Chin Hung. But because of the different angles, they still couldn't squirt him. Chin Hung was fighting while applying poison to the zombies behind him. Anyway, the level of poisoning has to be improved. So Chin Hing Chuan should be practicing skills because the stairs are very close to the open space above. Some zombies in the open space can also be brushed away by using poison. So, Jean Hung also painted them red and green. After Jean Hung finished beating the zombies on the stairs, he didn't go directly to the monster pile to fight. Instead, he stood at the entrance of the stairs. The next moment, a zombie stepped onto the stairs, and Jean Hung went up to chop him. Countless zombies looked at Jean Hung and screamed anxiously. Countless lightning flashes came over illuminating the entire space with light and shadow. 
Qin Hung, however, was killing monsters calmly. He couldn't breed him anyway. So what was he afraid of? Lightning zombies can't heal him. But he can poison them. Which is really cool. After killing a few more zombies, the zombies above began to be poisoned to death on the ground one after another. Some gold coins, small potions, etc. were exploded. As well as a skill book. Qin Hung was a little excited and looked over. But he was surprised to find that it was a healing technique. Which made him speechless. More than 10 minutes later, with Qin Hung slashing and poisoning, he quickly cleared the zombies in the open space above. He started to clean up the open space. As long as he stood firm and had the long-range poisoning technique, Qin Hung could quickly clean up these monsters. After more than 30 minutes, Qin Hung cleaned up to the very end, during which he obtained four pieces of junk equipment below level 10, as well as some small medicine bottles and gold coins. Click! After killing another zombie that emerged from the ground, a burst of white light rose and Qin Hung upgraded. The prodigal son of the end of the world, level 16. Experience value, 42 slash 50,000. The experience has increased by 10,000 again. Fortunately, he is always at the top of the game and has endless monsters to kill. Otherwise, for ordinary players who have never played Legend, it would be great to be promoted to level 10 from the opening of the zone at 5 p.m. until now. There are really too many players. Qin Hung is well equipped and can kill monsters quickly. And there are monsters to fight all the time. So it's strange that he doesn't upgrade quickly. He remembered that in the previous legend, those experienced players went to the new area, opened the area in the afternoon, and upgraded to level 22 in one night without any pressure. After killing the remaining two monsters, Qin Hung looked at the time. It was almost 2 o'clock at night. I have to get up at 5 o'clock to go to work for the first time. So I can't stay up late anymore. Otherwise, if you don't get enough rest and doze off at work, the impact will be too bad. If it's the world in the previous life, it doesn't matter. The worst thing is to change it. But now, he is unfamiliar with this place. He is not strong. And the outside world is chaotic. If you have a safe place, of course you should cherish it. Level 16. I guess when he comes back from work during the day, the gap between him and the players won't be too big. However, there are still more than 10 minutes until 2 o'clock. How about? Let's play until 2 o'clock and make it together. After struggling fiercely in his heart, Qin Hung decided to finish the remaining 10 minutes. After listening to the traffic, it was quiet, obviously not much refreshed. He stopped running to look for it and just flew randomly. Call out. When he landed, several players were working together to kill monsters. Qin Hung didn't bother to check their equipment and flew away again. The players who were killing monsters heard the sound. And when they turned around, they were gone. Whoosh. After flying three times in a row, Qin Hung landed again, and a familiar sound of iron chains rang out, which made his tired eyes light up, and he completely woke up. The sound of the Corpse King's iron chains. My day. There is a Corpse King nearby. The excited Qin Hung quickly checked the terrain, and found to his surprise that it was not far from the entrance. And the sound of the Corpse King's iron chain came from the entrance. He rushed over at top speed, and immediately saw more than a dozen players at the entrance fighting with the Corpse King and other players. Chapter 27 Meet the Kwangtua Family Again Kill The entrance to the second floor of the Viper Valley Abandoned Mining Area. This is a square space. Much larger than those corridors and mines. There are some huge wooden barrels in the middle. Abandoned scaffolding. Mining machines. Mine tunnels. Dustpans. Hose. And wheelbarrows can be seen everywhere. At this time, the zombies filling the screen are gone. There were only seven or eight ordinary zombies plus an extraordinarily huge, dark-skinned, strong zombie king holding an iron chain. Around them, there are a dozen players circling around them. They are not fighting against the corpse king, but fighting each other, PK. Specifically, seven people were fighting three people. When Qin Hung popped up, he saw the scene. Taking a closer look, Qin Hung suddenly became happy. Seven of the ten people who fought were members of the Quan Chao family. Dragging the princess, Dragging the prince. Dragging the rocking girl. What else is there? Dragging me crazy. Dragging the plane. Dragging the eldest cousin. Dragging the Taoist priest. The levels of these seven people are all very high. The princess Kwangtuo and the prince Kwangtuo are both at level 13. And the others are all at level 12. Kwangtuo Yame and Kwangtuo Aircraft are beating the corpse king with small fireballs. While Kwangtuo prince and Kwangtuo princess are leading the other three to chase down the other three players. There are three players a warrior, a Taoist priest and a mage. 
Jin Hong didn't know if they were in the same group. Anyway, when he arrived, he took a quick look and saw that the warrior and Taoist priest had been dragged to the ground by the family members. What made Jin Hong quite speechless was that Princess Kwang Tu imitated him and dug a few times at the soldiers on the ground in the same manner as he did, leaving aside a sentence. Garbage! Nothing! I am Zini! Being so humiliated, the players on the ground suddenly began to curse. The princess ignored him. After insulting him, she immediately led the others to chase the mage, who was still struggling. My day! I learned very quickly. Jin Hong complained in his heart and glanced at the remaining mage again. His eyes suddenly lit up. I saw the male mage named Guan Hai constantly running back and forth among the zombies, avoiding the attacks of the Quan Zhao family, and occasionally taking the time to shoot small fireballs at the corpse king. The five members of the Quang family surrounded him and killed them, but they were all dodged by his dexterous movement. TSK, TSK. You have a strong sense of game operation. Jin Hung sighed. Kill him quickly! The corpse king is about to die! He hit him first! If you don't kill him, it will be his! Prince Quang Tua shouted, and Quang Tua aircraft immediately joined the battle circle. The mage named Guan Hai suddenly became surrounded by dangers, and he could only rely on large wooden barrels and zombies to avoid going back and forth. The blood volume was rising and falling, and it was almost bottoming out. It seemed that he would be killed at any time. Of course, Xin Hung would not just sit back and watch this happen. The Quang Tu family had a grudge against him. How long would it be until now? Just in time, Quang Zhao Yame used a small fire ball to lure the corpse king to run towards him and he immediately pounced on Quang Zhao Yame with an evil smile, because he had sneaked over from the depths of the mine and was looking at the battle. The light in the mine was dark. The people fighting didn't notice him at first. When he ran out of the darkness and bumped into the crazy girl, she was so shocked that her mouth opened wide. It seems that I can drink down a bowl of exquisite white rice porridge in one gulp. She was shocked. But Qin Hung was not in a daze. Yi Yang spread his hand on her with red and green poison and then he violently hacked her with a bronze axe. With a click, a big 24 points of damage floated above the girl's head. A level 12 mage only has a total of 45 health points. Half of it was taken off by Qin Hung in one fell swoop, and the rocking girl's beauty suddenly turned pale as he pulled her wildly. He screamed, turned around and ran away. But in her haste, she forgot about the corpse king behind her. When he turned around, he ran into the corpse king's thick chain head on. With a bang, the corpse king's thick iron chain hit her heart, causing 30 points of damage. She directly received the lunch box and laid down on the ground. A bunch of potions, random scrolls, a skill book, thunder and lightning, and a hexagonal ring dropped on the ground. Equipment exploded. Jean Hang's eyes lit up. This crazy rocking girl is a rich woman. Last time, she gave him a magic two steel bracelet. Will she be the best again now? Before the corpse king attacked him, he instantly stepped on the hexagonal ring in the thunder and lightning technique. After picking up one, he ran and avoided the corpse king's iron chain. He turned back and applied red poison and green poison to the corpse king, then turned around and ran away. It's impossible not to run. On the opposite side, the Kuangzhao princess and the other six people heard the Kuangzhao girl scream and saw her being hacked to death by Qin Hung. They all left the mage named Guan Hai with red eyes and came to kill her. You bastard! How dare you show up? Kill him! Princess Quanjo rushed over in anger. Jin Hung threw away the corpse king and ran around the big wooden barrel. The six people chased after him desperately. But Jin Hung started earlier and was at a higher level. So they couldn't catch up for a while. The mage angrily threw small fireballs at him from behind. But unfortunately, he ran around to avoid them. Swish. Brush. Brush. Jin Hung doesn't just get beaten without fighting back. While running, he also turned around to apply poison to Princess Kuang Zhao and others. After enduring an attack from a small fireball, he painted all six opponents red and green. The six people were shocked after being poisoned. When they discovered that only one drop of blood was being lost every second, they immediately felt relieved and continued to surround Qin Hung. After swiping the poison, Qin Hung walked around the big wooden barrel and rushed towards the mage who was behind him. At this moment, a team formation message sounded. Guan Hai invites you to join the team. Do you agree? Watching the sea. That male mage? Agree. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Although he was confident that he could kill six members of the Kuala family by himself. It would be good to have multiple helpers. Besides, the guy who hit the corpse king first came back 
and beat the corpse king a few more times. Qin Hung was not sure who the corpse king would eventually belong to. In case it belongs to the other party. It is also a good thing to form a team. As a team. Qin Hung was about to ask the other party to kill the player first. But he found that he had appeared not far away. He raised his hand and fired a small fireball that hit an opponent's mage first. A uh, 12 points of damage floated up. Qin Hang's attack followed closely. And he cut off the mage with 23 points of damage with one axe. The mage, whose blood was already lowered by the poison and whose blood volume was not full, was instantly killed by the combined blow of the two. With a ding, a bunch of potions and random stuff exploded on the ground. Kill the Taoist priest first! Seeing that no equipment fell out, Qin Hung turned around and rushed towards a Taoist priest on the other side. Taoist priests are difficult to kill at higher levels, but at lower levels they are similar to mages, just with a little more health. If he were alone, of course, he would have to fight guerrilla warfare, but with a helper, he would dare to carry it out. Good! The sound of Guan Hai came, and the figure quickly picked up two bundles of Xiao Hong from the ground. He was almost out of medicine. Seeing that one of their own had died, Princess Kuangzhou and the others became even more angry. Instead of chasing Wan Hai, they surrounded Qin Hung in the blink of an eye and attacked hard with five weapons. Qin Hung struck the Taoist priest with an axe, causing a damage of 23 drops of blood. At the same time, he ducked sideways to avoid the attack of the prince, but he withstood the attacks of the other four. Bang, bang, bang. Three, three, six, seven. Three attacks fell on Qin Hung, only knocking out 19 drops of his blood in total. When the blood volume showed that there were still 78 drops of blood, the eyes of the five people widened instantly. Depend on how many levels is this? Chapter 28, Defeat the Corpse King. Pay attention to the sea view. 78 drops of blood, including the previous damage. The blood volume is nearly 100. The Taoist priest has almost 100 drops of blood. What level is this? The expressions on the faces of the Quantai prince and others changed drastically. And they took a deep breath. At this moment, a small fireball came from a distance and hit the dragging Taoist priest Qin Hung attacked, reducing his health to half. As soon as his blood volume dropped to half, he was so frightened that he pulled the Taoist priest around and ran away, drinking blood and treating himself. How could Qin Hung allow him to fill up his health? He chased and slashed him all the way, until his HP could not be increased at all and remained at more than 30. This made him have no courage to stop and slash with Qin Hung. The Prince Kuang and the other two warriors behind him chased Qin Hung with all their strength. But Qin Hung didn't care about the little blood they lost. Princess Kuang Tua chased after her to increase the health of Kuang Tua Taoist Ling Ling Ling. It was precisely because she was in a hurry to increase blood that Kuang Tua Taoist stood up. Otherwise he would have fallen down long ago. Unfortunately, after he embarrassingly dodged two small fireballs from Guan Hai, he never dodged the third one. With a bang. A small fireball hit him, and Qin Hang's attack followed closely, taking away his remaining 20 drops of blood with an axe, with a ding, a bunch of potions, a magic helmet, and a bunch of random scrolls popped out. Qin Hung quickly picked up the magic helmet and a bundle of red flowers with quick eyes and hands, turned around the three warriors of Prince Quang Tu, and rushed towards Princess Quang Tu. Leave me alone! Kill that mage first! Another person died, and Princess Kuang Tu understood that if she didn't kill the damn mage first, she would definitely lose this battle. He dragged the prince and the three warriors immediately to chase him, and then stepped on two bundles of Xiao Hong's Guanhai. But this guy was as slippery as a loach, shuttling back and forth between the barrels and zombies, avoiding their attacks. From time to time, you can still get cold feet and fight back. Just now, the five people couldn't chase him down. Now it's even harder for three people to kill him in a short time unless all his red is used up first. Guan Hai is obviously a player who has extremely accurate control of the battlefield. While running, he will choose the route that is most beneficial to him and avoid the opponent's encirclement and killing. Qin Hung on the other end was also grabbing the princess and hacking her from behind. The axe struck hard with one blow after another until the princess's blood volume was maintained at about 40 drops. And she didn't dare to stop at all, twisting all the way. He gurgled and drank from the blood bottle adding blood to himself. He also ran and avoided between the big barrels and zombies. As she was running, she suddenly saw a group of zombies appear in front of her to block her. She was immediately caught up by Qin Hung, who chopped her down with another axe, and her health dropped to 25 drops. In desperation, she had no choice but to fly away with a whoosh. My day! 
he actually ran away. Just when Qin Hong felt regretful, with a hiss, Princess Quan Tu appeared randomly next to the corpse king. Before she could react, she was violently whipped by the zombie king's thick iron chain and fell to the ground. The bell rang loudly, and a lot of potions exploded on the ground. Randomly, there was also a horn ring and a sturdy glove. Such a dramatic change made Princess Quan Tu, who was lying on the ground so angry that she cursed loudly. What the H? L? Originally, she wanted to run away randomly, replenish her health and come back again. Who knew it would be so unlucky? The corpse king's position was not far from Qin Hung, and the four people at the other end were still playing hide and seek further away. Qin Hung rushed forward instantly and stepped on the horn ring and sturdy gloves. These guys seem to have pretty good equipment, and this guy who pulls the princess crazy might be the best. He didn't have time to look at it now, so he added a red poison and a green poison to the corpse king and rushed over to help the mage. As soon as the zombies spawn, the little mage's situation becomes even more dangerous. But he was like an invincible little strongman, always able to break out from the encirclement and attack of the prince and others. As soon as Qin Hun arrived, he applied several healing spells to Guan Hai Lingling. And then he caught up with his cousin and started slashing wildly. A level 12 warrior has 111 drops of blood. Qin Hun struck down with his axe, instantly killing his big cousin and losing 18 drops of blood. He dragged his elder cousin to drink the potion bottle while still chasing the little mage to chop him. But the little mage was too slippery. When he saw Qin Hung coming to help, he immediately started running around Qin Hung. In this way, if the other three wanted to kill him, they would naturally run around Qin Hung. Qin Hung felt relaxed now. He didn't even have to chase him anymore. He just grabbed his older cousin and gave him a beating. His health dropped sharply with the chop. After a few blows with the axe, his health suddenly dropped to 50 drops. Even if you drink potion, you can't catch up. He was so frightened that he had to withdraw from Qin Hung's attack range and wanted to fill up his health. But Qin Hung gave him no chance and chased after him. Hack him! Without him having to say H, Lo, the little mage, who had taken a breather, waved his hand and bombarded the area with a small fireball. The blood volume of the crazy cousin was reduced to below 40. Qin Hung followed up with an axe cutting off 20 drops of his blood again. The eldest cousin was still trying to hide, but a huge figure appeared in front of him. Corpse King, as if he was very dissatisfied with being ignored. The Corpse King swung his iron chain down wildly. The big cousin couldn't hold it any longer and flew away with a hiss. I don't know if it flew away randomly or through a dungeon. One less person. There are only two warriors left in the Quantua family. Prince Quantua and I Quantua. These two people didn't even run away. They still stopped the mage Guan Hai and chopped them off. Of course, Qin Hung understood what they were planning. They were stalling for time. After dragging the princess to death, he cursed and quit. He must be heading this way after his resurrection. Maybe he will bring more other family members to kill him. But the two people who dragged the prince still murmured about their endurance. There were only two of them left. And with Qin Hang's increased blood, the little mage could actually run and attack at the same time. Even if you fight to get a knife. You still want to attack me and drag me wildly. Coupled with Qin Hang's terrifying attack power. I was beaten to a pulp and had to fly away even if I couldn't carry it for three seconds. There was only one person left who was dragging the prince. And the little mage stopped even running and stood facing him and blasted him with small fireballs. The prince who was dragging him was still the first to run away because he couldn't hold it anymore. Kill the boss quickly. They will be back soon. The little mage dropped a word and rushed towards the corpse king. Qin Hung also rushed over. This is the entrance. Even if the Quangjiao family doesn't come, it will be troublesome for other players to come in. Bang. Click. A small fireball and a bronze axe go down. The corpse king, who originally had little health, but whose blood had been lowered by Qin Hang's poisoning spell, was immediately blown away with a roar. At 400 experience points, there was a huge ringing sound, and an 8x8 explosion exploded on the ground. There are items all over the floor including equipment, potions, and gold coins. Qin Hung glanced at it quickly and saw two skill books and eight pieces of equipment. His eyes jumped. Shipped. He rushed forward and stepped on a green hat. With the hat in hand, he quickly stepped on the two skill books next to him. Explosive flame and thunder and lightning technique. After picking up these three valuable things, Qin Hung suddenly discovered that he was the only one picking them up. Turning around, I saw the little mage Guan Hai using small fireballs to bombard a zombie that was stepping on an object. 
luring it away, and continuing to kill. Why don't you pick up something? Jean Hung picked up another medium-sized armor, male, and couldn't help but ask. Without you, this corpse king doesn't belong to me at all. This belongs to you. The little mage's tone was calm, which made Jean Hung a little dazed. And such a particular child? Sure. Come here and pick it up together. They will be here later. Hearing Jean Hing shouting, the little mage rushed over. But he didn't go to pick up the equipment. He just stepped on the gold coins and some ordinary potions beside him. Even sun water, strong sun water, are carefully avoided. Now that the word count is free, let me say something here. I came here to test the waters this Friday and was very disappointed. I have more than 500 collections. But in the game category, I was only given one popular recommendation. I've read many issues of game categories. And before testing the waters and recommending them, I usually only have one or two hundred collections. And with such rubbish data, their initial recommendations are all about new books or highly recommended ones. But I have more than 500 collections. And I haven't collected them yet. Why should you give me a popular recommendation that is almost the most rubbish? I have been depressed for several days. The same goes for the previous version of Super Private Server. It gave the most rubbish popular category. The collection was clearly ranked second. But it gave the opportunity to advance to the third and sixth places. As a result, I streaked to the shelves in the first round. It took eight months to get a limited exemption. Will history repeat itself this time? I really do not know. I just feel it's really unfair. I made a recommendation today and looked at a better new book recommendation. Most people don't have 300 favorites. I don't understand. Really fascinated. As for today's popular recommendation. As expected, the collection is pitifully low. It is far from the city. There is almost no traffic. Well, I hope that the big guys who are reading this book can support genuine subscription and let the editor see that there is still a group of people who support my book before it goes on the shelves. I hope you guys can catch up and read it every day because now new books are recommended for reading. Thanks. Looking for investment recommendations, especially when it is released. Remember to subscribe so that I can have the motivation to write it down. Kneel down and thank you. Chapter 29 Huge Harvest The act of watching the sea left Chin Hung completely speechless. He didn't care. He picked up the things himself first. While picking up the things, he swallowed some small potions to free up space in the package and store the things. After quickly picking up the remaining equipment, the package column was full. He hurried to the edge, threw out the random scrolls in the package, and began to pick up the powerful solar water and the small solar water. After picking up more than a dozen powerful solar waters, I picked up some of the little solar waters. But I really couldn't put them down. Jean Hung threw away a few more worthless pieces of junk equipment and picked up little sun water. This thing is an instant recovery potion. But it is a good thing. The store does not sell it. And even if you have money, you can't buy it now. What made Jean Hung speechless was that Guan Hai stepped on the junk equipment he had discarded without missing a beat. This child. In the end, there were seven or eight little sun water left. Jean Hung stopped picking it up and couldn't put it down. This potion is a good thing. Just pick it up. Don't leave. I'll give you some more. After fighting together and beating a boss once, Jean Hung naturally couldn't be so stingy. Such discerning players are very rare and have good game awareness. There may be opportunities for cooperation in the future. Good. The little mage Guan Hai then started to step on the ground to get the little sun water and other powerful golden potions and powerful magic potions. Soon. There were no random teleportation scrolls discarded by Qin Hung on the ground. As if it had been cleaned once. Clean. Qin Hung. Go back to the city first and come to the small village of Viper Valley. Considering that the Kuangzhao family would come again and zombies would appear here at any time. Qin Hung decided to go back to the city. With a whoosh. Qin Hung used the dungeon escape scroll and appeared in the jungle of the Viper Valley. Silk silk silk. Kakaka. Boo hoo hoo. Ring ring ring. Ga the ga ga. A group of low level players were surrounding and killing the poisonous snakes. And the fight was in full swing. A tiger snake that no one had killed happened to appear and bit Chin Hung. The snakes in the Viper Valley have a chance of exploding good things. Not to mention the little ones. Blessing Oil and God of War Oil will also explode. With just in case thoughts. Kaka. Chin Hung hacked the tiger snake to death with two swords. But unfortunately only a small amount of gold coins were exploding. It seems that this blessing oil is still hard to come by. In the previous game, a player spent three months hacking here in order to break out the blessing oil. But in the end, 
he didn't even break out a single bottle. Shaking his head, Qin Hong was suddenly a little dumbfounded when he wanted to use the randomizer to fly. Because he threw away the randomizer in order to pick up things. After looking at the terrain. Fortunately, it was not very far from the Viper Valley Village. As he trotted over, Qin Hong suddenly saw several players wearing light armor running toward the small village with hose. Gee, have the miners started taking action? Arriving at the safe area of the small village in Viper Valley. Many players have gathered here to rest. There were a few wearing light armor. And most of them were wearing civilian clothes. A shouting sound rang out in one area. Gold medal merchant number two. Purchase a large amount of equipment above level 10 with Chinese coins or gold coins. Skill books, gold coins, and private message if there are any. TSK TSK. Gold medal businessman number two is here. It seems like he can sell some things later. I actually started buying skill books. Have you finally discovered it? Fortunately, I was more than two hours early. Otherwise, I would have been wiped out by this gang of profiteers. Jean Hang's arrival did not attract the attention of gold medal businessman number two, because there was a player in front of her, who was probably trading. He didn't attract much attention from the other players. After all, there were already quite a few wearing light armor, but there were still people surrounding him to look at the bronze axe. Brother, give me some money. Brother prodigal son, please take me to level up. There were all kinds of requests. But Jean Hung ignored them all and carefully looked at what the corpse king had exploded. The first thing that caught my eye was a green hat. Prayer helmet, defense march 4th. Magic defense 1 half. Weight 2. Durability 5 fifths. Requires level 18. This is a component in the prayer set. And the basic attributes of the single component are amazing. It can be said that the defensive power of this hat is on par with the top legendary equipment. If you put together a set, it can produce special attributes. It can be said that in the previous legendary games, every time someone used the prayer suit, the entire game would be shaken. The world is in turmoil. Of course, such a powerful piece of equipment also has a downside. That is, after wearing it, if the player dies in the game, the prayer equipment will disappear. This is also what many players love and hate about prayer sets. Don't wear it. The properties are so strong. It's uncomfortable to look at it. Wear it. It will be gone when you die. However, the prayer helmet is one of the more explosive prayer parts in Legend. In the previous Legendary games, killing small zombies would result in explosions. Some boss also love to explode. And the Corpse King naturally explodes the most. This hat requires level 18 to wear. Jean Hung can't wear it yet. So he can only leave it on for now. Take a look at the other 7 pieces of equipment revealed by the Corpse King. Medium Armor, Male. The defense is the same as the top grade equipment he wears. A big bracelet. Pig iron ring. Magic 0 to 1. Defense 0 slash 2. Weight 1. Durability 5 fifths. Requires 9 magic points. See soul. Attack March 10th. Magic 1 half. Weight 12. Durability 12 twelfths. Requires level 15. Bahuang. Attack 4 out of 12. Weight 25. Endurance 18 18. Requires level 15. Lantern necklace. Attack 0 to 1. Magic dodge 10%. Weight 1. Duration August 8th. Requires level 18. The last piece is a bronze axe. These 7 pieces of equipment are not of the highest quality. But they are not sold in stores. So I think they can be sold for a fortune. The remaining 4 items were a hexagonal ring exploded by the rocking girl. A horn ring and sturdy gloves exploded by the princess. And a magic helmet exploded by the Taoist priest. When Xin Hung checked. He was immediately happy. These two people were indeed rich women. The hexagonal ring is magic 0 slash 2. With a little more magic. It is a good top quality. Strong gloves. Defense 0 to 2. Need to be worn at level 18. It's just an ordinary bracelet. Probably made by dragging the princess to fight monsters. Magic helmets are also common. Horn ring. Attack 0 slash 2. Taoism 0 slash 1. Defense 0 slash 2. Weight 1. Duration 6 to 6. Requires level 9. This ring is very powerful. The attack increases by 1 point. The Taoist skills increase by 1 point. And the defense also increases by 1 point. TSK TSK. The best of the best. I guess the princess will be driven crazy by dragging her. Xin Hung immediately happily replaced a bronze ring. Although the attack remained the same. It added 2 more points of defense and a little more Taoism. It was really great. Due to special circumstances. He is now most likely to practice alone for a long time. If he wants to level up quickly and safely, 
The best equipment is naturally one that adds defense. Attack and path. This piece of equipment is absolutely amazing. It's a refreshing time. A young mage came up and slashed him with an ebony sword from behind. It was Guan Hai. Xin Hung immediately chatted with him privately and said, You did a lot this time and made something good. I won't treat you badly. He first went to the warehouse to store his things, and then took out a few skilled books. After standing face to face with Guan Hai, he opened the transaction column and Xin Hung put in Ring of Resistance, Light of Temptation, Thunder and Lightning, Fireball, Teleportation, Burst Flame, Flashlight Movie, Sea Soul, Pig Iron Ring, Medium Armor. Xin Hingua gave him several skilled books and three pieces of equipment. These are all things this guy can use in the future. As for the hexagonal ring, of course Qin Hung would not give it to him. This was revealed by him when he killed a crazy rocking girl. Although the prayer helmet is expensive, it is actually the most commonly produced part of the prayer set. It's already good that I can give him so many skilled books and equipment. After all, he bought all the intermediate and advanced skilled books for all servers. Equipment stores such as Hyun are not allowed to sell it either. There are so many players. And trying to collect these skilled books and equipment might be more expensive than a prayer helmet. Besides, his situation is special. If it were in the previous world, he would have given more to the other party. Now, he has to rely on this game to practice. How can everything be fair? Just as Guan Hai said. Without him, Qin Hung could kill all the Quanzhou family and kill the corpse king by himself. Chapter 30 Skill books began to increase in price. Thanks. Thanks. After getting so many things at once, Guan Hai bowed his head and thanked him again and again. He originally thought that Qin Hung would give him a few random things. But he didn't know that Qin Hung would give him a lot of things. The skill book was given to him at level 20. Which was a surprise to him. He was the first to enter the game and was already level 12. But when he wanted to buy a skill book in the bookstore, he was surprised to find that except for a small fireball, there were no other mage skill books in the bookstore. He remembered that when he went to buy Little Fireball at level 7, he also saw many other mage skill books in it. There are them all the way up to level 35. There are other professions too. But now there's not one left. Shocked. He ran to several villages and even to Mengzhong Tuching Academy. But still nothing. This made him wonder if the system had taken back those skill books. After all, who would be bored enough to buy it all? Unable to learn skill books, he had to go to the mining area to kill zombies according to the official introduction. Hoping to get some skill books to use. But after playing for a long time, no copy was dropped. When I entered the second floor, I met someone beating the corpse king. He was immediately invited to join the team. Unexpectedly, members of the Kwangtua family arrived and killed all his team members. Later, Jean Hung appeared. In short, the skill book is very difficult to explode. Now, this Taoist priest named Tianyao Longzi gave him a lot of skilled books at once. This made him suspicious. Are these skilled books typed by the other party? Not necessarily. I've been playing for so long and haven't finished a single copy yet. If he hadn't killed the monster himself, there's only one possibility left. The player in front of me has bought up all the skilled books in the server. What is he going to do? Monopoly? Looking at the players around Wuyang Wuyang, Guanhai suddenly realized. It's hard to imagine what price a skills book will be sold for in the future. Why didn't I think of that? Wouldn't it be great if I bought a bunch of them myself? Thinking of this, he was so upset that he wanted to slap himself with a stool. Then he shook his head. It's impossible. Even if he thought about it, he doesn't have so many gold coins to buy all the skill books. So where did his gold coins come from? Guan Hai was puzzled, and Qin Hang's status in his mind suddenly became extremely mysterious and powerful. After adding each other as friends, Qin Hung went to the store in the Viper Village to sell some junk equipment below level 10 and go shopping for treasures. The Viper Village has a weapon shop and a clothing shop. After some searching, Qin Hung bought three pieces of top quality equipment. The iron sword and short sword add a little more attack. And the light armor, mail, adds a little more defense. I also bought two pieces of gold, or with a quality of 25, and three pieces of black iron, or with a quality of 25, or above in the weapon shop. Only then did he stop without feeling satisfied. There are still many gold mines in the weapon store with quality above 15 to 20. But Qin Hung did not buy any more. His strength didn't allow it. After buying the skill book, he only had 270,000 left. After this fight, I exploded some gold coins and sold some junk. So I reached 300,000 gold coins. The worst store in the gold mine sells it for more than 20,000 yuan apiece. 
This kind of good quality is even more expensive. It costs more than 30,000 yuan a piece. Black iron ore is cheaper. But it still costs more than 2,000 yuan. After buying three pieces of equipment, plus the money for buying mines, he had more than 210,000 left. Looks like I need to make money. He came to the warehouse and took out all the ordinary equipment above level 10. Sell these standard equipment as soon as you can make money. Otherwise, they will become store goods sooner or later. After squeezing in front of gold metal businessman number two, Chin Hung slashed her with a bronze axe in his hand. Hey, brother prodigal son is here. Gold metal businessman number two greeted Chin Hung warmly and took a look at Chin Hung's equipment. His eyes suddenly widened and his mouth opened wide again. This time Chin Hung was very sure that she could definitely swallow a fried dough stick in one bite. After a while, gold metal businessman number two asked doubtfully, your equipment is getting more and more abnormal. Where did this horn ring come from? You guess. You didn't get it because you raped the princess. Right. Gold medal businessman number two asked hesitantly. Huh? How you know? Ha uh ha. -huh. Because this is what we sold to her. Oh. How much did it cost? Jean Hung asked curiously. Gold medal businessman number two hesitated. Then raised a finger. One hundred? One thousand? I'll go. You guys are so dark. Ha ha. This kind of ring that adds defense. Attack. And magic is the best of the best. It's not worth a thousand. Is it? It's worth two hundred at most. Ha ha. You don't understand the world of rich people. By the way, what do you want to sell? Jean Hung didn't waste any time and added. Two bronze axes. Ba Huang. Lantern necklace. Ebony necklace. Sturdy gloves. Two magic helmets. A top quality iron sword. A top quality short sword and a top quality light armor. He didn't leave a magic helmet to wear, but still wore the bronze helmet with two points of defense. As long as the magic helmet is not of the highest quality, it will definitely be eliminated quickly. So sell it as soon as you can make money. Hold on. The gold metal merchant did not give a price immediately, and may be estimating the value of these things. After a moment, she chuckled and said, Most of your equipment is ordinary, and there are only three top quality ones. The bronze axe and the eight desolations each cost 100,000 gold coins each. The ebony necklace costs 10,000 gold coins each. And the magic helmet costs 10,000 gold coins each. Sturdy gloves, iron swords, daggers and armor all cost 50,000 gold coins each. As for this lantern necklace, it costs 100,000 gold coins. How about it? Make a deal. Jean Hung readily agreed. If the other party collects the equipment, they probably sell it directly for Chinese coins. If they sell it for gold coins, current players don't have that much money. To his surprise, the lantern necklace, a piece of useless equipment, was sold for a high price of 100,000 gold coins. It is estimated that the opponent was frightened by the 10% increase in magic evasion. But in fact it was of little use at all. Chin Hung didn't object and happily agreed. The transaction was successful and Chin Hung received 630,000 gold coins. After the transaction was completed, Chin Hung asked, how do I receive the skilled book? Oh, do you have one? Gold medal businessman number two's eyes lit up. Well, I typed an extra copy of The Art of Poisoning in the mine. 20,000 gold coins. Oh, okay. Jean Hung put the money in the transaction column and canceled it after the other party put the money. What's wrong? A friend just told me to keep it for him. Jean Hung said casually, I want to buy poison technique for 20,000 gold coins. Let's dream about it. Let's take a look in a few days. Gold medal businessman number two showed obvious regret in his eyes. Skill books are a scarce commodity right now. And many old customers are asking if they have any skill books for sale. Originally, as businessmen, when they entered the game, they had already checked the bookstore and found that the bookstore sold skill books. So they ignored them, thinking that there was nothing to do in this area. When someone asked me about it, I went to the bookstore to take a look and I was shocked to find that all the skilled books for level 10 and above were gone. The system didn't even flash out, and I was so upset that I almost hit the wall. They don't think that the game system has been taken back. The most likely thing is that it has been monopolized by some big profiteer. But who has so much money? While thinking deeply, Jean Hung asked again, By the way, do you have any gold coins here? I also have a demon 2 hexagonal ring here. Uh, no more. Only 70,000 to 80,000 left. Gold medal businessman number two said speechlessly. The ring of demon two cannot be bought for 70,000 to 80,000 yuan. Forget it. 
Do you have any powder? Yes. It's at eldest sister's place. She's in Beach City. Goodbye. Call out. The Chin Hung in front of him flew away without any hesitation. This guy runs very fast. Alas, I finally collected some gold coins. But he emptied them all again. Huh? Yes. He seems to have sold things to honest merchants. And what he always wanted was gold coins. Could it be that he swept away all the skill books? If so, gold metal businessman number two's mouth opened wider and wider as she thought. Chapter 31 Back to Reality Saying goodbye to gold metal businessman number two, Chin Hung flew around and arrived at Beach City first. There are even more people here. And it's almost overcrowded. There are people buying equipment, recruiting people, and forming teams everywhere. It's like a giant wet market. Chin Hung first went around various major stores and found four small pieces of top-notch equipment again. A small bracelet with attack one. A silver bracelet with magic one. A silver bracelet with two agility. And a steel bracelet with two defense. After searching for equipment, he went to the butcher's place and swept away all the chicken with a quality of five or above and venison with a quality of twelve or above. This time I bought more. Adding up to several hundred yuan. It cost him tens of thousands in one go. Fortunately, he bought another bottle of deer blood at the drugstore. Five bottles in total. To his surprise, he went to the bookstore to see if any books had been refreshed. As a result, I saw a copy of Magic Shield and Assassination Sword Art. I happily bought it immediately. This should have been discovered by some lucky guy who killed the zombie king and then sold it to the store. The corpse king will be spawned in several places in Beach City Mining Area and it will also be spawned on the first and second floors of Viper Valley Mining Area. The zone has been open for so long. And there are always people killed by players. It seems that if you have nothing to do, it would be a good idea to go shopping in a bookstore and pick up missing items. But, couldn't they hear someone shouting about acquiring skilled books? After scanning the goods, Chin Hung privately chatted with honest merchants about selling other equipment. More than 10 minutes later, Chin Hung sold some equipment to the honest merchant the legendary trading company, and the gold metal merchant. Once again, they pulled over all the gold coins they had received in the past few hours. At the same time, he exchanged equipment from three people for more than 300 small packets of medicinal powder. The purchase price of each pack is 3,000 gold coins. The price of this thing will definitely increase in the future. So naturally the more you collect, the better. After everything was done, Chin Hung only had a few of the best treasures from the store. For example, the steel bracelet of magic too, etc. And his gold coins once again reached a huge sum of more than 1.8 million. It's a pity that none of the three major businessmen have the best equipment for Taoists. So Chin Hung can only make do with what he has. He first went to the weapon shop and bought up all the gold, or with a quality of 15 or above, and black iron, or with a quality of 15 or above. More than 200,000 yuan was spent at once. And only more than 1.6 million yuan was left. At this point, Chin Hung is not planning to quit the game because there are still a few villages that have not been cleared. Now that the zone has just opened, many newcomers don't understand the value of top quality equipment. If you see that you don't have any use for it, you probably just sell it to the store. If we don't take the opportunity to do more now, once the concept of top quality equipment becomes popular, no one will be stupid enough to sell it in stores. At that time, there will not be so many people relying on the store to automatically refresh the best equipment. Boo hoo hoo. Chin Hung flew around and soon arrived at Ginkgo Village. Ten minutes later, he had raided all the shops, butchers, and pharmacies in Ginkgo Village and Border Village. Once again, I purchased a lot of high quality meat, eight small exquisite items, and three bottles of deer blood, several pieces of gold ore, and black iron or with quality above 15. His gold coins dropped to more than 1.3 million. It's a pity that there are no awesome ones among the small top products. They are all attack one. Magic one bracelets and so on. It's no problem to sell it for more than 200,000 yuan. After storing the things, he flew back to the Viper Village and bought all the gold and black iron ores with a high quality of 15 or above. More than 200,000 yuan was spent, leaving more than 1.1 million yuan. Whoosh. Whoosh. Chin Hung flew with random scrolls all the way. Brush. This time he landed directly in a big city that he had never been before. Sabic City, Palace, Resurrection Point, Shop. There is no player around. I wonder if there are any top quality products for sale here. Chin Hung quickly ran through all the major stores here. Not to mention, he really found two small items. 
It seems that the system will produce the best. However, the weapon shop here does not sell gold or or black iron or whoosh. After flying several times, he arrived at Ming's Hongda city. No matter where he landed along the way, there were players killing monsters, running, and waiting. When he arrived at Mingzhong Tuching, the flow of people here was not bad. Although there were many, it was not as crowded as Tuching. I first went to the drugstore and the butcher, and only bought a dozen pieces of high-quality meat. It seems that here, there are no deer and chickens, and there are fewer pieces of meat. It is almost a system refresh. After all, only mutton is sold here. Then he went to major stores, and was lucky enough to find a few small items. Only a few pieces of high-quality gold or and black iron or above 15 were found. There is no other way. If you want to get more ores, you should go to Beach City and Viper Valley. After all, there are players there who are constantly mining and selling. And someone will always dig up high-quality ones. Finally, he arrived at the second floor of the inn in Tuching. There are warehouse keepers outside the inn, as well as on the first and second floors inside the inn. For safety and not to be disturbed. Of course, Qin Hung ran to the second floor of the inn. He stored everything in the warehouse and looked at the pieces of meat, gold ore, black iron ore, medicine powder, skill books, etc. in the warehouse. And he showed a satisfied smile. Fortunately, in this warehouse, the same items can be stacked. Otherwise, there would be no way to put so many things in it. Finally, he carefully took out the invisibility ring. Invisibility ring, durability 5 fifths. Weight 1. Requires level 16. Nothing is written except this. You will know if you can become invisible if you try it. He is level 16 and can already wear it. Brush. He equipped it. The next moment, his body became illusory and he still looked like a human being. It's almost like a Taoist priest using invisibility. But the invisibility ring is much more powerful than the invisibility technique. Because of the invisibility technique, you cannot move after becoming invisible. Otherwise you will break out of the invisibility state. But the invisibility ring can make you invisible forever. In fact, in this state, players can see him. But most monsters cannot see him. But this is enough for him to go to many dangerous places to fight boss. Chin Hung opened the character panel again, glanced at the invisibility ring with unfinished thoughts, and prepared to exit the game. Because it's past 2 o'clock and I have to go to work at 5 o'clock in the morning. The method of exiting the game was already known when he came in. All he had to do was silently say to exit the game. Ding dong. Do you want to exit the game? This is system confirmation. Yes. Following Chin Hang's thoughts, his vision went dark. And the next moment, he opened his eyes again. It was still dark before my eyes. And it was not yet dawn. He is still lying on the bed. Brush. Chin Hung sat up, fumbled to light the candle on the bedside, and looked at the clock on the bedside. Sure enough, it was almost game time. The times are all consistent, and there should be no errors. Then, next, see if you have become stronger. He stood up, got out of bed, and clenched his fists. Punch out. Another punch. Another kick. Oh, seems true. Not getting stronger. What the H, L is going on? System? System uncle? Chin Hung tried calling, but tried in methods to no avail. Could it be that everything before was just a dream? Dreaming about going back to play games? Chin Hung looked at his hands blankly. Was it all just a dream? So why is time travel not a dream? Damn it. I want to go back. Just when Chin Hung lowered his head, clenched his hands, feeling extremely frustrated and losing control of his emotions, a system prompt sounded. Ding dong! Do you want to improve your cultivation? Chapter 32 Promoted to 1 Star Game Items Materialize Ding dong! Do you want to improve your cultivation? A sudden reminder sounded, pulling Chin Hung back from the brink of collapse. At this moment, he felt like he had returned from H, L to heaven. A piece of information flowed through his mind, leaving him speechless and surprised. It turns out that if I want to call the system out, I have to recite, legend, silently in my heart. Legend! As he silently thought in surprise, a character panel appeared in his mind. Chin Hung, host. Martial Arts Zero Stars, 0 slash 1000000. Remaining experience points, 117680. Gold coins, 966,666 seal. What does this all mean? The next moment, a larger piece of information flowed through his mind. After a while, after he finished digesting it, he completely understood it, with a look of understanding in his eyes. 
It turns out that zero stars represent his current cultivation level in reality. Zero slash one zero 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 represents the experience value required for him to be promoted to a one star cultivation level, which requires 100,000 experience points. The remaining experience points are all the experience points he gained from killing monsters before entering the game. These experience points haven't been used yet. That's all. Gold coins refer to the number of gold coins currently left in his game. The sealed status means that he cannot currently use it in reality. The message the system gave him was that he had not yet reached the level of cultivation and could not use it. The system didn't tell him what the gold coins were used for in reality. He tried asking but got no response. Ignore it for now. Let's improve our own strength. Chin Hang's dead, and Cheap Father had already instilled in him the divisions of martial arts in this world. So he was not unfamiliar with them. Martial arts are divided into nine stars. One star is the lowest. Nine stars is the strongest. Every three stars is a hurdle. Once you reach three stars, you can be called a warrior. For the six stars can be called a martial artist. Those with seven to eight stars can be called masters. The nine stars are great master. As for what is above the nine stars, his chief dad never said it. And he doesn't know either. Sitting on the bedside, Chin Hung thought silently in his heart. Promote your cultivation level. The bell rang loudly, and 100,000 points were deducted from his experience points. Then, a legendary login interface appeared in his mind. The familiar legendary login music sounded, and the ancient door opened with a squeaking sound. After opening it, you did not enter the character interface, but a powerful energy poured out from here. Chin Hang's blood and skin instantly flowed through his limbs and bones and his eight extraordinary meridians. Half an hour later, Chin Hung slowly opened his eyes. His eyes, which were a little tired after playing games all night, became energetic and full of energy. In this dark room, they were like stars, emitting a faint light. Raising his right hand, Chin Hung incredibly felt the air flow swirling around his body. With a thought, the air flow reached the fingertips, emitting a faint light. This is internal strength. He actually directly cultivated his inner strength and became a one-star warrior. According to Cheap Daddy, if you can cultivate your inner strength, you will officially become a star. Become a true warrior. When a one-star warrior faces an ordinary starless warrior, it will be a complete crushing. A single punch can kill several of them. He stood up, punched out, and with the blessing of his inner strength, he made a roaring sound. Sure enough, much stronger. Just when Chin Hung was happily testing his body, another system prompt sounded. Ding dong! The cultivation level meets the requirements and the equipment function. Skill function and space function are activated. Equipment function? Skill function? Could it be gaming equipment and gaming skills? What is the function of space? Chin Hung was stunned. Before he could think too much, another piece of information flowed through his mind. At the same time, there was another character equipment panel in his mind. Next to the panel was a skill bar and a package bar. This character equipment panel looks the same as the character panel in the game. And the package bar is still 46 cells. At this time, the package column contained a complete set of the equipment he originally wore. As well as random scrolls, potions, etc. After Chin Hung finished digesting the information just now, he immediately understood what the character equipment panel, skill bar, and package meant. His face couldn't help but become ecstatic again. And he almost laughed out loud. First, equipment. As long as he equips a piece of equipment on the character's equipment slot, his real-life character will increase the attributes of the equipment accordingly. For example, if the defense of a big bracelet is 1 to 1, then when equipped, it will increase the defense by 1 to 1 point. Each point of defense can increase his real self's original defense by 10%. In terms of attack power, every point of attack can increase his real self's damage by 10%. For example, if he is a 1-star warrior, his defense power is 1. After wearing the big bracelet, his defense power becomes 1.1. Of course, this also fluctuates. And there are also upper and lower limits. Just like the equipment attributes, the defensive power exerted each time is randomly generated within the fluctuation. Attacks also fluctuate. And every additional point of magic increases his magic damage. As for Taoism, it increases his mental power and Taoism damage. Attacks and magic are easy to understand. But this magic damage. Do I have magic damage? Chin Hung was very confused. If equipped with agility, it will increase his movement speed, dodge rate, and attack speed. Equipment characteristics. All equipment will follow Chin Hang's cultivation to increase his attributes. 
For example, when he is a one-star warrior, carrying a bronze ring that adds one point of attack can increase the damage of a one-star warrior by 10%. Then, when he is a nine-star warrior, carrying a bronze ring that adds a little attack can also increase the damage of the nine-star grandmaster by 10%. Attributes, his own character attributes in the game will also be automatically added. For example, if he is level 16, his character attribute has three-thirds attack, which will also be added to his real attributes. Looking at the skill bar again, there are indeed three Taoist skills that have been learned. Healing, spiritual warfare, poisoning, with a thought. Qin Hung waved his hand, and a holy white light appeared above his head. The sacred energy entered from the top of his head, and he suddenly felt extremely comfortable all over. Looking at the package column, you can store real life things in it, and use them at any time. If there are too many, you can put them in the game warehouse. But real items cannot be used in the game. This is actually a space artifact for storing things. If the parcel slot is not enough, you can expand the parcel slot. But you need to spend gold coins in the game to purchase it. Expanding the first parcel column requires 5 million gold coins. Looking at the golden medicine, you can drink it directly with your mind to replenish his injured body. While the magic medicine can replenish his internal strength, releasing skills consumes internal energy. And magic potions can replenish internal energy. Random scrolls can be used at will in the outside world to escape danger or rush on the road. But it's hard to say where it will be randomly on the current map. Anyway, it's the same as in the game. Dungeon escape scroll can also be used to escape in secret rooms or underground. In short, all the equipment, skills, and items in the game can be used by the outside world. Besides, Chin Hung picked up a standard long sword hanging in the room, which was originally in the room. He pulled out his sword, pondered for a moment, and lightly scratched his arm. A wound appeared, and blood poured out. But Chin Hung didn't even frown, because he can't feel pain. Yes, he became just like in the game, injured and unable to feel anything. But as soon as he was injured, a blood bar appeared above his head without a number. This blood bar cannot be seen by others. Only he can see it. Now when I look carefully, I find that there is a trace missing. He has become like a game. As long as the blood above his head is not wiped out in seconds, he can recover by drinking potions or healing spells. Qin Hung silently recited the healing technique in his heart, and an invisible energy was applied to the wound on his arm, which immediately recovered, intact as before, without even a scar. The health bar above his head also returned to full value. This is another hidden function of the skill bar. If you cast a healing spell on yourself, you can heal at any time without appearing in front of others. Qin Hung glanced at the bottles of powerful solar water in the package, and a thought suddenly flashed in his mind. If you have countless powerful solar water, etc. Thinking of this, Qin Hung couldn't help smiling. There is no pain, and you can use unlimited potions to restore your internal strength or health. Qin Hung has turned into a monster-like existence. Chapter 33 The Heaven-Defying Invisibility Ring Brush With a thought, Qin Hung equipped all the equipment in the parcel column. Bronze axe, bronze helmet, gold necklace, two bracelets, bronze ring, horn ring. In an instant, he felt that his defense power, attack power, mental power, etc. were greatly enhanced in an instant. Attack power March 26, defense 714. The enhanced value will fluctuate within this range. But based on his actual situation in the game, at least the attack power will be more than doubled, or even tripled, and the defense power will also be approximately doubled. This means that his strength has directly doubled at the one-star warrior stage. Qin Hung tried to put on the invisibility ring again, replacing the bronze ring with an attack rate of 0-2. He was curious. Could this invisibility ring be invisible in reality? Just after putting it on, a system prompt sounded. Ding dong! Wear a special ring to activate the reality function. Realistic functions. Stealth. Hiding information. Modifying realm. A piece of information flowed through his mind and Qin Hung suddenly showed ecstasy again. This invisibility ring is so abnormal. After being equipped, in reality, not only can he become invisible, but he can also hide his cultivation level, making it impossible for experts to detect his true level. If you want to be invisible, turn on the invisibility function. If you don't want to be invisible, turn off the invisibility function. You can also modify the realm. For example, if you are a three-star warrior, you can modify it to one star or two stars. However, this can only be adjusted lower, not higher. He picked up a bronze mirror on the bedside table and looked inside. There was nothing. 
He was indeed invisible. With a thought, he turned off the invisibility function. And his body appeared in the bronze mirror again. Invisibility. Appearance. All in one thought. It's amazing. A special ring can actually have special functions in the outside world. So some other special jewelry. Paralysis. Protection. Resurrection. Detection. Teleportation. Memory. Thinking of the uses of those special jewelry. Qin Heng's eyes showed enthusiasm. You have to get a complete set in the game. He picked up the bronze mirror and looked at it again. Apart from his own figure, there was no trace of the equipment at all. This made him feel relieved. It seemed that the equipment he was wearing could not be seen in reality. So, can you see it when you take it out of the package? Brush? A bottle of golden medicine appeared in his hand. Once he opened it, the water inside really smelled like medicine. I tried drinking a little. It was a little bitter and a little sweet. Putting this potion into the package. I don't know if its therapeutic effect is reduced. With a thought, a bronze axe appeared in his hand again. This is when he removed the bronze axe from the figure and took it out of the package. The sharp axe head gleamed with cold light. Besides my own use, can this thing be used by others? Chin Hum didn't know and didn't intend to try. This thing looks much more powerful than the standard long sword. If you can't tell the origin, it's better not to seek death. After putting away the axe and experimenting with the equipment, Chin Hung thought to himself, Open the map! This is another function given to him by the legendary system. You can coordinate the real world map. Brush? The map of the room appeared in his mind. And the coordinates were displayed where he stood, 1221. Expand? Following his thoughts. The map spread out from the room and quickly enveloped the small courtyard where he was. At this point, it could no longer be expanded. Not enough cultivation. But Qin Hung is already very satisfied. Wherever his thoughts go, there are specific coordinates. In addition to the coordinates, there are also a bunch of green dots, which are other handymen living in the small courtyard. Many of the two little dots are still close together. This function is awesome. If you can get the teleportation ring and match the coordinates, you can go wherever you want. If you have all the memory, detection, teleportation, paralysis, resurrection, invisibility, and poison spells. Hee <laughs> hee. That would be fun. Jean Hung learned more about other things in the game and looked at the time. It was less than three o'clock. But he didn't feel sleepy. Lying in bed. Log into the game. He didn't want to go in and fight monsters. But he had a question that he wanted to experiment with. With thoughts. The ancient gate appeared with the legendary login music. And the gate opened with a babbling sound. He reappeared on the login screen. His little Taoist priest appeared in the login character box. Flickering around. Qin Hung was about to log in. But when his mind moved, he stopped again and squinted at the login interface. The login interface in front of you is the same as the previous legendary game. With two character frames. One of them is his level 16 little Taoist priest. And the other one is still empty. Can I create another character? With this thought, Qin Hang's heart suddenly became hot. Immediately click on another character box with your mind and choose to create a character. Ding dong! Insufficient conditions. The second character cannot be activated. Not enough conditions? Qin Hung was not surprised but happy. Even ecstatic. What does this mean? It means that he can also create characters. But the conditions are not met, and he cannot create them. If I can create another warrior or mage, can I also obtain the skills of these two professions? This is extremely possible. But what is this condition? Game level? Or is it external cultivation? Or gold coins? Qin Hung tried to ask. But there was no answer. Forget it. The boat will go straight to the bridge. With a thought, Qin Hung logged into the little Taoist Tianyao prodigal son. As soon as he went online, he immediately ran to the grocery store next to the safe area and bought a bundle of random scrolls. Then ran back to the end before exiting the game. Logged off in the Tuching safety zone? This place is not safe at all for hardcore gamers. In his previous life, he had already developed the habit of logging off at the end. After exiting the game, Qin Hung immediately checked his real-life character panel. Qin Hung, host. Martial Arts 1 star. 0 slash 2000000. Remaining experience points. 17680. Gold coin. 965,778 seal. Sure enough, the gold coins changed. And there was less money for a pack of random scrolls. If you want to expand the package column, you need gold coins. If you want good equipment in the game, you also need to spend gold coins. I don't know if it is necessary to create a new character. There is another unknown purpose here. 
It seems that I need to accumulate more gold coins in the future. Chin Hung used a clock to set an alarm and used an invisibility ring to adjust his cultivation level to that of an ordinary person. He did not activate the invisibility function of the ring. After all, this was still a safe place. Besides, it would also be troublesome if any of the Feng Yu Tower bosses inspected and saw that he was not there. After doing all this, he lay down on the bed and prepared to go to sleep. When a sudden thought came to his mind, I wonder if I enter the game with my real body, or does consciousness enter? Asked about the legendary system. But unfortunately, there was no answer. Forget it. Just be careful. Chin Hung, who played all night, slept soundly until he was woken up by the sound of the clock. The dial clock is not accurate to minutes and seconds. It is based on 12 divisions. 5 minutes per square. Chin Hing Hing's time is 4.30. He got up, put on his handyman clothes, and went to the patio in the yard. After washing up, Chin Hung touched his face again, and then with the light of the lantern on the roadside, he arrived at Feng Yu Tower 10 minutes early. Kitchen. The kitchen in Feng Yu building is very large, divided into a warehouse, a rough processing room, a side dish room, and a cooking room. The cooking room alone has hundreds of large stoves that burn firewood. There are also many small stoves for making soup. There is no way. People who come to Feng Yu Tower are all here to drink and have fun. So food is indispensable. At this time, many people had gathered in the kitchen. And they were busy preparing things. There are many guests staying overnight. Riding horses and swords at night. A bloody battle for thousands of miles. Conquer the secret realm. Tired of hard work. When you wake up early in the morning, of course you have to eat something good to replenish your tired body. As soon as Chin Hung arrived at the door of the kitchen, he was stopped by a big fat man waiting at the door. Chin Hung glanced at him. Three-star warrior! This is another function of the game system. Investigation. The fat man checked his waistband, looked him up and down, and paused on his face for a moment before he chuckled and said, I'm manager Xiao here. Follow me. Fatty Xiao took him directly through the cooking room, the side dish room, and to the huge roughing room at the back. There are already many people working here. Those who kill chickens. Those who kill fish. Those who wash vegetables. Jean Hung. Right. You can do odd jobs here from now on. Today your task is to follow Nyo Air to kill the little horned cow. Fatty Shao pointed to a tall and thick man next to him. Turned around and left. Chapter 34 Kill the Cow to Gain Experience Points. Phone you building. Kitchen. Rough processing room. Nyo Air. A one-star warrior. Are all the handymen here warriors? Chin Hung glanced at the others and found that most of them were ordinary people. After the two introduced themselves, Nyo Air took Chin Hung to the backyard of the rough processing room. It's even bigger here, with pig pens, sheep pens, and cattle pens. There are other people killing cattle and pigs here, and it's a lively scene. There were too many animals, so the smell in the backyard was naturally unpleasant. So Chin Hung could only endure it. Nyo Air brought Chin Hung to a cattle pen, pointed inside and said, We raise these young hornbills ourselves on the farm outside in the mountains. And we bring in quite a few of them every day. Chin Hung looked in through the lantern in front of the cattle pen and saw calves one after another. This calf is about the same size as a newly born cow in the previous life. But it is very strong. What is even more terrifying is that in addition to hair, their body is also covered with sharp spikes. It looks like a bull-shaped hedgehog. Our task today is to kill a hundred of these little horned cattle. One hundred heads? Chin Hung asked in surprise. Ha ha. Don't be surprised. Most of the guests who come here are warriors and have a lot of appetite. One hundred heads is just a starting point. And when there are more, it will be more than a thousand heads. Look over there. They are all cattle killers. And we are just one of them. In addition, many guests particularly like the nyochong of this kind of small beef. Our host Mingyu also likes to eat it. So he kills more of it. Understand? Chin Hung shook his head, looking confused, and asked curiously, What is Nyo Chong? Ha ha. You will know later. Come. I will teach you how to kill. Nyo Air entered the bullpen, and the young oxen retreated one after another. He grabbed a rope, and the other end of the rope was tied to the nose of the young oxen. After pulling out a calf ox, he let Chin Hung hold it. He carefully picked up a piece of black cloth prepared nearby from the door of the cattle pen put a piece of black cloth on the calf's mouth, and then covered it. When Xiao stabbed Newton, he fainted and fell to the ground. This is it. Chin Hung was surprised when he saw it. Hey, Meng Han medicine works for five minutes. Nyo Air smiled innocently, but
But Chin Hung was speechless. There was a large pool in front of the cattle pen with a lot of blood in it. Neo Air placed the head of the little thorn cow on the edge of the pool and pressed one hand on the thorn. Start from the neck. Poke it in to the end. Drain the blood. Be careful. And be fast. While talking, Neo Air skillfully drained the blood of a small horned cow. Zaibata placed it on the stone platform in the backyard. Cut the knife from here. And then cut along here. Neo Air explained and started doing it. Soon, he dissected a whole cow in less than five minutes. The hides, awful, and legs were neatly placed aside. Neo Air raised a bloody long object in his hand and said with a smile, This is Neo Chong, a good product for nourishing yang and nourishing the skin. Male customers like it, and so do female customers. Sheen Hung, your sister? Wouldn't it be over if you just said bullwhip? Look so noble. Next, Neo Air demonstrated again how to lead a small ox. After killing the ox, Chin Hung was asked to come on stage. Seeing Chin Hung cautiously walking towards the bullpen, Nyo Air showed a gloating smile from behind. It is very difficult for ordinary people to kill the small horned ox. This kind of cattle has a very explosive temper. In order to maintain its wild nature, sheep are herded wild in the farms on the mountains. They are very wild and highly aggressive. Ordinary people will be attacked if they approach. The thorns all over the body will pierce the body, which is itchy and painful and is extremely unbearable. Only warriors with an aura of internal energy, who can suppress the wild nature of these cattle can easily capture them. This pretty boy didn't know why. But he offended manager Xiao as soon as he came here. Although Qin Han wiped some dust on his face, he could still tell that he looked like a pretty boy. Just not that exaggerated. Manager Xiao specially arranged for him to bring this pretty boy here, saying that he would let him taste the taste of young beef. Of course, he was also specifically told that it was okay to be slightly injured but not seriously injured, not dead, and especially not hurt on his face. Otherwise, he looks good. Therefore, while Nyo Air was enjoying himself, he was also hunched over, ready to rescue the pretty boy from inside at any time. After all, there must be a reason for what manager Xiao said, and he didn't want to be implicated. But something shocking happened to him. After Qin Hung walked in, the little oxen did not attack him, but instead retreated. My day! What happened? He is not a warrior. Nyo Air er is a warrior himself. So he can naturally feel the aura of a warrior. He clearly felt that this pretty boy was just an ordinary person. Manager Xiao had already told him that the pretty boy was a villager. So, what's going on now? Before he could think about it, Qin Hung had already happily let out a small ox. Following his example, he stunned the cow, placed it on the edge of the pool, held it down with his hand, and stabbed it in with the knife. Ding dong! Kill the little horned bull and get 200 experience points. The sudden voice in his mind made Chin Hang's hands tremble and his mouth raised slightly. Can you still gain experience points by killing external creatures? A piece of information flowed through his mind at the right time. And Chin Hung immediately understood what was going on. Killing external creatures can gain experience points. Experience points are valid for both game characters and external character panels. This means that killing these little horned cattle is the same as leveling up for him now. This is interesting. The blood was quickly finished. Chin Hung turned around with the little horned cow in his hands, trembling, and immediately saw Nyo Air with his mouth wide open. Brush? Nyo Air's sharp eyes looked sharply at Chin Hang's left hand, which was dripping with blood. This made him retract his sharp eyes. He stepped forward and picked up Chin Hang's left hand and looked at it. There were seven or eight tiny holes on it, and blood was coming out. Will be injured. It seems that he is really not a warrior. Nyo Air took out a clean white handkerchief and wiped off the blood on Chin Hung. Miraculously, the wound stopped bleeding immediately. You're injured. How do you feel? Nyo Air asked worriedly. It hurts. Itches. Chin Hung replied tremblingly. His brows slightly furrowed and his legs shaking a little. But I felt helpless in my heart. This little ox. His chief daddy had told him about it before. This kind of cow is highly aggressive. And the most terrifying thing about it is its thorn. After being pricked, even a warrior will feel itchy and painful. When Nyo Air killed the cow just now, he had already sensed it. He was using his inner strength to protect his hand, so he was not pricked by the cow's thorns. But Chin Hung couldn't use his internal strength to protect him, so he had to carry it hard. Fortunately, he doesn't feel any pain now, but he still has the itchiness. His hands kept clenching and letting go, clenching and letting go. Moreover, he had to pretend to be in pain. Sure enough, Looking at Nyo Air's performance just now, 
He was obviously paying special attention to whether he had been stabbed. Fine. Doesn't look like he's wearing anything. I'll give you this handkerchief first. If you feel the pain is unbearable, just wipe it and continue killing. Seeing that Chin Hong could hold back this inhuman pain, Nyo Air was also surprised. However, throughout history, there are indeed many ordinary people who can endure it. This is not an isolated case. So Nyo Air did not go into details. However, he still paid attention to Chin Hang's condition at all times and was prepared to give him a painkiller pill when the other party could no longer support him. Chapter 35 Play the Game Again In a blink of an eye, it's time to have breakfast at 8 o'clock in the morning. Chin Hung had killed more than 20 cows at this time. The reason why it is so slow is not that it is slow to kill, but mainly because it is troublesome to skin and dissect. For a newcomer, it must be difficult to dissect it perfectly. Chin Hung is no exception. From where to strike, how heavy the strike is, all require constant practice. During this process, his body was shaking non-stop. His mouth was groaning. And the blood on his hands was flowing out from time to time. This made Nyo Air nervous all morning. Fearing that he would suddenly fall to the ground and cause trouble. Is it still bearable to ask just once after a few meetings? But what left him speechless was that although Chin Hung looked uncomfortable, he held on. Even he had to admire it. While eating breakfast, Nyo Air took the opportunity to secretly report Chin Hang's situation to Fatty Xiao. Fatty Xiao reported the matter to Mingyu and Dr. Yuan again, along with a blood-stained handkerchief. In the courtyard where the bright moon lives, Dr. Yuan took the blood-stained handkerchief and smelled it again and again, as if he had found a treasure. Then he smiled and said, Sister Yu, how's it going? Let me just say that he has a special physique. Right. He can even withstand the pain and itch of a small horned cow. Why don't you leave it to me to study carefully? Maybe you will make a big discovery. And then you can refine it. No. Mingyu decisively refused. Such a good baby cannot be ruined by her. In the blink of an eye, she frowned again and said, This guy is indeed a bit difficult to deal with. But it has just begun. Maybe he is holding on. And maybe he will come over to beg me in the afternoon. In less than a year, I can create a top-notch ace son. Hoo ho ho ho. Dr. Yuan glanced at her speechlessly, looked at the handkerchief, rolled his eyes, and said, I suggest that he go get abalone tomorrow. Get abalone? As soon as he finished speaking, Fatty Xiao froze and shuddered. Mingyu also narrowed her eyes and refused again. No, if he goes to get abalone now, he will probably be killed by the abalone. Dr. Yuan could only pouted, with a look of regret on his face. However, she quickly left excitedly holding her handkerchief. Mingyu was also speechless towards her. This sister must be studying Qin Heng's blood. After breakfast, Qin Hung continued to kill the cow. With the guidance of the old master Nyo Air, Qin Hung became more and more skilled in dissecting cattle. The cattle are being killed faster and faster. During this period, Qin Hung, who had been worried about falling asleep at work, did not appear. His mental state has always been very good. I don't know if it's because he has developed internal strength or because he doesn't get tired from fighting monsters in the game. When it was close to 5 o'clock in the afternoon, Qin Hung finally killed a hundred young oxen. In fact, after he has mastered the skills, his speed can be much faster. If he goes all out, he estimates that he will be able to kill them at around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. But he still endured procrastination until almost 5 o'clock. If he hadn't obtained the legendary system, he might have performed better to attract the attention of the people above. I wish I could become a martial arts disciple of Feng Yu Tower as soon as possible. But it's different now. With the legendary system, he can stay in the handyman room for a long time, kill cattle to practice at work, and play games to practice after get off work. But if you become a disciple of Feng Yu Tower, you have to go out and fight. He is just a one-star warrior now. Who can he defeat? If he met a nine-star strong man, he would probably kneel down with just one look. It's better to practice playing games honestly. In fact, he also considered that after obtaining the legendary system, he should secretly leave Feng Yu Tower and find a place where no one is around to play games in peace without killing cattle. But the world is very chaotic. He has no money. His cultivation level is still low. And he doesn't even have a place to live. If you don't have money, you can't steal? Go grab it. He, Xin Hung, can't do this yet. Then you have to find a job. Right? But it will still affect his cultivation. There is another thing that worries him. Will Feng Yulu really let him leave unconditionally? Even if he has an invisibility ring, he can sneak away and steal things. But he won't starve to death. But there has to be a safe place. Right? 
he is still too weak. Besides, he was extremely grateful to Feng Yu Tower for saving him. Without Feng Yu Tower, if he traveled through time, he would either starve to death or be seriously injured. It is not an exaggeration to say that Feng Yu Tower gave him a second life. Being able to do something for Feng Yu Lu now would make him feel a lot better. In this world, for the kind and righteous people, the most difficult thing to repay is the debt of favor. If he leaves, he will have to run for a living again. He will most likely not have time to practice. And it will not be safe. Staying safe, he can do something grateful. He doesn't have to worry about food and housing. And he still has time to practice. Therefore, after much thought, he felt that it would be better to just stay here and develop slowly. Feng Yu Tower is very powerful. And it's easy to enjoy the shade under the big tree. Take your time. It won't be too late for me to go out for a wander with all the top-notch equipment when I reach the full legendary level. Although Qin Hung deliberately slowed down, Nyo Air was still shocked by his speed. Because the average veteran among ordinary people can only reach this speed. Even Mingyu smiled even more when she heard the news, strengthening her determination to train Qin Hung. This kind of family is dead and helpless. It is easiest to win the loyalty of the other party. So, during dinner in the evening, Qin Hung got an extra bowl of blood tonifying soup. He said that he had lost a lot of blood from killing the cow today and needed to replenish it. At the same time, Manager Xiao conveyed Ming Yue's invitation again. If he feels tired of being a handyman, he can always go to her and become a young master. But he was ruthlessly rejected by Qin Hung. No, I think killing cows is fun. As a young master, can I gain experience points by having fun with women? How can there be any pleasure in killing a cow? With 100 cows today, Qin Hung gained 20,000 experience points. Although it's not a lot, it makes up for a lot of experience when you're not online. Maybe there are too many players, and others may not have 20,000 experience points in a day. Another point is that Qin Hung is very resistant to becoming a young master because he is afraid of getting Hualu disease. This thing was difficult to cure in previous lives, but in this ancient time, it is probably even more terrifying. When Mingyu heard that she was rejected again, she could only drink the wine in a depressed gulp. Humph! Let me guess how many days you can last. After dinner, Qin Hung returned to his residence, washed himself quickly, and laid down on the bed with his feet wide open. Logged into the game. A day has passed, and it is now 6 o'clock in the evening. I don't know what level the player army is, and whether there is a crane tail at my level. Brush! Qin Hung appeared on the second floor of Tuching Inn, and looked at the equipment he was wearing. Fortunately, they were all there. When entering the game, the first thing is of course not to level up, but to scavenge all kinds of equipment, pieces of meat, etc. He first changed the invisibility ring to a bronze ring. People in the city were too talkative, and he didn't want others to see that he had a good treasure. Cause unnecessary trouble. After going down to the second floor, he was shocked to see many people chatting and trading in the warehouse on the first floor. Among them are gold medal businessmen. The gold medal businessman seemed to have just finished a business and was about to go out. When he saw Qin Hung coming down from the second floor, he was immediately greeted with excitement and enthusiasm. Brother, you're here. I've been looking for you for a long time and you're not even online. I miss you so much. Ah, ha ha, I have to go to class. There is nothing I can do. Qin Hung looked at the opponent and saw that he was already at level 10. It seemed that this guy was also leveling up in addition to buying things. The gold metal merchant smiled directly and said, Are there any more goods? I have gold coins and medicine powder packets here. Of course. I'm afraid you won't be able to swallow it. Qin Hung chuckled. Ha ha. Big brother has too many treasures. I can eat as much as I can. Both of them were in a hurry and quickly completed the transaction. Jin Tian sold her some top-notch products in exchange for 1 million gold coins and more than 100 packets of medicinal powder. The gold metal businessman finally warned with a smile. Brother, I have several beautiful sisters in Viper Valley and Beach City. They can also swallow a lot of goods. Good. After storing the medicinal powder, Qin Hung went out and went straight to the Tuching Jewelry Store. I have more than 2 million in my hand. So of course, I need to replenish some supplies. Chapter 36 Mining Army On the way to the jewelry store, Qin Hung saw many players running past most of whom had changed into light armor. If you look at anyone randomly, they are all around level 12. You can occasionally see them at level 15. I ran to the safe area and took a look. They were almost all in light armor. I didn't see anyone wearing medium armor. After a quick check, 
most of the players were around level 12. In short, mainstream players should be around level 12. After all, there are only so many maps and more players. So how can it be so easy to upgrade? And the sounds of shouting from various areas also kept coming. Legendary Trading Company. Purchase a large amount of gold coins. All kinds of top quality equipment. Equipment above level 10. Skilled books above level 10. Medicine powder materials. Taoist medicine powder packets. At reasonable prices. Selling a large amount of gold coins. All kinds of top quality equipment. Equipment above level 10. And skilled books above level 10. Taoist medicine powder packet. Gold coins or Chinese coins are acceptable. Honest businessman. Purchase a large amount of gold coins. All kinds of top quality equipment. Equipment above level 10. Skilled books above level 10. Medicine powder materials. Taoist medicine powder packets. At reasonable prices. Selling a large amount of gold coins and all kinds of top quality equipment. Gold coins or Chinese coins are acceptable. Gold metal merchant. Purchase a large amount of gold coins. All kinds of top quality equipment. Equipment above level 10. Skilled books above level 10. Medicine powder materials. Taoist medicine powder packets. At reasonable prices. Selling a large amount of all kinds of top quality equipment. Equipment of level 10 or above. Gold coins or Chinese coins are acceptable. What made Qin Hung speechless was that the slogans of these three families were almost exactly the same. The only difference is that the gold metal merchant no longer sells gold coins and medicine powder packets. It is estimated that everything in his hand was wiped out by Qin Hung. Besides them, there were others shouting, Purchase, Poison Technique. For 50,000 gold coins, Private message if anyone wants to sell it. I want to buy a copy of Thunder and Lightning. For 70,000 gold coins, Let's talk privately about the sale. 20,000 gold coins to buy a copy of Light of Temptation. Purchase a copy of Resisting the Ring of Fire. For two gold coins, except for the merchants, almost all of the players calling out were asking for skilled books. Qin Hung felt so comfortable when he heard this that he wanted to jump up. But he hasn't planned to take action yet. There are more and more new players. And the price of skilled books will only keep rising. Wait for a few days first and then talk about it. After visiting a jewelry store, a clothing store, a weapon store, and a butcher, Qin Hung once again obtained eight small items, several pieces of high-quality black iron ore, gold ore, and meat. It's a pity that I don't have that kind of special and top-notch equipment. The best thing is a bracelet with a little attack or magic. Later, he continued to trade with legendary merchants and honest merchants. In exchange for more than 2 million gold coins and more than 200 packets of medicinal powder. At this point, he has about 4 million terrifying gold coins. Brother Prodigal Son, do you want a Taoist skills book? Asked the honest businessman who ended up doing business with him. Qin Hung thought about it and smiled. Oh, what skilled books do you have here? Bring them all to me. I have a few friends who are also playing. Soon, the honest merchant placed five skilled books. Soul Fire Talisman. Summon Skeleton. Resist Ring of Fire. Attack and Killing Sword Technique. Half Moon Scimitar. When these four skill books were put up, Jean Hang's heart skipped a beat, but he asked about the price without hesitation. How are they sold? Soul Fire Talisman 100,000 gold coins. Skeleton Summoning and Attack Sword Skills 150,000 gold coins. Resistance Fire Ring 50,000 gold coins. Half Moon Scimitar 300,000 gold coins. Why is this Half Moon Scimitar so expensive? Jean Hung asked in surprise. This is a level 28 skill book. Of course, it is more expensive. Qin Hung shook his head. Level 28. It's getting harder and harder to level up now. When can I get there? By the time I reach level 28. All these skilled books will probably be flying all over the sky. Well, if you want it, I'll sell it to you cheaper. At least 250,000. Huh? Why do you? A Taoist priest. Come here? This is a warrior skill book. The honest businessman asked doubtfully. I know. I have these two Taoist books. I bought this copy of Half Moon Scimitar for my friend. So, Qin Hung spent 250,000 to buy Half Moon Scimitar. As soon as he got the book, Qin Hung suppressed his pounding heart. Among the legendary skilled books of previous lives, the most expensive ones are the Warriors, Half Moon Scimitar, and the Taoists, Summoning Divine Beast. These two kinds of books have extremely low explosion rates. Each copy was worth a sky high price at the time. He had bought out all the ones in the bookstore. And the ones here must have been discovered by someone else's bad luck. 
But now, neither businessmen nor players know the future value of these high-level skill books. After all, level 28 is too far away. Although Chin Hung upgraded to level 16 overnight, he knew that ordinary players would not be able to get up to level 28 for a month, because more and more experience points are needed later. The businessman estimated that he had purchased this book for up to 150,000 yuan. They didn't know the explosion rate later, so they thought they had already made a lot of money by selling it for 25. This made Chin Hung cheaper. Yes, many zombie kings are defeated every day, and this kind of top-notch book will appear more or less. Maybe it can. After thinking about it, Chin Hung immediately contacted the gold metal merchant and the legendary trading company and asked about the skill book. When I asked this question, it turned out that they really had the goods. He bought a copy of Magic Shield and Group Healing for 200,000 gold coins respectively. Although these two skill books were not as expensive as Half Moon Scimitar. In the previous life, they still cost more than 1 million. Now I can stock up if I can and eat if I can. At this point, he still has 3.65 million gold coins in his hand. By random scrolls, dungeon escape scrolls, candle potions, etc. Boo hoo hoo. After a quick flight, we arrived at Shabak City, visited the shops again, and found two small items here. Boo hoo hoo. Another random meal. Jean Hung arrived at the Viper Valley. Outside the village, I saw a fleeting player holding a hoe running along the foot of the mountain towards the Viper Village. After reaching level 11, these players took hoes to the mining areas to mine and then returned to the village to sell them for money. Since you can run along the foot of the mountain on the left side of the map, you can reach the small village of Viper Valley. In order not to get lost, most players choose to run back to sell their minerals after they are full of mines. Otherwise, using the dungeon in the Viper Valley mining area to randomly fly to the Viper Valley without knowing the way would be a waste. The long mining army can't be seen to the end at a glance. Half of the players in the mining army are wearing commoners, which shows how poor they are. Ha ha. This is developing a bit fast. Unexpectedly, a mining army would appear so soon. Jean hung sighed, squeezed into the village and continued to scan for gold mines, black iron mines, and top quality equipment. Find the merchant here again and continue selling. Picking up money like this is simply not fun. This is the benefit of foresight. After finishing the work, we came to beach and had another meal. Arrive at Ginkgo Village. There are more novice players here than yesterday. Jean Hung obviously felt that there were many, many more people than yesterday. Players are constantly scolding the card for not being able to move. But as long as Jean Hung is not squeezed by others, he will not be stuck. After squeezing, Jean Hung couldn't squeeze in. So he had no choice but to fly away. If you can't get in, you can't skin the goods. And it's useless here because it's full of people. There are only those who go out, but no one who squeezes in, because they can't squeeze in. When we arrived at the border village, the situation was still the same. He had no choice but to come to Beach City. It seems that the two novice villages can only wait until there are less people in the middle of the night to sweep the goods. Anyway, if others don't know, he can sweep it at any time. Although there are many players in Beach City, the place is large and has several doors so you can barely move around. It took more than 10 minutes for Chin Hong to sweep through the store here and once again obtained a large amount of meat, gold ore, black iron ore, and more than 10 pieces of top quality equipment. Then find the gold metal businessman number 2 in the safe period and continue trading wildly. Chapter 37 Another Hidden Map Secret Passage After this sweep of goods, the transaction is completed. Chin Hong currently owns more than 1.5 million gold coins. All the small top quality and relatively good top quality equipment, such as the steel bracelet of Magic 2, were all traded. So many things were sold, but the money was less. This is mainly because he has cleared out all the high quality meat, gold mines and black iron mines in Viper Valley and Beach City. The novice village couldn't be crowded, and it was estimated that all the pieces of meat dug by the players were sold to Beach City. So Chin Hung raided a lot of them. Beach City also has an abandoned mining area, so there are many gold mines and black iron ores. Chin Hung is now sweeping away the meat and ore from the entire server on his own. The money spent must be huge. This is because the high quality or meat pieces are produced in small quantities. Otherwise, he would not be able to eat them all. In addition, he also swept away all the medicine powder packets and several advanced skill books from the merchants. The top quality equipment in his hand is not enough. So he must buy it with gold coins. 
This was also the reason why he only had more than 1 million gold coins left. The price of medicinal powder did not increase as Taoist players reached level 14. This is all because the vast majority of Taoist players have unfortunately not learned the poison technique. Naturally, no medicinal powder is needed. Finally, he got 12 bottles of deer blood again, bringing him to a total of 20 bottles. Poor, only more than 1 million left. After storing the things, Qin Hung sighed. If the mining army found out about his situation, they might be so angry that they would mine him as ore. However, looking at the piles of things in the warehouse, Qin Hung became extremely excited again. If you sell all these things in the future, how much will you earn? He couldn't estimate because the stockpiling was still going on. There are many places where he will use gold coins in the future to expand the package. He will also use it in reality. Naturally, the more gold coins, the better. Moreover, he had a hunch that the chances of picking up small items in stores would become less and less in the future. This kind of thing will be discovered by players sooner or later. It doesn't take much. As long as a few people know about it, it's almost difficult to grab it. Therefore, he wanted to seize the opportunity now and give more things. After everything was settled, Qin Hung began to think about where to go to level up. The player army is all around level 15. But there are only a few maps currently. The wilderness around Beach City, Natural Caves, Orc Tombs, and Woma Forest are places for players from levels 1 to 10. Beach City Mining Area, Viper Valley, Viper Valley Mining Area, and the outskirts of Mingzhong. These are places from level 10 to level 20. The rest are Woma Temple, Stone Tomb Array, Centipede Cave, and Zuma Temple. It is possible to play these four maps based on the player's current level. But it is definitely extremely dangerous to play alone. At most, a group of players can team up to go to the Centipede or Woma Temple. And it's easy to kneel down. For example, Zuma Temple and Stone Tomb Array are basically inaccessible now. Therefore, the current army of players is basically gathered in two mining areas. If you go to the mining area now, it will probably be difficult to grab a monster. It seems that the only option is to go to another hidden map. However, before going to level up, Xin Hung checked his equipment. Sure enough, a lot of the durability was lost. And some were down to two points. I don't know if special repairs are enabled or not. Qin Hung ran to the gate of Biki City and found no special repair blacksmith. He walked around the city and found no special repair blacksmith. I had no choice but to go to major stores and get some general repairs on the equipment. What left him speechless was that ordinary repairs really reduced the durability. For example, something that originally lasted August 8th. After repair, the durability becomes 7 out of 7. Ordinary repairs are like this. Each time it is repaired, it will be permanently reduced by 1 point until the equipment reaches 0 points, which can no longer be repaired and will be scrapped. Shaking his head helplessly, Qin Hung checked the potion again, waited randomly, and then flew around, reaching the Viper Valley, and continued flying towards the Alliance. With a whoosh, he landed at the entrance to the mining area of Viper Valley. Ah, as soon as he landed, he heard a scream. This familiar voice means that a player has obviously died. Looking for a voice, he found a player lying at the entrance of the mining area, and a group of people were picking up the fallen ores around his body. I am Triple X Nani! The player lying on the ground immediately started yelling. This is? Killing people and robbing mines? Qin Hung suddenly understood, and a flash of memory flashed in his eyes. In the legendary game in his previous life, when he was mining at a low level, he was also robbed by others. I didn't expect this scene to happen here so quickly. During the flashback, another player wearing light armor ran out of the mine with a pickaxe. As soon as he appeared, he was killed by a group of players guarding the door. There was a jingle, and a large pile of ore fell on the ground. The player, I'm Renema, was also cursing. Ha ha! Boss! This method of yours is so enjoyable! That's right. There's no need to mine. And the money comes in quickly. Hurry and pick it up. Take it and sell it when it's full. Huh? Boss, why is your name so famous? Ah, mine is red too. The conversation between several players who had already gained fame fell into Qin Heng's ears, making him laugh uncontrollably. If a red-named player wants to enter a city or village, he must pass through the sword guard guarding the gate. The sword guard will attack any red-named player, and mid-level and low-level players are basically a one-shot weapon. After the red player dies, the contents of the package will explode. The equipment on your body also has a high chance of exploding. 
I'm afraid these famous players haven't tried the taste of the sword guard yet. Ha uh ha. -huh. They will regret it soon. And no matter how much they pick up or. It will be in vain. After checking the equipment of several people. They were all covered in rubbish. Chin Hung suddenly lost his sexual interest. Shook his head and flew away. Call out. Entering Mengzhong. He soon came to Shabak City again. Compared with the already crowded Li Chong. Shabak City seemed extremely deserted. Chin Hung didn't see a single player in the entire city. Also, this is not a return point for players. Nor is it a safe zone. Nor is it a resurrection point. Even if there are pharmacies and shops here. Who would come all the way from Tuchin to buy medicine? Buy equipment? Chin Hung sneakily came to a wall of the clothing store in Savak City. And looked back again to confirm that no one was around. He put on his invisibility ring and walked quickly against the wall. Just after taking a few steps, his vision went dark. When he could see things again, he had appeared on a stone staircase. Uh, uh, as far as the eye can see, from the stone steps to the corridor space below, they are full of zombies. Can't even squeeze in, since he was wearing an invisibility ring. The zombies next to him on the steps showed no reaction. Secret Passage. This is the name of the current map. It's also a hidden map. For players who have never played this game, it is almost impossible for them to occasionally wander in here without starting Shabak Hegemony. I looked around and saw that there were only a few lighting zombies in the distance. So they were safe. Chin Hung immediately put on a bronze ring. On this step, only two zombies at most can attack him. So he can withstand it completely. He did this. Of course, to save the durability of the invisibility ring. As long as you don't carry it around all the time. It can be used for a long time. Uh, -uh. As soon as the invisibility ring was replaced, a crawling zombie and an ordinary zombie immediately attacked him. The surrounding zombies also discovered him and began to get restless. They wanted to rush over and attack him. But they couldn't push forward and could only scream nonsense. Chin Hung chuckled, waved his bronze axe, and started killing monsters happily. Chapter 38 A Secret Passage with a High Explosion Rate Level 17 In the secret passage beneath Sabbath Clothing Store, Chin Hung swung his bronze axe and attacked the zombies on the steps. The zombie's attack is at December 16th. His defense is at 7 for 14. And his attack is at March 26th. Therefore, the average zombie attack is around 5 points. Two zombies attack together for 10 points. And his blood volume is 97 points. He only needs to cast a healing spell to survive. Just drink a blue potion once in a while. Chin Hung killed quickly. After poisoning the zombies, his average attack reached more than 20 points. It only costs 8 knives to kill zombies that won't resurrect. Killing a zombie that will resurrect requires 15 knives to kill it completely. But the experience they give is also quite high. The experience gained from completely killing a zombie that can resurrect is almost equivalent to killing 2 zombies that can resurrect. Calculated this way. Chin Hung can kill a zombie that cannot be resurrected in 10 seconds on average. A zombie has 160 experience points. And it takes 50,000 experience points to advance to level 17. By killing cattle in reality, he gained 20,000 experience points. He still had some experience points before. So he was still less than 30,000 experience points before he could level up. After all, you only need to kill 187 ordinary zombies to level up. Are there 187 zombies in this place? The entire secret passage is very large. And there is still a lot of space when walking inside. You can also enter the next hidden map. The Fragrant Stone Tomb. Which has three levels. In addition, zombies will be refreshed from time to time. So Chin Hung does not have to worry about running out of monsters to kill. All you have to do is put your head down and work hard. There were too many zombies. After Chin Hung killed a few zombies on the steps. He only had to stand on the last step to kill them. In this way, he was still facing two zombies. Normal zombies nearby cannot attack him. And lightning zombies that can attack from a distance are too far away. The thick lightning that popped out was quite scary. But it just couldn't hit him. The zombie explosion rate here is pretty good. One of the two or three zombies will explode for around 150 gold coins. Occasionally popping a red potion or blue potion can also replenish Chin Hang's consumption. Facing the attack from two zombies. His healing skills almost never stopped. And the blue potion was consumed very quickly. But some potions and gold coins exploded under the steps. And he couldn't pick them up. There is no place to stay below. And the zombies are all next to each other. After killing one, two more came over. After Anshin slayed monsters for a while, there was a ding. And a zombie exploded after it died. 
There are potions, gold coins, and equipment on and under the steps. This time it's a 6x6 six six explosion. Ha ha. Chin Hung had a smile on his face. In the previous Legends game, the Fragrant Stone Tomb was a hidden map with a high explosion rate and probability of getting the best items. Sure enough, after only playing for a while, it exploded. Chin Hung stepped on all the items on the steps. As for the things under the steps, there was nothing he could do. Can't get down. If there was space, he would put on the invisibility ring and go down to pick it up. But there was no place to stay. So how could he pick it up? However, this time it was okay. Six pieces of equipment were exploded. Chin Hung picked up three of them himself and half of the gold potion coins. The equipment on the ground also includes a large bracelet, a black crystal necklace, and an iron sword that cannot be picked up. Chin Hung ignored them and opened the package while killing zombies, and excitedly checked the equipment he picked up. See if there are any top quality ones first. A magic 1 half sea soul weapon. Ordinary. A magic 2 of 0 amber necklace. Or ordinary. A magic helmet. Still ordinary. Well, Chin Hung was slightly disappointed that he didn't get the best quality this time. But he quickly cheered up and continued to clear monsters. How can the best products come out so easily? However, it is also possible that among the three pieces of equipment on the ground, there will be the best one. But it is a pity that it cannot be picked up. Just as he was regretting it, there was a ding. And the zombie he beat exploded again. I'm dizzy. Is the explosion rate so high? The things on the ground were still half on the steps and half on the ground. A skill book and several pieces of equipment fell conspicuously on the steps. Firewall? Ha ha. Good. This book will be the main skill for mages to level up in the future. And the price is pretty good. After a while, it will be worth at least 1 million gold coins. There were three pieces of equipment. After he picked them up, he checked them one by one. Suddenly, his eyes lit up and he almost jumped up. Outstanding quality. It's still the best product that he can use himself. Phoenix Pearl. Attack 0 slash 2. Taoism 1 of 3. Accuracy plus 1. Durability 7 7. Weight 1. Requires level 17. This is a necklace worn by Taoist priests at level 17. It originally did not have a 0 slash 2 attack. After adding 2 points of attack, this necklace also adds a little more Taoism, which is suitable for Qin Hung. A solo player. The necklace he originally wore was a first level necklace with attack 2 and agility 2. Although its attributes were also good, Chin Hung preferred to choose this top quality Phoenix Pearl, Taoist Priest. As the name suggests, his main attribute is Taoism. The higher the Tao's skill, the longer the healing time, the longer the poisoning time, the stronger the Tao attack, the longer the invisibility time, the longer the defense time, and the stronger the attack. Therefore, Taoism is the main attribute of Taoist Priests. However, at a low level, Chin Hung could only rely on physical attacks to kill monsters and had no choice but to choose equipment that added attack and defense. If he had a choice, it would be best for him to wear equipment that adds Taoism, defense, and attack. But how can there be so many perfect ones? It would be nice to have a top quality horn ring in the hands of the crazy princess. This time, the phoenix pearl is definitely much more adaptable than the gold necklace. It's a pity that you have to be level 17 to wear it, but it will be soon. The other two pieces of equipment are ordinary. A bronze axe, and a medium armor worn at level 16. The properties of the medium armor are exactly the same as his ultimate light armor. Chin Hung planned to wait until the endurance of the light armor was exhausted. And then, he would switch to medium-sized ones. This lightweight, top-notch product should be worth a lot of money if sold. Chin Hung ignored the several pieces of equipment under the steps if he couldn't pick them up, pretending they hadn't exploded. Keep working hard on Zombie MM. After more than 10 minutes, he had almost killed all the zombies on the ground. It was refreshed twice in the middle, both of which were under the steps and could not affect his actions. But Chin Hung never walked out of the steps and was stuck fighting two monsters. There were too many blames, and he couldn't afford to consume them. During this period, several pieces of more than 10 levels of equipment that were not available in the store were exploded and fell under the steps. At that time, there were not many monsters left. After killing a zombie, Chin Hung put on the invisibility ring, ran down to pick it up, and then came back to continue killing monsters. Unfortunately, these equipment are not top quality. But it's not bad. It's okay to sell each piece for 100,000 to 50,000 yuan. Two skill books also exploded. One, thunder and lightning technique. And one, summoning skeletons. 
both of which were valuable items. Finally, all the monsters under the steps were cleared, and Sheen Hung walked down the steps. Start using poisoning techniques to lure them one by one and clean them up one by one. After more than 10 minutes, he once again obtained two ordinary non store outfits, some potions, and a white light rose. Chin Hung has been upgraded. Level 17. Experience 24 70,000. Chapter 39. I really don't want to be a profiteer. Promoting from level 17 to level 18 requires a full 70,000 experience points. 438 zombies need to be killed. It takes over an hour to upgrade. Putting on the top quality Phoenix Pearl. Chin Hung used poisoning techniques to lure the zombies over one by one and continue killing them. Not to mention, as soon as he puts on this Phoenix Pearl, every time he uses the healing procedure, the duration of continuous treatment and poisoning time are indeed lengthened. This allows him to add more blood and heal for a while. Although the extended time is not a lot, it adds up to a considerable amount. Soon he cleared a large space under the steps. With the light of the candle, the entire space under the steps became clear. Under the steps is a relatively large open space. The surrounding walls are made of mud. There are cracks on some walls. And there is darkness inside the cracks. The ground in the open space was uneven and made of dirt. Apart from a few protruding mud mounds, there was nothing else. After this space, go forward and there is a corridor, which is also full of monsters. Chin Hung continued to attract monsters to kill and was attacking a crawling zombie. At this moment, with a flick of the brush, more than 20 zombies sprang up around him. There are six lightning zombies among them. Encountered a big brush. Uh, -uh. The zombies immediately pounced on him like flies after seeing the piece of meat. The lightning zombie also raised his hand. At the critical moment, brush, Chin Hung, who had been vigilant for a long time, instantly put on the invisibility ring. The whole person suddenly became hazy. The surrounding zombies suddenly lost their target and stopped rushing towards him and the lighting zombie also lowered its raised hand. All the zombies had blank faces and began to wander around aimlessly on the ground. Wiping off a cold sweat, Jean Hung carefully avoided the zombies and ran to the back where the zombies were not spawned, staying away from the zombies sensing range. Then he put on a bronze ring and used the poisoning technique to lure them one by one and kill them one by one. In the legendary game, what players fear most when fighting monsters is encountering a big brush. This kind of refresh is irregular. Suddenly, he was surrounded by a bunch of monsters that spawned, and he couldn't survive without running. Warriors and Taoist priests are better. The warrior has thick blood, and the Taoist priest can do it by turning invisible. And when the mage encountered him, he who didn't react quickly was immediately killed. Those with quick reactions, but without superb monster avoiding skills, can only fly randomly. In short, monster spawning is something that players love to hate. If you can beat it, you naturally want to keep doing it. If you can't beat them, I hope you can clean them up one by one safely. The reason Chin Hung didn't dare to come here at level 14 was because there were no outsiders around. He wouldn't be able to handle a big attack. Besides, he couldn't wear the invisibility ring at that time. He was afraid that he would encounter a bunch of lightning zombies when he came out. What a slap in the face. Now that he has the invisibility ring, he is naturally not afraid anymore. This ring is much more practical than the Taoist priest's invisibility technique. The Taoist Priest's invisibility technique will reveal his body as long as the player moves. But if you wear an invisibility ring, you can run around and monsters won't be able to see you. Unless it's the kind of monster with anti-stealth. Of course, this does not mean that if you wear an invisibility ring to attack a monster, the monster cannot see you. This is impossible. Because as long as you attack the monster, the monster can see you even if you are wearing an invisibility ring. Unless he leaves the range of his hatred and starts to explore again. Chin Hung once again cleaned up the zombies one by one. After cleaning up the zombies that spawned, he once again obtained several pieces of non-store equipment, some potions, and gold coins. The parcel column is more than half full. Just as he was killing a zombie, the gold metal businessman suddenly chatted with him privately. Brother, I have received a Taoist priest's level 25 holy armor technique for 250,000 yuan. Do you want it? This skill doesn't sound offensive at first glance. Why do you need so many? The level 28 one is only 250,000. 150,000. I want it. Jean Hung replied. Good. What other skilled books do you have over there? Do you still have? Poisoning technique. There is one. Haven't you learned it? My friend wanted it. And most of our class was playing Taoist priests. I bought it for them. Jean Hung lied casually. 
That's it. No wonder you want so much medicinal powder. I sold it to you for a friendly price of 50,000. Poisoning technique. Dot. Okay. You keep it first. 50,000 yuan to acquire. The art of poison. Is Chin Hung crazy? He's not crazy. Although he bought all the skilled books in the server yesterday. He actually didn't have many. There are four places. And poison technique has 10 copies in each place. Which is only 40 copies. In the face of the huge number of players. This is pitifully small. But now that players lack skill books, prices will naturally go up and up. Especially, poisoning technique, which is a must-have skill for Taoist priests. Without it, fighting monsters would be too painful. Qin Hung suddenly had a bold idea, which was to temporarily monopolize the entire server of poisoning technique. For other skill books, if you encounter advanced ones, you must buy them. If you are intermediate, see if you have enough funds to buy poisoning technique first. This is because as long as there are few Taoist priests practicing poisoning technique, he can purchase the powder for another period of time at a low price. If poisoning techniques appear in large numbers, the price of medicinal powder is bound to skyrocket. As long as the sales volume is average, those profiteers will not increase prices. Otherwise, the price of a 3,000 pack of small medicinal powder may rise to 5,000 to 6,000 or even over 10,000 gold coins. Then the business of hoarding medicinal powders will become untenable. He has only collected more than a thousand packages in total now. Even if the price is increased to 10,000 per package, it will only cost more than 10 million if all are sold. Not that interesting. If you want to play, play big. Now being able to collect so many medicinal powder packets every day is also related to the lack of poisoning techniques among Taoist priests. Otherwise, it would be his turn to hoard at this buying point and that buying point. It's a pity that I don't have any mage friends that I can trust. Otherwise, I don't mind trying that method to brush the medicated powder material. The figure of Guan Hai carefully picking up the potion flashed in his mind. And Qin Hung shook his head. Faced with high benefits, people will change. He would rather keep this possible bug in his mind than talk about it. There are also a few simple and violent money-grabbing bugs. And Qin Hung doesn't know if they can be repeated here. After all, the server is different. According to the legend of the previous life, it is said that bug occurred when several servers were spliced together. So will there be a server with only one supercomputer now? Qin Hung felt anxious. Therefore, it is still within the rules to make more money. Monopolizing skill books, hoarding all kinds of meat and ores, and raising prices will certainly not violate the rules of the server. With his thoughts running around, he privately chatted with Legend Trading Company and Integrity Trading Company. Let them keep poison technique for themselves. The reason is naturally that many of their friends play Taoist priests. As for advanced skill books, there is no need to tell others to keep them. Because currently, except for Qin Hung, no fool would buy a skilled book of more than 20 levels, or even more than 30 levels. He just needs to buy it every time he makes a transaction. Oh, I really don't want to be a profiteer. I was forced to. Qin Hung found a reason for himself and continued to clear monsters with peace of mind. Chapter 40 Level 18 in the secret passage of Sabbath clothing store. In the blink of an eye, Qin Hung spent more than 20 minutes here, and finally couldn't bear it any longer and exited the secret passage. Because, his package is full. The explosion rate here is indeed much higher than that of the abandoned mining area in Viper Valley. He revealed a large number of various types of equipment. Jewelry, weapons, clothes, hats, skill books, etc. from level 10 to level 20. There are several skill books, all of which can be learned at more than 10 levels. In the top skill book, mobs will not explode. Only the corpse king or other boss will explode. There are not many top quality ones. Only three pieces. Sturdy gloves, attack 0 slash 1. Defense 0 slash 2. This is a solid glove with a bit of attack added. Lantern necklace, attack 0 slash 2. Magic dodge increased by 10%. This is the lantern necklace with a little more attack. Amber necklace, magic 3 to 0. This is a necklace with a little more magic. They are all top quality equipment that players need now. And they are expected to sell for a lot of money. What made Qin Hung speechless was that he felt that he could rarely reveal his Taoist priest's top-notch equipment. Except for a phoenix pearl. He has never produced a good thing belonging to the Taoist priest. This reminded him of the same situation in previous legends. Basically, the equipment that exploded was used by other professions. At this time, in addition to three powerful solar waters, two small solar waters, and a dungeon scroll. 
The potions he brought were gone. He threw away the random scrolls and bundles and picked up the equipment. He drank a single red potion and picked up the equipment. In short, he picked up everything worthless and exchanged it for a package of equipment. And then returned to the clothing store in Shabak City through the secret passage. There is a warehouse next to Sabak clothing store, which is very convenient. After Chin Hung stored it in the warehouse, he was surprised to find that it was not full yet. Although the same things can be stacked together, it is still a bit unreasonable to put so many in. Could it be that my warehouse is an infinite warehouse? Chin Hung, who couldn't figure it out, gave up and went to the store to sell a few pieces of junk equipment below level 10. Then he went to the drugstore and bought a few bundles of medium blue and a few random ones at the grocery store. Although it doesn't feel like it's needed, it's his habit of downloading dungeons. If the package cannot fit until the end, it will not be lost randomly. Anyway, a random one costs more than 100 gold coins, which is not expensive. I finally checked the durability of the equipment and found it was okay and can still be used. He came to the wall of the clothing store, looked around, and after confirming that no one was around, he once again entered the secret passage. Along the passage, they were cleared one by one. Chin Hung killed very quickly, and the blood loss was not that fast. After killing a zombie, he only lost about 40 drops of blood, and he almost came back with a healing spell. As long as he is not facing more than two zombies at the same time, his mana will not be consumed quickly. Together with the potions picked up occasionally, it can also replenish a lot. Sometimes if he picked up too much red, he would drink the red potion directly without using the healing spell. Anyway, you can save money wherever you go. With the invisibility ring, he is not afraid of big attacks. I encountered it several times and passed it easily, with no near misses. In fact, there is another benefit to the game he entered in this special form. That is, you will never be afraid of dropping the network cable. As we all know, the biggest fear when playing games is lag and network drop. But Chin Hung is not afraid. He has no internet at all. So where can he get the card? Dropped? This is also his courage to kill monsters among the dense monsters. Otherwise, if it gets stuck or disconnected, and then comes back up, the invisibility ring will probably explode. This secret passage is huge, at least several times larger than the legend he played in his previous life. If each map hadn't been much larger, the entire server wouldn't be able to accommodate so many people. I don't know if in the future it will be the same as in the previous life. Opening up new servers and diverting players. Where will you go then? Brushing monsters, adding blood, thinking about things, and paying careful attention to the surroundings. For Chin Hung, a hardcore player, it is naturally not a difficult task. Thinking back then, it was a trivial matter for him to kill the Red Moon Demon by himself, let alone just kill the zombie monsters. In his words, as long as the power does not go out, the connection does not drop, and you want to die, it is really difficult. Chin Hung did not feel sleepy during the boring and monotonous leveling. On the contrary, the thought of being able to advance to the realm of the outside world after completing tonight's game makes me excited. In the external body, promotion to a two-star warrior requires 200,000 experience, which is not difficult. Spend a night here. Maybe the outside world can be promoted to three stars. More than an hour passed quickly, and Chin Hung once again obtained a large amount of non-store equipment, several skill books of more than 10 levels, and two small items. The explosion rate here is indeed much higher than in the mining area. After killing another zombie, a white light rose, and Chin Hung upgraded again. Level 18. Experience value. 66 slash 100000. This upgrade took a little longer. In addition to requiring more experience points. Another reason is that to kill monsters. He also needs to use poisoning to attract monsters and lure away other zombies. So that he can kill them easily. It's no longer about chopping and chopping to get one in 10 seconds, including the occasional big brushes and picking up things. On average, it takes at least about 18 seconds to kill a monster. To advance to level 19, he needs 100,000 experience points, which means he has to kill 625 ordinary zombies. It takes almost over 3 hours to upgrade. The levels are getting harder and harder. Leveling is a bit slow. Chin Hung sighed. Fortunately, he occupies a map here alone to spawn monsters. Otherwise, if he had to compete with players outside, he would be able to move up in the year of the monkey and the horse and the moon? He remembered that when he first started playing in his previous life, it took him a week to advance to level 18 because he didn't know how to play. Still a bit slow. 
Jean hung sighed again. But if his resentment was known to the outside players who were looking for monsters to kill, they would probably scold him to death. We have hundreds of people killing each other on one map. Are you still not satisfied with just one map? After sighing, Jean Hung continued to clear monsters with a smile. After more than 10 minutes, I reached a step. Going down from here is another map. Xiang Chur tomb. After pondering for a moment, Jean Hung gave up his plan to enter. The monsters inside include not only zombies, but also more powerful black boars, red boars, scorpion snakes, black evil maggots, wedge moths, etc. The attack is too high, and it is not a place for him at this level. It's not that it can't be killed, but it consumes too much and cannot be consumed. Killing a pig would cost him a bottle of blue. Besides, the wedge moth below is anti-invisible, so it's not safe for him to wear an invisibility ring. Shaking his head, Qin Hung went to the other side to kill. After another half an hour, Qin Hung exited the secret passage. The package is full again. Obtained a large number of equipment, skill books, etc. After going to store it again, Jean Hung took out a soul fire talisman and the prayer helmet from the warehouse. Now that I'm level 18, I can finally learn and wear a cuckold. Chapter 41 Abnormal Soul Fire Talisman In Sabak Warehouse, Jean Hung put on a green prayer helmet. Well, not bad. The defense power has increased sharply. His original defense was July 14th. But after putting on the prayer helmet, it became October 16th. The zombie attack is also on December 16th. In other words, if the zombie attacks him again, the maximum damage will be 6 points, and the minimum damage will be 0. On average, it is estimated that about 2 or 3 drops of blood will be lost. This is so cool, and killing zombies will be even easier. This prayer helmet looks good, but the color is green, which is a bit ugly. It doesn't matter. I guess these players in China don't understand the meaning of green. So it doesn't matter. After Qin Hung prayed secretly, he no longer cared about the color of the hat. He quickly learned another Taoist skill, which was also an active long-range attack skill. Soul Fire Talisman. Level 0. Proficiency. 0 slash 4000. A ranged spell like Fireball that uses the amulet to attack enemies. This skill, in the early legends, was also the Taoist priest's only attack skill. It's just that the power is a bit weak. Almost the same as the big Fireball technique. After learning the Soul Fire Talisman, Jean Hung went to the drugstore to make supplies, and then went to the grocery store to buy several large bundles of amulets. To use the Soul Fire Talisman, you need to use an amulet, one piece at a time. Each time it is used, an amulet will fly out and bombard the target, commonly known as toilet paper by players, or anti towel. I looked at the durability of the equipment and found that it was okay and could be used for another round. With everything ready, Jean Hung entered the secret passage again to kill zombies. Once inside, many monsters have been refreshed at the entrance. After he poisoned a zombie, he swung the bronze axe at the zombie far away, and an amulet flew out, making a puffing sound, and hit the zombie's head hard. Damage 24. A big damage is caused. Jean Hung was suddenly confused. The damage of the soul fire talisman is so high? No way. This is only a level 0 skill. In his previous life, he himself was a Taoist priest. Of course he knew very well whether the Taoist priest's soul fire talisman had high attack power. It's almost the same as the mage's big fireball. But now it is abnormal for a zero level soul fire talisman to hit 24 points of attack. The damage of the soul fire talisman is the initial value of the own Taoism plus the soul fire talisman. His necklace has 3 points of Taoism. A bracelet has 2 points. And a horn ring has 1 point. Adding his own 5 points of Taoism. There are 11 points. On average, there are about 6 points of Taoist skills. His poisoning technique is still level 0. After level 0 poisoning is applied, the soul fire talisman's damage will be increased by 5%. After calculation, the damage of this level 0 soul fire talisman is as high as about 15 points. Otherwise it would not cause such high damage. Is this kind of damage catching up with the mage's lightning technique? Even if it's not as good, it's not too far off. Jean Hung tested the soul fire talisman for a while and found that the lowest damage was above 22. And the highest one hit was 27 points of damage. A zombie has 155 health points and only needs 7 hits to kill it. This is only level 0. If you practice to level 3, it will be even more powerful. Why is the damage so high? Could it be? After pondering for a while, Jean Hang's eyes showed a look of understanding. 
He is also a hardcore player. If you think about it carefully, you will understand what is going on. In previous lives, early legends, Talus Priest's Soul Fire Talisman was very powerful. Although it is not as good as the Mage's Thunder and Lightning technique, the damage is not low. The third level Soul Fire Talisman can catch up with the second level Thunder and Lightning. Combined with the Poison spell, the Baby Skeleton can attack even more powerfully than the most powerful Mage. It can be attacked, defended, and healed. At that time, it was the most powerful profession on the server. Later, it was too strong and was officially weakened for the sake of game balance. This matter was so long ago that Qin Hung also recalled it for a while before he remembered it. It seems that the professional skills here are the same as the legends in the early stages of the previous life. Taoist priests are at their most powerful at this stage. With the Soul Fire Talisman, Qin Hang's leveling speed accelerated again. When he was leveling up before, he needed to use poisoning several times to lure a zombie over from a distance. He didn't attack until he was close, which wasted a lot of time. It's naturally different now. After applying a poison spell, he threw the towels from a distance and breathed hard on the zombies' faces. Each time he sucked out about 24 drops of the opponent's blood. By the time the zombies pounced on him, he had already attacked at least 5 times. Sometimes 6 times. The bronze axe hand rises and falls. The zombies were either knocked down in one blow, or they fell after attacking Qin Hung once. And they attacked Qin Hung once. And now it was almost like scratching an itch. Only losing 2 or 3 drops of blood. How much blood does Qin Hung have now? 113 drops of blood. The 2 or 3 drops of blood that are lost are basically the same as if they were not lost at all. When Qin Hung attacked the next zombie, it had already risen back. The blood volume is free. But the blue potion is slightly consumed. If you want to save money, with his current high defense, it would definitely be more cost effective to just go up and chop. But in order to practice skills, Qin Hung will certainly not be stingy. As long as the skill level is improved, it will be a great killer. I looked at the skills panel. The healing spell is level 2. The spiritual warfare spell is level 1. The poison spell is level 0. And the soul fire talisman is level 0. And every time you upgrade the level, the required proficiency will increase a lot. For example, the proficiency required to practice level 0 healing to level 1 is 1200. For level 1 healing, the proficiency is increased to 2400. In his previous life, Qin Hung suffered a lot in his early practice of poisoning. It's not even a matter of deliberate cultivation. The main reason is that I don't have money to buy medicine powder packets. Taoist priests had two kinds of poisons. Red poison and green poison. They had to carry two kinds of powder. A small packet of each kind was more expensive at that time. Reaching 10,000 gold coins. And each packet could only be used 50 times. A pack of medicinal powder. After use. Generally increases proficiency by 100 points. To practice poisoning from level 0 to level 1 requires 3,600 points of proficiency. This requires 36 packets of small medicinal powder, equivalent to 360,000 gold coins. In that era when everyone was mining, who had so many gold coins to deliberately cultivate skills. When fighting monsters, don't worry about holding on. If you can kill them without beating them, you must not use poison. With his thoughts on his mind, Qin Hung spent more than 2 hours fighting monsters here. Once again, I obtained a large amount of equipment, skill books, etc. Two pieces of top quality equipment were also released. But unfortunately, they were not used by him. A solid glove for Demon 2, and a Ba Huang with a little more attack power. Just when the bronze axe in his hand was gone, Qin Hung planned to replace it. There was another lightning zombie in front of him. Qin Hung planned to finish this one, and go back to save his equipment. It is much safer to kill lightning zombies with the Soul Fire Talisman. After applying poison from far away, run away. The lightning zombie's lightning range was not enough. So he chased after it. Then he turned around and hit the soul fire talisman again and continued running. The lightning zombie was beaten. As soon as he raised his hand, he was no longer in the attack range. So he could only continue to chase, control the distance from the opponent and kill without any problem. Well, with the death of the lightning zombie, there was a big explosion on the ground with a jingle. After a loud bang, Qin Hung opened the package column excitedly and his eyes widened in shock. Oh my god, I finally got a top-notch piece of equipment for my own use. Chapter 42 Level 19 Target Leader Woma Ling Feng Attack June 12 Taoist Skills 0 out of 2 Weight 20 Durability 18 18 
requires level 19. This was originally a weapon used by warriors without Taoist magic. But adding two points of Taoism to this top quality weapon instantly turned it into a top quality weapon for Taoist priests. The weapon used by Taoist priests of more than 10 levels is a level 15 half moon. Its attack is only 5 out of 10. Magic is 0 out of 1. And Taoism is 1 slash 1. This comes with it. This Ling Feng is obviously much stronger than it. The Bronze Axe's attack is 0 slash 15. Although the upper limit is 2 points higher than Ling Feng's. There is no lower limit. Sometimes Qin Hong would strike with one blow. And sometimes the total damage would be more than 10 points. With the lower limit of Ling Feng 6 and the upper limit of 12 points. The average attack power should be even better. In addition, Qin Hang's current attack method has become the sole fire talisman. So Taoism is even more important. This top quality Ling Feng fully met his requirements. He had beaten Ling Feng before, but he kept them in the warehouse. He always felt that the high attack of the bronze axe could be withstood. Now there is no hesitation to replace it. However, this weapon requires level 19 to wear, and Qin Hong still lacks some experience. Except for this weapon. All other equipped weapons are ordinary. The skill book is Thunder and Lightning Technique, which is pretty good. More than 10 minutes later, as a white light lit up, Qin Hong upgraded again. Level 19. Experience value 106 slash 120000. The experience value has been increased to 120,000. According to the original speed, he would have to kill 750 zombies here, and it would take nearly 4 hours to upgrade. But when Ling Feng was replaced, he had the new skill Soul Fire Talisman. His Soul Fire Talisman's attack power increased to an average of 26 points. His speed of killing monsters was greatly increased. It only takes 6 Soul Fire Charms to kill a zombie. Therefore, based on his initial monster killing speed, it would only take him a little over 3 hours to upgrade to level 20. But is it really so? Not really. He can be much faster. At level 19, you can learn the Taoist Priest's strongest early skills. Summon Skeleton. After Qin Hung tested Ling Feng's power, he returned to Sabic City. The package is full again. I stored the necessary equipment, took out the summoning skeletons, and started learning immediately. Summon Skeleton. Level 0. Proficiency. 0 slash 6000. A spell that creates skeletons through the use of amulets and resurrection powers. The skeletons you create will become your most loyal followers. This is the first step in resurrection. I finally learned this Taoist priest's signature skill. Qin Hung waved his hand with a smile. And an amulet flew out and exploded beside him. With the light of the explosion, a mutated skeleton holding a small axe appeared in front of him. The mutated skeleton has a bluish name on it. Mutated Skeleton, the Prodigal Son. This name represents who the mutant skeleton is. The color represents the current level of the mutated skeleton. The mutant skeleton baby summoned by the Taoist priest at the beginning is slightly blue in color. The owner takes it to level up for a period of time. As long as the baby doesn't die, it will level up just like the player. Every time you upgrade, the color of the name will change. The attack, blood volume, defense, and attack speed will increase. And the blue of the name will become darker and darker. There were seven changes in total. Until finally, the name became dark blue. The seventh level Talus baby is very scary. And soldiers of the same level will run around when they see it. Usually players call the newly summoned skeleton baby a first level baby. And after upgrading it becomes a second level baby. Up to level 7. But it doesn't mean that just after learning, summon skeleton. The baby can be promoted to level 7. A skeleton baby with skill level 0 can only upgrade the baby to level 2. Level 1 skills can promote the baby to level 3. A baby with level 2 skills can be promoted to level 5. Only by upgrading the skills to level 3 perfection can the baby be promoted to level 7 baby. The skill level of Summon Skeleton is very difficult to practice. Because only one skeleton baby can be summoned at a time. The proficiency will be increased by 1 to 3 points. If the baby skeleton is not dead, it cannot be summoned again. Later, smart players squatted next to the sword guards in the city and practiced summoning skeletons. Because the broadsword guard will attack all monsters and the player's babies. This kind of low-level baby can be done in a matter of seconds. In short, in order to master the summoning skeleton skill to level 3, Qin Hung stayed up many nights, hanging up and practicing next to the sword guard. That's really miserable. So boring. As soon as Qin Hang's little skeleton appeared, it immediately circled Qin Hong with a small axe, watching the surroundings vigilantly, ready to attack any target that could harm its owner. Rest! Qin Hong reads silently. 
The little skeleton immediately stood still. Attack! Jean Hang's thoughts moved again. The little skeleton instantly circled around him again. This is the spiritual command after learning, summon skeleton. In previous computer legend games, there was naturally no such function. And one could only rely on manual control of skeletons to rest or attack. This is a virtual game. So it's much more convenient. He went to the store to sell a few pieces of junk equipment below level 10. And then bought potions. When Jin Hung was about to continue leveling in the secret passage, a system prompt rang. Ding dong! Do you want to sign in? Sign in? I looked at the time. And sure enough it was already 12 o'clock. Before I knew it, I had been playing for 6 hours. At this time yesterday, he had already reached level 10. And now it took him 6 hours to reach level 3. It's getting harder and harder. Sign in! Chin Hung muttered silently. Ding dong! Congratulations on getting 50,000 gold coins and a copy of The Art of Poisoning. Dot! This reward is okay. It's a pity that there is no reward of 1 million gold coins. Thinking that a large amount of gold coins would be needed in the future. Chin Hung had a hunch. You will no longer receive high gold coin rewards for signing in in the future. The system needs your gold coins and cannot continue to reward you with large amounts of gold coins. Now he can also be rewarded with 50,000 gold coins, which is probably enough to buy him potions. The 1 million you start with is the original capital of the reward. If you still can't make any money with this money, the system won't be able to do anything. Speaking of gold coins, the fastest way to make money is naturally to kill the boss. As long as you find a good piece of equipment, you can sell it for millions or tens of millions of gold coins. Although players don't have money now, they will have it in the future. Now that I'm level 19, should I continue to level up? Or should I kill the boss first while others haven't leveled up yet? After thinking for a moment, Chin Hung decided to kill the boss first. If he doesn't fight now, when everyone's levels are up, no matter how powerful he is, he probably won't be able to defeat more than 10 others. So where to fight the boss? There were several places before him. Zuma Temple, Stone Tomb Array Pig Cave, Woma Temple, Centipede Cave in Death Valley, and the Last Corpse King Hall. There are anti-stealth wedge moths in the Zuma Temple and the Pig Cave. The attack of the monsters is too high, so eliminate them first. The map in Centipede Cave is too big, making it difficult to find the boss. If no one clears it, it will be difficult to get past the massive monsters. It's probably difficult to move. You need to wait for the bald monk to refresh in the Corpse King Hall. It takes too long. And then the only thing left is to go to Woma Temple. Maybe he can kill the leader of Woma and bring out a horn. Chapter 43 Get Rich Since he planned to kill the boss, Jin Hung decided to visit the shops in Sabuk and Meng's Hong Touching first. After six hours, you can always buy some of the best. Right? Sure enough. He found a few exquisite items in the Sabuk store. After another random flight, he came to the vicinity of Tuching and ran all the way into Tuching. Moment! He became the focus of the whole town. He holds a long and handsome Ling Feng sword in his hand and is followed by a loyal mutated skeleton. It's the only one in this entire Tuching. Countless players looked at him and after checking his equipment level, all kinds of exclamations exploded instantly. Holy crap! Level 19! He is a level 19 player! I'm dizzy! His sword is so awesome! It's level 19! It also has two extra points of Taoism. I'll go. His necklace, bracelets, and rings are all top-notch perverted equipment. Oh my god. Is this really making me alive? I do. Look at that cuckold of his. It has three to four defense. One out of two magic defense. Damn. Isn't this too, too perverted? With such perverted equipment, he can't be a relative of the boss of the game company. Right. Ah. His little skeleton is so cute. I really want to hug him. Sister, is your taste too strong? That mutated skeleton should be the Taoist Priest Summon Skeleton. It looks very fierce. This is the Taoist Priest Summoning Skeleton. Today, I want to build a small account to play as a Taoist Priest. Ah. Ha ha. Did you see it? He was wearing a cuckold. A cuckold? It made me laugh so hard. Ha ha. What's wrong with cuckolds? Get ten cuckolds and I'll show them to you. Jean hung. His face turned a little dark. He didn't expect that the culture of China was similar to his previous life. Forget it. Green is green. As the saying goes, if you want to live a decent life, you need some green on your head. Now that I am wearing a green one, my defense will be much stronger. With his thoughts on his mind, wherever Qin Hung went, 
countless people followed him, always gathering around him to watch. Some players even played tricks on his skeleton. For example, there was a bored mage girl who used the light of temptation to seduce the little skeleton. Ah, its name has turned yellow. It seems to be motionless. The female mage was surprised. Chin Hung quickly attacked the skeleton baby with a full attack to make it move. He turned around and warned the mage girl to stop tempting her. If the temptation continues, the skeleton baby's secret will be exposed. If it gets out, it will be very detrimental to him. The female mage then stuck out her tongue and followed him in circles with a playful smile. Chin Hung ignored her and ran into the store cautiously and started searching for treasures. As for the players surrounding him, they just thought he was repairing equipment or selling junk. How could he expect that he would be able to obtain a bunch of top quality equipment just by looking for it? Can it be sold for tens or millions? This is the information asymmetry. The same goes for the real world. People with inside information can make a lot of money, while people without information can only work hard and still make no money. For example, you get news in advance that an old house is going to be demolished. You buy it without the other party's knowledge. And once it's demolished, you can make hundreds or tens of millions by reselling it. Jean Hung replayed the legend again for the same reason. The business opportunity is right in front of you, right at your feet, but others just don't know it. Many times, no one mentions something that seems very simple, and you can't figure it out no matter how hard you think about it. For example, the most serious bug in previous legends was the gold bar binding and gold coin farming. Others didn't explain it clearly. The operation was very simple, but others just didn't know how to do it. Perhaps because there are more novice players. More equipment is being sold to stores. Chin Hung bought more than 10 top quality items from several stores this time, including a large bracelet with an attack rate of 0 slash 2. After going out and squeezing into the Tuching safe zone, Chin Hung passed the veterans in the safe zone and teleported directly to the inn, and then got rid of the crazy onlookers. On the second floor of Mengzhong Tuching Inn, Chin Hung made an appointment with a gold medal businessman during the safe period to meet and trade here. The gold medal businessman looked at Chin Hung with his mouth wide open again, as if he could swallow two heads in one mouthful. Brother, you baby is getting more and more perverted. TSK. TSK. You're at level 19. How did you level up? Oh my god. Is this the Taoist priest summon skeleton? It's so cool. The gold medal businessman looked Chin Tian up and down. His little cherry mouth couldn't stop clicking his tongue. At the same time, she was becoming more and more curious about Chin Tian. According to the information she received, the person with the highest cultivation level in the entire server is a level 17 mage. Most of the others are around level 13. And there are not many people above level 15. The main reason is that there are too few people and too many people. Not long ago, she saw on the official website that there were tens of thousands of comments from players complaining about the lack of maps and the lack of weird maps. There are also tens of thousands of comments from players complaining that skilled books are difficult to explode. Many people have complained over and over again, hoping that the official could open more maps as soon as possible to solve the leveling problem. The official has not made any adjustments to this, but only responded that it is negotiating to deal with this issue. The current number of people online at the same time has exceeded tens of thousands at its peak and is still growing. Players are speculating that the official may open a new server to divert players, because that's what previous games did. But this is, after all, the first ideological virtual game. It is not yet known what the official will do. Jean Hung made nonsense. Ha ha. Our class is all playing. There are so many people. I am the class monitor. And all the good things I get are given to me first. Ha ha. That's right. With more people and better luck. Everything will explode. How many things did Big Brother get this time? I'm afraid you won't be able to eat it. Tell me. How many gold coins do you have here now? I can put things away. Jean Hung chuckled. The gold medal businessman pondered for a moment and said, 3 million gold coins, 15 skill books you want, and more than 100 packets of small medicine powder. My sister is in Viper Valley, and she also has more than 1 million gold coins and several skill books. There are still people in Beaky City, and she also has about a million, a few skill books and more than 100 packets of small medicine powder. There are more mining troops, and the gold coins collected by gold medal merchants have also increased. Chin Hung started trading with her and placed more than 30 ordinary pieces of equipment above level 10. Weapons include bronze axe, Ba Huang, Haiyan, Ban Yu, Ling Feng. Jewelry include cast iron ring, blue crystal ring, ebony necklace, 
black crystal necklace, yellow crystal necklace, lantern necklace, sturdy gloves, devil necklace, amber necklace, phoenix pearl, magic helmet, magic bracelet. Clothes include medium armor, men and women. In short, Jean Hung has all the career sets around level 16. So many things shocked the gold medal businessman this time. This, this is all your fault. Brother, we are in the same class. And I am the squad leader. I sell things and buy skilled books. Jean Hung chuckled. You are so lucky. There is strength in numbers. The gold medal businessman sighed and started counting. As for weapons, Ling Feng has 150,000. And the others have 100,000. Ebony. Black and yellow necklaces. 10,000 each. Cast iron ring 50,000. Blue crystal ring 70,000. Lantern necklace 100,000. Sturdy gloves 70,000. Magic helmet 10,000. Magic bracelet 100,000. The devil's necklace is 70,000. The amber necklace is 70,000. And the phoenix pearl is 100,000. Medium armor. 150,000 pieces. After the price was quoted, Qin Hung only had three words left in his heart. Get rich. Chapter 44 Thousands of People Online The Difference Between a Monopoly and a Businessman Meng Zhong teaching in. Qin Hung completed the transaction with the gold metal merchant and exchanged a bag of level 10 or above equipment for 3 million gold coins. More than 100 bags of small medicine powder and 15 skill books. Even Qin Hung was surprised that this level 10 or above equipment could sell for such a sky-high price. In the previous legendary games, these were all garbage. All store goods. But here it has become a hot favorite. Could it be? After the transaction, he pretended to be casual and mentioned, Oh, there are too many people. And there is no room to upgrade. How many people are playing this game now? It's so stuck. The gold medal businessman smiled and said, Ha ha, haven't you watched the news? It's all on Huajun Radio. According to official data, the peak of the entire server has now reached tens of thousands. And a large number of people are still pouring in. It is estimated that the game company will have to open a new server. Otherwise, it will not be able to withstand the situation. Ha ha. I've been killing monsters. So I don't have time to watch the news. Jean Hung smiled. But his heart became excited. There are tens of thousands of people in my day. No wonder the equipment is so expensive. Regardless of how many packages of equipment he has obtained. It is because he dominates a current high-level map. The zombie cave in the abandoned mining area must be overcrowded now. You have to grab a monster and wait. At the end of the day, if you can develop one or two pieces of equipment, you are considered awesome. Can the equipment be inexpensive? Jean Hung was thinking about the players. And the gold medal businessman was also paying attention to him. It can explode so many things. And the level is high. You can't go to the stone tomb formation or Zuma temple to fight. Right? But as far as she knew over there, it was impossible for players with their current level to enter and fight. Because many friends have tried it. And they will die if they go in. Even the lower level Centipede Cave and Walnut Temple don't have many people who can hang out there now. Most of the players are only around level 14. If you go to a place like that, you can no longer kill them if there are too many people. You hit a monster and you lose a few drops of blood. The monster touches you twice and it kills you. It even spanks you. This is also the reason for a lot of complaints from players who want to officially open new servers or new maps suitable for leveling. This prodigal son of Kinyaw seems to be a master of the game, so he must seize it. For example, this transaction made her a lot of money. Today's players lack gold coins, but there is no shortage of Chinese coins. This morning the official launched a new online trading model, officially guaranteeing equipment transactions between players. Only 1% commission is charged which makes shopping even more popular for players who were originally worried about being cheated. Buy directly with Chinese currency. No way. The first consciousness virtual game is too attractive. Real speaking, real interaction, and PK have attracted countless players to come in. If there is news about the opening of a new area, please inform me. I really don't have time to farm monsters. Thank you. Jean Hung has no choice. He can currently log in to the official website. But the information is probably not as well informed as this businessman. Besides, once he started to fight monsters, how could he have time to switch to the official website? Don't dare. The monster can kill him. It's easy to talk. Big brother, remember to find my sisters and the others later. They can still swallow a lot of your treasures. No problem. The gold medal businessman twisted his waist 
and left with a satisfied look on his face. Jean Hung also smiled when he looked at the 15 skill books in the package. Among them are Summoning Divine Beasts Half Moon Scimitar Trap Curse Summoning Skeletons Etc. The feeling of exchanging a pile of garbage for books that will be worth sky-high prices in the future is simply wonderful. By the way, don't merchants stock up on goods? Jean Hung was a little puzzled. In fact, he still doesn't understand game merchants. Being a game merchant means buying and selling quickly. Whether it's gold coins, equipment, or skill books, if you can make money, you have to take action. Because this kind of thing changes at any time and depreciates very quickly. Maybe the day before, the gold coins were still one-to-one. -one, and the official held an event and a large number of gold coins appeared. Or there was a loophole and a huge amount of gold coins were copied. And the gold coins would become worthless. The same is true for equipment and skill books. Equipment that originally maintained its value immediately depreciated greatly when a new official map was released and a large number of them were released. Therefore, professional game merchants buy and sell now and generally do not stock large quantities of goods. Unless you are the kind of businessman who specializes in hoarding goods, he will find out from some official previews and experienced servers what items will increase in price in the future and stock up in advance. Therefore, which businessman would dare to hoard a level 35 top skill book like Summoning the Divine Beast? Everyone is afraid that everything will depreciate overnight in the future. Xin Hung is actually betting too. He is betting that the official will not change the explosion rate for the time being. The bet is that this game is the same as the game in the previous life. The bet was on him as the host. There was no way he was so unlucky. This means that different stances and different concepts lead to different approaches. Next, Qin Hung successively made transactions with the honest merchants and legend trading firm in Tuching. Once again, he exchanged ordinary equipment of more than 10 levels for more than 6 million gold coins, hundreds of packets of small medicine powder, and more than 30 skill books. Most of the skill books are above level 14, among which there are 10 poison techniques, which Qin Hung specially requested. In front of Qin Hung, a big customer, the businessmen are of course willing to keep him, and build a good relationship with him. Who is selling is not selling. Other skill books include Magic Shield and Hail Roar. This is normal. After all, the Corpse King will refresh every two hours. And if you know how to refresh it, it will have a chance to explode. But compared to the market of tens of thousands of people, these more than 10 advanced skills books are simply a drop in the bucket. What's more, it's all monopolized by Qin Hung. When players grow up in the future, they will suffer even more from skill books. In fact, there are many skilled books such as Poisoning Technique that have passed through the hands of businessmen. After all, they also have a network of connections and cannot only do Qin Heng's business. Qin Hung also understands this truth. It is impossible for him to completely monopolize the skilled books of the entire server. He is only pursuing a semi-monopoly. What is a semi-monopoly? Just increase the scarcity of things. Of the 10 players, more than half have no skilled books to use and he has achieved the goal of monopoly and raising prices. Speaking of monopoly, good quality meat, or dear blood, this is the real monopoly, because currently no one is buying this thing except him. Qin Hung didn't plan to throw out the mission of meat chunks in a short time. When players grow up, have more PKs, and know the pain of losing equipment, it will not be too late to expose the blessing necklace mission. Or if a player discovers this mission one day, there will be nothing he can do. As for the ore and dear blood, this is a future task. It hasn't been released yet. So of course no one wants it now. Looking at the things in his warehouse, Qin Hung felt a deep sense of satisfaction. But this was not enough. He had a hunch that there would definitely be many more gold coins needed for practice in the future. Otherwise, can the system generously give away millions of gold coins at the start? With thoughts in his mind, Qin Hung stored his things and prepared to go to the Viper Valley Village. But as soon as he walked out of the inn, he changed his mind. My ears are filled with the sounds of various merchants buying and selling. In such a large market, merchants are not limited to gold metal merchants. He now has tens of millions of gold coins in his hand. If he doesn't buy, buy or buy, wouldn't it be nonsense? So, he spent more than 10 minutes and made deals with several other businessmen. But the strength of these businessmen is obviously not as good as the gold metal businessmen. Xin Hung traded a bunch of ordinary level 10 and above equipment for more than a dozen skill books hundreds of packets of small medicine powders, and more than 3 million gold coins. That's it. He has a huge sum of more than 13 million gold coins. 
Qin Han was a little surprised when he saw more than 10 million gold coins in the package. In the previous legendary games, the maximum limit was 5 million. But here it is more than 10 million. And there is no upper limit. He didn't see anywhere where gold bars or bricks were bundled. Does that bug really no longer exist? After pondering for a while, without thinking too much, he flew to the Viper Valley with a whirring sound. In order to prevent onlookers, Qin Hung first parked the mutant skeleton baby casually in a forest to rest. We arrived outside the village again. But when he got here, he was confused and couldn't get in. There are so many players. All of them are mining armies. The entrance to the village was packed to the brim. How to play this? How does he go about buying or trade? Skipping chapter 45 will not affect your viewing. Chapter 46 A huge sum of money. Viper Valley Village Entrance. There are too many people. I can't get in. How can I find you? Jean Hung privately chatted with gold medal businessman number two. Ha uh ha. -huh. There is a veteran next to the door. He is a new official addition today. You can teleport by talking to him. Come to the warehouse. Is there this function? Jean Hung searched carefully and saw the veteran among the crowd. But I still couldn't squeeze through. And I could barely see him. There are too many people. It's too far to have a conversation. Jean Hung had no choice but to privately chat with the gold medal businessman number two. You can just say H, low and talk to him from a distance. His range of perception is very large. Ha uh ha. -huh. Qin Hung tried to say H, low to the other party from a distance. And sure enough, he heard the response. Hello. I'm glad to serve you. Where can I be teleported to? Storehouse. With a whoosh, Qin Hung appeared next to the warehouse. There are slightly fewer people in this place. So you can still move around. Most of the players teleported to the blacksmith to sell or the people over there were so densely packed that I didn't even know how many people there were. My day. With so many people. A lot of high quality or is probably produced. Right? Can I eat so much? Qin Han was a little skeptical. But he should eat as much as he could. Gold medal businessman number two and several other businessmen were crowded in the safety zone next to the warehouse. This way you can get things and be safe. Qin Hung traded with several people once and once again obtained more than 5 million gold coins, more than 20 intermediate and advanced skill books, and hundreds of packets of medicinal powder. At this point, all the equipment he broke out from fighting monsters this time, plus some of the small top-notch equipment he just found, have been sold out. There are still some relatively good top-quality equipment left, such as the Magic 2 Solid, the Big Bracelet with 2 Attack, the Light Armor with 3 5 Defense, etc. At this point, he has a huge sum of 18 million gold coins in his hands. Qin Hung squeezed to the edge of the safe area closer to the blacksmith and tried to talk to him. It works. I first checked to see if there were any top-notch ones. And I was lucky enough to find a few small top-notch items. After wandering around the clothing store for a while, Qin Hung once again found a piece of light armor, female, with a little added defense and a male commoner with zero out of two Taoism. This cloth is good, but the defense is too low. So he won't wear it. After searching for equipment, Qin Hung began to purchase high-quality gold ore and black iron ore. Fortunately, although there are many players in the army, not many high-quality mines are produced. Thinking about it, Qin Hung went mining for a long time in his previous life. And if he could get a few pieces of gold, he would be pretty awesome. Not to mention high-quality. It took so many people six hours to dig out gold and black iron mines, and Qin Hung spent more than four million to buy them all. Most of it is high-quality black iron ore. After getting it done, Qin Hung flew to Biki province. After flying around for a while, he arrived near the border village. I ran over and took a look. Oh my god. It's even harder to get into the village here. There are only people going out. Not people entering. The official may think that this is a novice area. But there is no teleportation for veterans. Qin Hung had no choice but to fly to Biki city. Although there are many newbies in Beach city. It is a big city and you can still get started. But along the way, I heard players who were walking like moonwalking shouting and cursing. Qin Hung happily ran past them, making the players instantly envious and jealous. Damn! This Birdman's internet speed is really awesome. What kind of net is this? Running so fast! Qin Hung happily went shopping in major stores and got more than 10 pieces of top quality equipment and 10 bottles of deer blood. There are 30 bottles of deer blood in total. I started trading with the merchant here, Gold metal merchant number three, etc. I sold the magic two strong for three million. The best light armor with a defense of three out of five for one million. 
and the lantern necklace of attack 2 for 500,000. After dropping some other little gems, in exchange for more than 3 million gold coins, more than 40 skill books, and 500 packets of small medicine powder. So far, his gold coins have reached more than 17 million again. The only top-notch equipment in his hand was a big bracelet with two attack power and the 0-2 Taoist commoner. Although Bu Yi is low level, he is still useful and has temporarily suppressed the warehouse. After asking, the merchants did not have better equipment than what he was wearing. So Qin Hong had no choice but to put it on himself first. He originally wore a large attack 1 bracelet, but now it has been replaced by an attack 2 bracelet. There is also a top quality iron bracelet with two points of Taoism added to it. With money in hand, Qin Hong continues to shop. Perhaps it was because there were too many people in the two novice villages and they couldn't enter. So the butcher's place in Beach City was also overcrowded. Countless players wearing commoners and holding wooden sword sell pieces of meat here in exchange for meager gold coins. Qin Hong was shopping here, going back and forth between the warehouse and the butcher for a long time before he bought all the high quality meat. A total of more than 1 million gold coins were spent. Does this look less? Nothing less. A high quality chicken costs more than 200. And venison costs more than 400. The average price is more than 300. More than 1 million bought more than 3,000. He stored the contents of the package in the warehouse first. And only bought 46 in one purchase. If the butcher hadn't been close to the warehouse, Qin Hung would have gone crazy and made more than 60 trips by himself. After I finished buying the meat, I took a look at the bookstore and was lucky enough to buy a copy of Hellfire. I don't know if the novice player sold it. Arriving at the door of the weapon store, Qin Hung was shocked again. There are also a mountain of players selling minerals here. No less than in Viper Valley. Even more. Because the terrain of Viper Valley is still too complex for some players. They would rather go to the Beach City mining area farther away from the city. The official thoughtfully added a blacksmith in front of the weapon shop so that you can trade from a distance. Otherwise, it would be impossible to squeeze into the weapon store to sell. Even so, the street at the door is still full. Countless players were taking moonwalks. Moving slowly, Qin Hung was not stuck. He squeezed through every opportunity and began to sweep high-quality gold ore and black iron ore. I ran back and forth between the warehouses seven times and cleared them all. More than 5 million gold coins were spent again. At this point, he still has more than 11 million gold coins in his hand. At this time, it was already past 1.30 in the morning. However, Qin Hung did not plan to sleep today, because through yesterday's experience, he found that he had not slept much and had very good energy. I don't know if it's because I'm not tired from playing this game, or because I've become a one-star warrior. After preparing the potions, invisibility rings, random scrolls, etc., Qin Hung flew away with a hiss. Target Woma Temple. When Qin Hung just left, a group of people hurriedly found the gold medal businessman number three. Sadie! Here are 200 gold coins. The person who spoke was the person who named the poor family. Ha ha. I'm sorry. All the gold coins were bought by a big customer just now. Gold medal businessman number three said with a helpless smile. What? No way. Was it bought by someone again? The face of the household who had trouble naming changed and he quickly contacted other businessmen. But there are no gold coins left. Hey! How could this happen? Why don't you want to mine anymore? I'll pay a thousand deposit first. If you have gold coins, sell them to me first. Depressed, the people who had trouble naming decided to strike first. Well, boss, we all use gold coins to buy equipment from big customers. He doesn't want Chinese coins, but only gold coins. We are helpless. The gold metal merchant was in a dilemma. Who is this person? The poor man was so angry that he wanted to hit someone. Tianya prodigal. Maybe you can buy some gold coins from him. This is not a trade secret. And the gold metal businessman number three does not want to offend the big customer who is named the difficult customer. The prodigal son of the end of the world. After hearing this, the poor household suddenly felt a twinge of pain in their balls. Chapter 47 Woma Temple Brother prodigal son, where are you? Qin Hong was flying around Biki province when he suddenly heard a name from a needy family looking for him. Brother, what's the matter? Qin Hong asked curiously. Qin Hong still remembered this man he had met several times. The person who named the needy household didn't mince words and said directly, I heard that you've taken away all the gold coins. Can you sell me some? I'll pay double the price. I don't want Chinese coins. I'm not short of money. Qin Hong's voice came faintly. 
The price is five times higher. Do you want to sell it? He still refused to name the poor households. I'm really not short of money. Ten times. Official guaranteed transaction. Get the account number. Five million gold coins. The poor household seemed to be depressed by Chin Heng's words. Not short of money. So they directly paid a sky-high price. In his life, there was nothing that money could not buy. But Chin Hung rejected him again and again. And he wanted to use money to throw money at others. I told you I'm really not short of money. How about I lend you one million gold coins for you to use first? Chin Hang's tone was helpless. It seemed that this poor household was like the rich second generation in reality. If he was in reality and didn't want to offend this kind of person, he would definitely sell some to him. But here, what is the use of the Chinese currency? But the other party seems to be a very powerful person. Thinking of the hostile Quantua family, Chin Hung changed his mind. Maybe you want to make some friends yourself. It seems a bit powerful to name a poor person. So you can give it a try. Um, lend me one million? Okay, where are you? After being confused for a moment, the households, who had difficulty naming the name agreed. But I'm depressed in my heart. My day. I actually have a day to borrow money. Ever since I was little. This is the first time a big girl has ever gotten on a sedan chair. Don't tell me. It feels a little bit fresh. I'm at the Beaky and Warehouse. Chin Hang's depressed voice came. While he was talking just now, he randomly arrived at the door of the warehouse in Beach City. Now it's better. I don't have to run anymore. Soon, the poor man ran into the in warehouse. Holy shit! Brother Prodigal, your equipment is so awesome! I'll go! You're level 19! Is this your little skeleton? As soon as the named poor family came in, they were completely shocked by Chin Hang's equipment. He has always felt that the equipment he wears is already very good, especially the equipment he just changed into. But compared with Chin Hung, it is still nothing. Chin Hung was also sizing up this guy who was not short of money. Level 18 warrior, holding Ba Huang in hand, wearing medium-sized armor, a small and exquisite outfit. Then, a strange look appeared on his face, as if the opponent's equipment was flowing out of his hand. Ba Huang which adds one point of attack. Sturdy glove which adds one point of attack. And the most obvious one is the lantern necklace, which adds two points of attack. After chatting casually for a few words, Chin Hung quickly traded him one million gold coins. Brother the prodigal son, I won't say much else. If anything happens in the future, just let me know. Brother still has some energy outside. He handed over the name of the poor family seriously. One million gold coins is not much. It is only 200 yuan when converted into Chinese coins. But without this money, he had to go mining. Thinking about the ant-like mining army in the mining area, he felt a pain in his balls. It was a scary place where it took me a long time to find a mining location. After the two exchanged a few words and added each other as friends, Chin Hung randomly flew away again. I was lucky this time. And I flew to the connecting passage between Beach Province and Woma Forest in one flight. Passing past the guarding archers, Chin Hung entered the Woma Forest. This is a low-level leveling map. Forest. Grassland. Monsters include deer, scarecrow, multi-hooked cat, forest snowman, piranha, spider, half-orc, half-beast warrior, etc. Countless players holding wooden swords and wearing civilian clothes were running back and forth looking for monsters to kill. Whoosh! Chin Hum flew randomly for a while. No matter where he landed, there were only players in front of him. After flying several times in succession, he finally landed not far from the Woma Temple. I heard someone shouting from a little distance away. Level 16 warrior. Please form a mage. Level 15 poison path. Please form a mage. Soldiers. Don't come. Level 17 thunder mage. Only forms poisonous Taoist priests. Not warriors. Selling the scroll to return to the city for 2,500 gold coins each. Sheen hung. TSK TSK. The low level warriors are a bit miserable. There is no one to team up with them. Think about it. What can a warrior around level 17 do if he hasn't even learned the art of attacking and killing with swords? At this stage, the blood volume is not high and the attack is not high. Only when there are people in the team can there be ghosts. Nowadays, only little wizards who know thunder and lightning can clear the Woma Temple alone. If you form a Taoist priest who is good at poisoning, you can fight faster. There were not many people at the door. Only 7 or 8 people. There are few players above level 16. And not many players know about Woma Temple. The monsters here are difficult to kill. So there are not many people here. 
Sheen Hang's appearance immediately attracted the attention of a lot of people. The Ling Feng sword in his hand, the coupled on his head, and the skeleton following behind him were all the more conspicuous. A level 19 Taoist priest? Everyone's eyes lit up, and they immediately gathered around. Brothers, do you want to join the team? Five to five. Brothers, do you want to join the team? Everyone can get what they need. Qin Hung waved his hand and refused. Directly past them, and entered the Woma Temple. Brush. The moment he entered, Qin Hung put on the invisibility ring. Upon entering, this is a huge palace. Surrounded by beautifully carved pillars, and small rooms composed of pillar partitions. This is the front hall of Woma Temple. Qin Hung ran towards the underground palace with familiarity. And soon a series of strange sounds came over. Thumping. Flutter. A large group of bats blocked the way forward. But did not attack Qin Hung because he was wearing an invisibility ring. The bat is the only monster in this front hall. It has the same attack as the bat in the skull cave. And its level is very low. Killing them will reveal potions. Gold coins and special scrolls. Town Return Scroll. The grocery store in the city cannot sell this Town Return Scroll. So there are many people who specialize in selling this thing for money. The hawker at the door is probably here. Chin Hung didn't want to waste time killing such low-level monsters. But after looking around, he saw that the front was blocked by bats. So he had to pick a relatively small gap and start killing. With his current attack. It's really like killing a monster with one sword. He kills a single bat and the other bats just turn around and don't attack him. This is the advantage of wearing an invisibility ring. Otherwise, it would be troublesome for such a large group to rush up. Click. 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 When Qin Hung finished killing the last bat in front of him, there was a jingle and something that looked like a scroll exploded on the ground. Huh? Town returned scroll. Uh huh. Good luck. Qin Hung laughed and stepped up, running towards the underground palace intersection. Soon we arrived at the entrance to the underground palace which was an underground entrance built on the ground. After walking a few steps along the steps, Qin Hung appeared in a huge corridor. The First Floor of Woma Temple Chapter 48 Woma Guards The First Floor of Woma Temple After Qin Hung came in, there were only a few monsters in front of him. It was a dung bug with two claws on the ground, dragging a thick tail, and a bloody mouth, dressed in black, with a face like an orangutan, a Woma warrior standing over two meters tall and wielding huge fists. A warrior of Woma holding a weapon, like a sea spirit. Qin Hung came in wearing an invisibility ring. But they didn't react at all. There are no anti-stealth monsters in the entire Woma series of monsters. Which is another reason why Qin Hung chose to come here. Qin Hung cast a poison spell. Instantly turning the nearest Woma warrior red and green. The Woma warriors immediately roared and attacked him. Puff Pung Pung. Soul Fire Talisman. Qin Hung slapped a scarf on its face. A 24 point damage floated up. The health bar of the Woma Warrior is also displayed. 265 drops of blood. Click. The little skeleton swung the small axe up and struck the Woma Warrior with the axe. There was another 10 points of damage floating on the Woma Warrior. When a level 0 skeleton fights a Woma Warrior, it is lucky that its attack power is so high, usually around 7 points. The Woma Warrior, who was attacked immediately punched the little skeleton with an angry fist. A 23 point damage floated up. The little skeleton at level 0 only had more than 80 drops of blood. And a quarter of it was knocked out at once. Ring ring ring. Qin Hang's healing technique accurately landed on the little skeleton. Adding blood to it. At the same time, he continued to greet the Woma warriors with toilet paper. The Woma warrior immediately gave up attacking the little skeleton and rushed over to beat him. However, he took just two steps and was slashed from behind by the little skeleton. So it turned around again and tried to hit the little skeleton. But Chen Tian's toilet paper blew into its face again. In this way, Qin Hung perfectly coordinated the attack of the little skeleton and tortured the Woma warrior to death. Midway, the Woma warrior only attacked the little skeleton once more. This is the classic way of playing in the legendary game. Flying a kite. Because legendary monsters have a hatred value setting. Whoever hits it will be hit. As long as the operation is well controlled. It will be easy to defeat monsters. It's just that this operation requires long-term practice. For Qin Hung, a hardcore player who has been playing Taoist priests in his previous life. This is of course a daily routine. As easy as drinking water. He cooperates with the little skeleton. And their combined attacks can knock out more than 30 drops of each other's blood in one attack. 9 attacks and it's done. Experience value 260. A pile of 200 gold coins fell on the ground. The profit is much higher than that of killing zombies. 
Chin Hong did not continue to kill monsters. He came to kill the boss. You can kill mobs at any time. But you have to wait if the boss is robbed. Generally, it takes more than 2 hours to defeat boss. Some big boss requires 6 hours, or even 12 hours to defeat. There are two kinds of boss in Woma Temple. The big boss Woma Leader, and the small boss Woma Guard. Leader Woma is in the leader's hall on the third floor. Woma guards are usually on the second and third floors. Chin Hung has never played on the first level anyway. I've fought a lot on the second and third floors. As for the first level, some said it was there, some said it wasn't, and he couldn't figure it out. In his previous life, Sho hadn't encountered him for a while, so he gave up. Originally, Chin Hung wanted to check the first floor first, but after looking at the map, it was too big. Besides, someone has been down here, and maybe someone on the first floor was beaten to death. It's a waste of time to search here. So, he flew away randomly. With a whoosh, he fell into a group of monsters. The surroundings are densely packed with Woma monsters. Fly again. Still densely packed with monsters. I flew three times in a row and didn't see a single player. It wasn't until the fourth time that he encountered a team of three mages and two Taoist priests. Before anyone could react, he had already flown away. After flying a few more times, Chin Hung probably figured it out clearly. Here, on the first floor, although there are players fighting, there are still a lot of monsters in most areas. It shows that this is still a restricted area for players. Then, there is probably no one on the second floor. The map could only open a small area. But with his memory, Chin Hung easily reached the entrance to the second floor. Brush! With a blur in front of his eyes, Chin Hung entered the second level. On, on, on. On, on, on. Everything in front of you is filled with monsters. It was so densely packed that it was impossible to squeeze through. Chin Hung was directly face to face with a group of monsters. If he hadn't been wearing an invisibility ring, he would have been instantly killed. In addition to the monsters in front, there are also Warma warlords holding hammers and flame Warma with wings that can spit fire. Naturally, Chin Hung would not kill monsters here one by one. He wished there were so many monsters gathered here. This is a natural protection. As long as the monsters here are not cleared away within a day, it will be difficult for low-level players to get in. Just look at the pile of potions and scrolls on the ground, and you will know that some unlucky guy must have touched it. A big bracelet also fell from the pile of monsters. Jean Hung ignored him directly. Cleaning up monsters to pick up a piece of garbage that you don't know is top quality is really not worth the gain. Call out. He just flew away randomly. Brush. The place to stay was okay. Although the monsters were densely packed, there was at least a place for him to squeeze through. After taking a glance that there was no boss around, he continued flying. He doesn't know how to run around the entire second floor of Walmart. The map here is at least twice as big as the previous legend. It would take more than half an hour to clear out the second floor of Woma. He has prepared seven or eight random bundles in his package. And he will talk about Fei Fei first. If you can't find it when you're almost done flying, just go to the third floor of Walmart. There are two Woma guards and a Woma leader there which are easy to find. Boo hoo hoo. After flying around, there were only two bundles of random scrolls left. Chin Hung didn't see any players here. Just sacks of monsters. And Chin Hung still doesn't have Woma to protect him. I'm dizzy. Where is this damn guard? The guards on this floor are randomly spawned, which is really annoying to find. After looking at how few randoms were left, Chin Hung planned to fly to the entrance of the lower third floor again and stop flying. Just go into the Woma leader's hall. Call out. Call out. Ouch. After flying twice more, a familiar and loud monster sound fell into Chin Hang's ears. This made him feel alert. And his slightly tired eyes widened instantly. Woma guard. I looked around. But there was none. Then I listened carefully and found that the sound was coming from a corridor on the left. This is on the left side of the map. In a dead end passage. Chin Hung immediately carefully squeezed through the many monsters. Turned a corner. And finally saw the Woma guards on this floor. He has strong dark red muscles and a big nose ring on his ferocious face. Hold two weapons of different styles in each hand. Black barbed flame demon sword. White broadsword. This boss has a high attack speed and fast speed. Chin Hang's small body may not be able to withstand the opponent's several blows and he will be killed. There are monsters all around and you can't move at all. How do you kill them? If he acts rashly, he will die if he is surrounded by monsters. However, this naturally does not trouble Chin Hung an experienced driver. He can kill the opponent easily. Chapter 49 Woma Equipment In a corner on the second floor of Woma Temple, 
Woma Guard. A monster with high movement and high attack speed in the legendary game. Can shoot its sword at an astonishing speed. Generally, it cuts the player three times before the player can retaliate once. Therefore, attacking it from a distance is the best way. Qin Hung retreated to the farthest distance from the Woma Guard's line of sight. At this distance, he could use poisoning to poison the opponent. But he didn't attack directly with the poison spell. If he did, he wouldn't be able to escape at all. The Woma guards would squeeze in and kill him easily. The opponent's attack speed is too fast. Even if he has high defense and can increase his health, he can't withstand it. The blood can't come back. Even if he brought powerful solar water, he would definitely not be able to do it while standing. If he didn't kill the opponent, the potion would probably be gone. Is there no way to kill it? Of course not. After retreating to a safe distance, Qin Hung leaned against the wall of the corridor. Then he poisoned a warlord Woma who was next to him. And the warlord Woma immediately punched him down. Bang! A 13 point damage hit. Qin Hang's defense is 10 sixteenths. And the Woma warrior's attack value is 14 28 points. It's normal to have a 13 point defense. The attack from the Woma guards would be much more terrifying. Reaching a maximum of more than 40. Not bad. Good defense means awesome. Only 13 drops of blood were lost. And Qin Hung was relieved. Not to be outdone. An ant slapped the scarf on its face, and at the same time added blood to herself. His little skeleton had been killed by monsters when it was flying randomly just now. And he didn't summon it again. And now at this time, it cannot be summoned. Because the little skeleton is not invisible. When it appears, it will inevitably cause commotion among the surrounding monsters. And they will all crowd in to attack it. At that time, the situation will be uncontrollable. Which will disrupt his steps. After Qin Hung poisoned the Woma warrior, an anti-scarf could drain him of about 24 drops of blood. After fixing it 12 times, she was killed. With a ding, a medium-sized bottle of magic potion and a pile of gold coins exploded. After stepping up, Qin Hung continued to attack the Woma warrior next to him. This guy has a higher HP. 285 points. Qin Hung threw 13 scarves at it. And then it fell down with satisfaction. Experience plus 280. Stepping on the gold coins that fell on the ground. Qin Hung continued to violently attack General Woma next to him. This guy had the same HP as the Woma warrior. And Qin Hung killed it easily. It's just that Ling 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 used the healing technique to add one more blood. Next to him, at the end, was a flaming Woma. Qin Hung poisoned him and put on the ant's scarf. She became excited and spat out flames at Qin Hung. Damage reduced by 16. Flame Woma is a magic attack. Jean Hang's magic defense is a little less. And he takes more damage. And this guy's HP is also high. With 340 points. Jean Hung was stunned and had to add blood three times before killing her. The experience value is increased by 290. He stepped on the gold coins on the ground and slaughtered all the monsters next to Jean Hung. Then, he killed several monsters that were relatively close before sticking them to the wall of the corridor. Suddenly, he took off his invisibility ring. Moment. The surrounding monsters suddenly rushed towards him as if they were beaten to death, including the Woma guards in the distance. Brush. Qin Hung put on the invisibility ring again. The surrounding monsters immediately stopped commotion. But in this short period of time, Qin Hung was completely surrounded. Bang, bang, bang. Two of the fastest Woma warriors had already struck him with a sea soul fork. One dropped 13 drops of blood. And the other dropped 15 drops of blood. That's why he had to clean up the monsters next to him first. If he didn't clean them up, the moment he took off the invisibility ring, he would be attacked by five or six monsters. It's useless to put it on anymore. Because they are too close. They are already attacking. I definitely can't bear it. Qin Hung is currently level 19 and has 122 drops of blood. Two monsters killed a quarter of his health at once. Qin Hung quickly applied healing spells to himself and took two more medium-sized gold medicines. Then poisoned them. Called him with a towel. With his high defense, healing skills and potions, he would be able to withstand the attacks of two Woma warriors. If it doesn't work out, he still has powerful solar water. So it's impossible to die. After attacking the two monsters, Qin Hung threw a green poison at the Woma guard not far away. Die at all green. Level 0 green poison can forcefully deduct one drop of the opponent's blood every second and inhibit the opponent's blood recovery. Let it lose some blood first. The Woma guard, who was attacked by the poison suddenly went crazy and tried desperately to squeeze towards Qin Hung. Unfortunately, Qin Hung was surrounded by a circle of monsters, and there was no gap for them to squeeze through. 
It could only stand in a position separated by two monsters, taking small steps in place, waving two weapons, and howling nonstop. It took Qin Hung half a minute to kill the two monsters that attacked him. Then he turned around and faced the Green Woma guards. This boss was poisoned again just now. Swish. After painting it with red poison and green poison again, he breathed on the face of the Woma guard. A 16-point damage floated. The blood volume is also displayed. A full 1,000 drops of blood. Woma guard. HP. 953 slash 1,000. He had been poisoning for half a minute just now. And now he breathed it out. So he lost a lot of blood. And this boss's magic defense is much higher than that of the mobs. Qin Hung only needed a scarf to draw 16 drops of blood from him. If it hadn't been for the poison spell, and if it could regenerate blood quickly, Qin Hung, the ant, wouldn't know whether it would work even if she wanted to kill it. The mage's thunder and lightning attack is high, and it will take a long time to fight. However, now that you have the poisoning technique, you don't have to worry about it, because the opponent can't recover blood. This is the terrible thing about Taoist poisoning. As long as the Taoist priests are allowed to stand firm in front of the boss, it will only be a matter of time before any boss is poisoned to death. In addition to the blood loss caused by the poison spell, Qin Hung can knock out about 16 drops of blood from the opponent in 1.5 seconds on average. He kept calling the other person's ant scarf, and when the red and green poison on the other party disappeared, he applied the poison again. The Woma guard, who was beaten dizzy, screamed desperately, and tried to rush over to attack Qin Hung with small steps. But he could not get through. All I could do was scream in agony. Seeing the health of the Woma guards getting less and less, Qin Hung became excited. What will this Woma guard explode? While looking forward to it, he would also pay attention to his surroundings nervously from time to time, fearing that someone would suddenly appear and rob him, when he was worried about gain and loss. After being tortured by Qin Hung for a minute and a half, the Woma guard only had about a hundred drops of blood left. Five, four, three, two, one, bang. Qin Hung counted down the number of attacks in his heart. The last blow of the anti towel was thrown hard on the face of the Woma escort, causing him to let out a long scream and finally fell to the ground. Experience plus 1200. At the same time, a jingling bell sounded, and a pleasant sound sounded. The surrounding ground was instantly covered with a large area of equipment. Powerful solar water. Powerful gold creating potion powerful magic potion, and piles of large gold coins. This is a 9 by 9 explosion. Qin Hang's eyes widened fiercely, and he looked at the feet of the monsters. Fortunately, this is not a computer game from the previous life, and you still need to use the mouse to check one by one. Now, the equipment trampled under the feet of monsters, and the equipment covered by potions can be seen at a glance. Dragon Ring. There is Walma equipment. Qin Hang's eyes jumped. He saw something good, and he immediately became excited. After confirming that there were no other good things, he first stepped on a piece of heavy armor and soul suit under his feet, then quickly clean up the monsters in the direction of the dragon ring. There is a time limit for the equipment that monsters explode. If you don't hurry up, it will be wiped out by the system later. After spending more than three minutes, Qin Hung finally picked up all the equipment, powerful solar water, and small solar water. All that's left are some powerful goal-creating potions and the like. After cleaning up a few monsters, after picking up some, there are still a small number of potions and gold coins that were refreshed by the system before they were picked up. At this point, Qin Hung finally stopped, casually found a monster to kill, and checked the harvest. Chapter 50 Leader Woma On the second floor of Woma Temple, Qin Hung opened the parcel column, and the contents inside immediately made him smile and narrow his eyes. Dragon's Ring, Attack 0-5 Endurance 5 to 5. Weight 1. Requires attack power 37. This is a brand name Woma equipment for warriors. It is said to have special hidden properties. Qin Hung is not a warrior and cannot wear this thing. So he doesn't know whether the hidden attributes of this equipment come with it. And the so-called brand name equipment. In previous legendary games, players generally called equipment that could only be exploded by boss or perverted monsters as brand name equipment. In the early days, it was divided into Woma brand name equipment and Zuma brand name equipment. This means that one kind of equipment can be exploded from Woma Temple, and the other is equipment that can only be exploded from Zuma Temple. The Zuma Temple is much higher than the Woma Temple and is considered top level equipment. In short, this is a brand name equipment that can only be dropped by boss. Even minor boss below the Corpse King cannot drop it. It's a good thing. 
but it's a pity that it can't be sold for gold coins for the time being. With the current market price, this thing is worth at least tens of millions. How can players have so many gold coins now? Moreover, the number of players here has exceeded 10,000. It is hard to say how many gold coins its value will be fetched by then. Heavy armor, male defense 4 out of 7. Magic defense 2 3. Durability 25 25. Requires level 22. This is a level 22 professional attire for a warrior. Once the player army reaches a higher level, it will probably be sold at a high price. Soul armor, male defense 3 6. Magic defense 3 3. Tallism 0 slash 2. Durability 20 20. Weight 15. Requires level 22. This is the professional uniform for Taoist priests at level 22. And he will be able to wear it soon. Gold ring, attack 1 out of 1. Magic 1 of 1. Taoism 1 slash 1. Magic defense 0 out of 3. Requires level 22. This is a good thing. It adds attack and path. It is good for Taoist priests to wear. The magic defense is high. And the effect will be better if you wear the flame warmer. Pearl ring, Taoism 0 slash 3. Requires level 20. This is not bad. It is a small piece of top-notch equipment. With a little more Taoism added. Sheen Hum can wear it when he is invisible and fights remote bosses. Snake Eyes Ring. Magic 0 slash 2. Requires level 20. Sturdy Gloves. Ordinary Ebony Bracelets. A total of 8 pieces of equipment were exploded. The best ones were a Dragon Ring and a Tau 3 Pearl. Which were very good. In addition, a skill book. Explosive Flame was also dropped. This is a mage skill book. The early group attack skills are very difficult to explode in the early stage of the legend. It is estimated that it can be sold for a lot of money. After checking the things, Sheen Hung did not continue to fight monsters here. Although there are many monsters here, he is not a scavenger. If you defeat the monsters on the second floor, won't others be able to stand still? Although there are many monsters at the entrance to the second floor, others can also fly randomly. After he cleared the second floor, he gave others the opportunity to randomly fly in and fight. At that time, it will be difficult for him to defeat the boss on the second floor. Maybe the third floor will be occupied by others. Nowadays, players cannot beat the second floor, mainly because there are many monsters in other places on the second floor besides the entrance. There are monsters wherever they randomly fly, and if they don't have a place to stay, you can't fight them. Unless the level is higher, organize a large team of people to come in and clear up wasteland. Therefore, Qin Hung will not do such things that benefit others, but not himself. As long as the players come in a few days late, he can defeat more boss and explode more good equipment. I can sell more gold coins in the future. With his mind on his mind, he made a few random noises and flew to the far right side of the map. After checking the terrain, he ran down a corridor and arrived at the underground entrance to the lower three floors. There are also densely packed monsters here, but it's not hard for Qin Hung. He cleared a passage along a straight line that allowed him to pass. And finally stood on the steps. Brush. He took off the invisibility ring. And the monsters around him immediately rushed toward him with red eyes, as if they had taken a powerful pill. Brush. He put it on again. Suddenly, all the monsters stopped blankly, taking small steps and looking around. The entire entrance and the passage Qin Hung had just created had been firmly blocked by monsters. Qin Hung smiled with satisfaction and stepped into the third floor. Woma Leader Hall. On on on. Ouch ouch. With his eyes dazzled, Qin Hung appeared at the entrance of a hall. This is a map that looks a bit like embossed characters. He is currently at the top of the embossed characters at the entrance. Countless monsters appeared in front of him. Densely packed. Sack after sack. The monsters at the entrance were piled up. And even groups of monsters were piled on top of each other. He was now stacked on top of a monster. Unable to move at all. He tried using random scrolls. Ding dong. The system prompts that random scrolls cannot be used on the current map. Well, as expected in the previous life, randomness cannot be used in the leader's hall. We can only clean it up. Qin Hung didn't summon the baby skeleton either. There were too many monsters here, so summoning them would be useless. It will also cause commotion among the monsters. Along the straight line, Qin Hung slashed and swung his ant's scarf, cutting out a small passage for him to pass. Every time he kills a woman monster, he has to step on the place where the monster died before he has time to pick up the gold coin potion dropped on the ground. Otherwise a new monster will fill the empty space. Then his fight was in vain. After seven or eight minutes, Qin Hung finally squeezed out of the doorway. 
although the huge hall in front of you is still densely packed with monsters. You can already find a place to set foot. Looking back, he saw that the entrance was still densely packed, and there was no need for him to lure monsters to block the door. In the legend of the early past life, the leader's hall on the third floor of Woma was an extremely terrifying place. It is said that in order to enter the third floor hall of Woma, the most powerful guild in their server organized more than 100 players above level 22 to enter at the same time. And this way was opened. Now this passage is bigger and has more monsters. If you want to enter, you won't be able to fight unless hundreds of level 22 players come in at the same time. Moreover, it is not possible to win by entering at the same time. You also have to pay attention to the method. Who is advanced and who is lagging behind all have to pay attention to it. If chaos comes in, the group will definitely be destroyed. It was easier once they got in. Chin Hung began to squeeze towards the middle area. The leader of Woma is usually brushed near the middle, where there were too many monsters to squeeze through. He would cut them through, wearing the invisibility ring. He kills one by one, except for the monsters he slashed. He can see him, and the other monsters don't react even if they are next to him. This is the horror of the invisibility ring, wearing it. As long as there are no anti-stealth monsters in the monster group, you will really be in a monster-free state. Among the legendary players in previous lives, Talus priests are the ones who most like to come to the Woma Leader Hall to level up. Bring a mythical beast and make yourself invisible. The monsters can't see you at all. It's really not that fun. Chin Hung cleaned up all the way, and more than 10 minutes later, a huge cyan monster appeared in front of him. Tall and strong body, huge demon wings, ferocious face, and extremely sharp claws. Leader Woma. This is an extremely dangerous, and terrifying creature that dominates the life and death of countless Woma followers. It once led countless Woma armies across the entire Marfa continent, causing lives to be devastated and blood to flow like rivers everywhere. Later, he was sealed in Woma Temple. For so many years, countless Woma cult members have been waiting for the moment when the seal is broken, waiting for their king to lead them to massacre the Marfa continent again. However, at this time, the leader of Woma was so crowded among many monsters that he could not move. Of course, Chin Hung would not miss this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Swish. He directly poisoned the leader of Woma. Another Andy breathed out. 